guys, Fia back with another VOD and a band-aid on my thumb, we'll just ignore that. Uh, today we did some leveling, working on my 50 50s challenge. I'm not going to tell you how many new 50s I have, but it was some. I hope you enjoy. Uh, some of the conversation topics involved food, because of course it did. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy. You can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama from 4pm Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Hopefully, I will see you in chat next time. See you soon. Hi. Hello. How is everybody? I hope we're doing well. Let me press button. There we go. Right. Okay. Starting a battle. Oh, it's a skin chest. Fantastic. Great place to start. Extreme. We might lose. Please place your units. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> um, ah, ooh, berserkers and archers. Fantastic. Those are two things I actually need to place. Yay, for useful quests. There we go. Link should be in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Just that easy. And today we're starting with my lowest tune, my only remaining level 46 character. A Void Elf Warrior. Let's do this. Well done, Yori on first. Dupe has grabbed second. BC has grabbed third. Jack with 69th. Sound has stopped. That's a little bit awkward. Do you know when you, like, oh shit, right, add-ons. Haha. <laughs> um. <laughs> when I've been flicking through to do my garrisons, if I turn off all the add-ons, it goes so much faster. Holy cow. <laughs> Sorry. I turn off everything. Um. It is really awkward when you realize how loud you've been speaking when all of a sudden the sound cuts out and you're like, oh, good, I have been yelling. Ah, uh, quote, who are you? Fuck off. That quote is such a mood. <laughs> Darkwood, wow. I was about to say it's been a long time since I played Darkwood, about a year and a half, yeah. Work while you work, enjoy, dupe. Enjoy, I hope work is treating you kindly. Hello, Chaos. Everyone's so doing, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I was like, you know what, today I'm gonna go outside for my exercise. I'm gonna go for an actual walk in, in the outside open air. Um, rain happened. <laughs> so I, mm, mm, also I have had the battle fires, was, okay, the world's largest fucking headache. I have had a killer headache for approaching 24 hours now. I took some painkillers last night to, to sleep because I was like, I'm not gonna be able to sleep if I don't try to kill this thing. Um, and and it, it was it's back as of this morning and I've been like, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'll just drink water, I'll get some food, it'll go away. It has not, it has not. My, my head is, um, I feel like I have an ice pick lodged in my skull. You know the type, yep, mm -hmm. it's really unpleasant. It's really unpleasant, but apart from that, Doing okay. Doing okay. Hello, Shiba. Frist. There is a Fursy with a Y instead of a T. I think that's the only first misspelling, I think. We won't actually end up sitting around lunch tonight. Totally fine, Shiba. Not a problem. One. Hello, Cade. It's toasty here. Mum's been emotionally abused. Me, so you know. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what to say to that, no. I'm not sure that I can respond to that. Um, uh, have you tried some neck stretching? Always. Always. Yeah, no. It's um, it's not that kind of headache. Um, I have headaches often enough that I can usually pinpoint what they are. Like, you know, the different areas usually hurt because of different reasons and stuff like that. This is very specifically, like, behind my eye. And, um, like, like you know how ice picks have, like, an L shape? I feel like it's lodged here in my skull, like going into my skull this way and then like coming out of my eye. Yep. Yep. Very specific sharp pain. It's not a, not an a extract, not, not one of those ones. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, uh, ooh, right, because I'm a void elf. Um, Is this hello or goodbye? Probably both, uh, Kumi. Orc offers you something to drink. Uh, you oh shit, I'm still in Gorgrond. Oh wow, okay, cool. To Gorgrond then. I'm like, oh, so many of these tunes, I'm like doing my, I'm transitioning from, from Talador into 
um, into Spies of Iraq, and I'm like, Gorgrond? Fucking Jesus. So that's fun. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so when I was thinking of, yes, that's the one. So I'm too lazy to manually manage add-ons. Project Azuraka all the way. Well, I don't really, like, manually manage them too much. It's usually, like, enable all or disable all, and then I'm done. Like, that is that is the extent of managing that I do. So, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, oh, yeah, it's all fun. good. It's all good. This is what painkillers were made for. I might have to actually pop a couple if I want to survive six news? hours. But we'll see. Melanora Akar. Uh, I get those due to my sleep apnea. Oh, that's no good, man. I hope you're um, getting some treatment for that. Uh, and a thread. There are, there are a first. There, there are, there are a few, but um, yeah, not, not a ton. Who's is hey, Jackie? Welcome back. Really numb, but I'll be okay. I'm glad you'll be okay, Shiva. And it's, it's a rough time. Take care of yourself, yeah. No mind stops. Uh, thank you, Josh. Thanks. Uh, as you said, sets you can save, so you can have a minimal set with bare minimum loaded. Ah, gotcha. By gotcha. the Sunwell. Oh, ah, oh, berries. Thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Two months. My goodness. I'm I'm glad you decided to stick with us this month. Much appreciated. What is happening to this world? I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, a razor wing if you have one. Um. Okay, so there is a way for you to check. Um, before you do it, because no one else can do a redemption now. Like, because once it's, you've been done, even if I refund it, it doesn't, like, restock it. Um, you can type exclamation simple armory, and it'll give you an entire, like, list of every mount that I have. And every mount I don't have, funnily enough. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll give you everything that I do have. And then you can pick something from the list of stuff I do have. Um, but yeah, if you want to let me know what you would like to replace the razor wing, because I do not own any razor wings. Um, doing well, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Growing farming, I can turn all my farming ones on, my main on, and disable the ready stuff. Ah, okay, cool. Fun times. I might have to look into it. I might have to look into it. Because I did notice turning them all off fucked some of my tracking, obviously. So it still thought that I had full garrison caches on all of them, and I'm like, no, I do not. Which means that it wouldn't notify me when they did become actually full, so I had to, like, do some finagling there. Might be worth having a look. Mmm. Hoped we had a food delivery as we're still in isolation. Ah, nice! Enjoy. Food delivery is wonderful and convenient. Where's the Healy Circle? Rel, what the fuck are you doing? God. Useless. Ah, uh, it's good drink of the South Wind. Congratulations, Koala. Well done. Well done. Maybe we'll adapt to stuff without going through and clicking all the crap. Yes. Okay. Noted. Noted. I went dark, man. Do you have that one? I can definitely do that. Alrighty. Lord of the Corpse Lies. No. This is not the mount that I'm wearing on my face today. Oh shit, I just realized hydrates were still paused. There we go. Fixed. It might be better off me just not getting involved in this fight at all. From memory, I can just actually stand back and the scenario will just kind of play out. We'll see how that goes. Wow, that happens. Where are my painkillers? This is soon. You will never yes. withstand the yes. might of Gok. Uh, Bloodfang Widow. No, it is not the Bloodfang Widow.
Groove Defiler. No. Uh, I do have it. It does not fly. Might be helpful. Ugh. Is that a touch of gold? Um, it is. It is. Uh... I, however, would probably think of it more as a cream-coloured shadow, but it's shimmery because I needed some fucking shimmer somewhere. Yeah? Okay, cool. It's probably too much of a hint, but there you go, you can have it anyway. It is not Dark Maul. It's not Midnight. Die before I let you take what is mine. Mm. You will not win this war. The artifact. What has he done? We must restore it. We must get it to safety. <laughs> See what weapons I have in my arsenal. It's very rude of you. With pleasure. Please pay more attention to the lumber shredders. Do not hit me. I will not let you fall. Stone head alone. Stars. No. Reminds me of all the new Shadowlands maps. It is currently available in game. It's not a. It's not something that's like coming in 9-2 or anything like that. I, I don't. T I don't do mounts that aren't in the game. I, I, like actively able to be collected. Um, or I mean, you know, removed from the game, like discontinued, but obtained by some people is also fair game. But nothing that's like to come. Because who the fuck knows if that shit will stay the same? No one. It's PTR. Until it's alive, nothing is real. They could always decide to change his skin at the last second. Their defenses are shattered. We okay. have won this battle, but without the artifact, we have far to go. Let us rally back at your garrison, Commander. We must plan our next course of attack. Let's go discover the Iron Dock's flat path. And that's probably going to tell me to half the garrison, I think? Nope, fly to high pass. Oh, okay. Let's go back to high pass. We're almost done with Gorgrond. I wonder if I have any more tunes that are actually still in Gorgrond. Mmm. I have no idea. This is my last level 46 tune. My last one. My goodness. Oh. Then I have a shitload of 47s. 10 of them. 10 level 47 tunes. I guess like when I had when I had you know like still I had the 26 characters to level but there was like 50 levels that they could have possibly been they were kind of split up a bit and I had like two of this and three of that and two of that and one of this and blah blah, blah. now there's literally like five levels four levels for them all to be they're either 46 47 48 or 49 everything else is finished so it's kind of oof we're getting real we're getting real speak. there we go now we have the garrison now we have the garrison. Fiery Warhorse, no. Black Hawk Strider, no. Black Wolf, yes. Well done, BC. Well done. Can I have a number from you, please? Between one and 100. All right, 23, wonderful. Okay. Ah. 
He leveled. Ta-da! Congratulations. And... Here we go. Second chance draw is open. Exclamation giveaway to enter. You need to be following to be able to win. King's honor, friend. You're all having a wonderful day. the alliance. Really hope that these painkillers kick in soon. It would be very nice. Very nice. Need help? Wait, hang be on. Careful. What? Hang on. Ah, oh, did it not pick up? It always does this. Greetings. Secure flight to Talador. There we go. It skips over picking well, up the uh, the breadcrumb quest. having a really chill Friday. Sometimes you really just need a day where it's not. Go, 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 go. Friday feels like a good day to do that. <laughs> so video rest, get relaxed. Woke up a bit ago, did a little work, then slept. Yeah, that, uh... I had a bit of trouble getting out of bed today. Quite a bit of trouble getting out of bed today. And then I drew a card. I drew a tarot card from my from my app. <laughs> and laughed. Like I was just like, yeah, yeah, Good okay, people fine. Of Fort Rin. Our commander Long has finalized oh, construction on a new building. We need to work together. Um, I drew the Ace the of Wands. Production. See to it, our but it was reversed, upside down. Uh, the Ace of Wands reversed here. is uh, lack sure. of energy, well done. lack of passion, and boredom. <laughs> when the when the energy and passion of the Ace of Wands is reversed, it could likely mean that you are starting to lose your motivation and willpower. The daily grind has weakened your inspiration to create what you used to have so much excitement for. On the other hand, you might be so overwhelmed with excitement for so many things, you might lack direction on where you should go. I don't think it's the other hand, I think it's the first hand. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I have just no fucking willpower at the moment. Uh, and I tap that, and I'm like, oh, what's this? And then I read the description, I'm like, you fuckers. Yes, I'm aware of that. You Thank you very much. Asshole deck of cards. Like That's okay. Hey is what it is. Around. Not 100% just anything. It's my time for COVID. I can sit here mindlessly level, so it's fine. Yeah, I mean, this strain is... I don't, I don't know if um when you get a test, if they actually test which strain you've got. I'm sure they do. Like, they, they sequence it or whatever, so they can try to figure out where the cluster is, or maybe they've just given up doing that because the numbers are climbing so goddamn fucking high. Um, I know in Queensland they used to do that because we just, we had so few numbers, they wanted to figure out where the fuck it was coming from. Um, but now, <laughs> uh, so like, if it is Omicron, like, it is so virulent. It is so easy to, to it's, it's so easily transmissible that honest to God, I would be shocked if one of you had it and the other didn't. Um, just because of how easy it is to transfer. And sharing that, sharing a house is is more than enough. Sharing a house for more than five minutes is more more than enough for it to, to transmit. Um, but yeah, just like, honestly, take care of yourself as if it were. 100%, you know, do the keeping hydrated, make sure you eat, even if you don't want to, make sure you get some easy to digest food into your body. Cause like, your body needs fuel. 
to do its thing, like fight off an infection. Um, that was that's always the trickiest part for me when I'm sick is actually eating, because um, I just I completely lose my appetite. I have don't have much of an appetite to begin with usually, but then like when I get sick, it's just gone. I can go entire days forgetting to eat because I just don't get hungry. But it's it's really important to like. It's actually, bone broth is fucking awesome if your food delivery had any, like, I mean, chicken broth and beef broth, sure, but, like, bone broth is so goddamn good for you. It's just so many nutrients in there. It's not a nutritionally complete food, but it's got a shitload of stuff in there. Um, and just, like, sipping on that or any other kind of clear soup might do you, like, might, might do your body, like, enough for it to keep going sort of thing. And rest. If you need to sleep, just do it. Let your body do what it needs. Is try if your body is falling asleep, then it's because it needs the rest and just let it happen. Yeah, but I hope you're both feeling much better very soon. But I cannot imagine it's pleasant. Ah, uh, so trying to, yeah, not lost my appetite yet. I'm sick of drinking water. I need to have unicorn water just so it's not plain. What the fuck is a unicorn water? <laughs> rest is 100% the best thing to do and say, yeah, for sure, for sure. But making sure that you are still, like, when you do wake up, get something into you, like, get some kind of food or, or nutritional drink just to kind of... Yeah, it's like... You can't, like, a PC won't run without electricity. You need power, you need energy from somewhere, and if you're not putting anything in, and yet it's burning all this energy to raise your temperature to try to cook what's inside you. It's a valid defense strategy, but I don't think it'll work for COVID, but, um, you know, you, your body raises your temperature so that you can try to burn off what's there, and all that shit requires energy. And if you're not replenishing the energy, it won't be able to fight as well. So yeah, just... Take care of those basic survival things and you'll, you know, hydration, nutrients, sleep. Get there. I'm still so fucking curious what a unicorn water is. It sounds amazing and pretty and sparkly and delicious and I don't know what it is and I kind of want one anyway. <laughs> But then again, I refer to myself as a marketer's wet dream because as soon as anything's like, oh, that's new. Ooh, I want to try it. Yep. <laughs> I am the person the marketing people are aiming at. 100%. Holy shit. Ah, oh, dear. So it's one of the big things I struggle with when I'm sick. I mean, yeah, eating, but then also like like fighting against going to sleep. Oh, but if I sleep now, I won't sleep tonight. Actually, bitch, you will, because you're sick and you will sleep today and tonight. That's how it works. <laughs> I will have time to fix my sleeping pattern after I am well. It's just so hard though, having those like expectations for getting shit done and then your body just will not cooperate. Yeah. Yay, work finished. Yay, dupe! Well done. You made it. Congratulations. I thought it wasn't too bad. What is a fountain tablet I'm trying out? I can make a bunch of supposed to help burn fat, fight brain fog, fog, stay hydrated and other stuff. Right, okay. Interesting. I'll try it to see if it works. I feel like it does at least help with the brain fog and energy. I wonder if that's just because it's like an energy drink that comes in a powder that dissolves in water. Is that from Unique Muscle? There's a meme somewhere that said wanting caffeine to stay awake, but now they're still tired just with a faster heart rate. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens with me. Like, <laughs> not ki not even kidding. Like that is that is literally what happens to my body. I start having fucking palpitations. If 
but I still need to fall asleep. Like, <laughs> it's so bad. Holy hell. It's so bad. Melon, green apple, passion fruit, bubblegum, strawberry, and peach iced tea. It'd be the acetyl L carnitine that they're trying to talk about being thing a bit because the rest of it's just literally flavor, sweetener, color, silica. Why is there silica in a drink? Does it have like those little bead things that are meant to fill you up? Did you guys ever remember that fucking Celebrity Slim stuff from like a decade ago? Uh, and it was like, you, you know, you drink it and it's fine and then you don't and then you feel full for fucking hours. Turns out if you nurse it like I do, because I, I bought a few sachets because I was at uni and I'm like, fuck, you know, it'd be good to not have to actually go find something to eat. Like I was allowed to take drinks into, into, into places, but not necessarily food. Um, and if I had like fucking, uh, what's it's back to back to back to back to back, I'd be like, mmm, good. Um, it turns out if you leave it sitting in the thing with the water that you've mixed it with for too long, the little tiny bead, they're, they're beads of stuff like the grit you could taste would swell up with the water and it'd turn into this sludge kind of like, kind of like sand, except the sand was like three times the size and it was squishy. And so the idea would be that you drink it while it was still liquid, and then when it was in your stomach, it'd swell up and fill you up, and it, I, that terrified me. <laughs> so I stopped drinking the shit. Um, why the fuck? It, what is that a thing that silica does in food? Like, why do why do we eat silica? Oh, not all of them have silica. Some <sighs> only two of them don't have silica. Oh no, wait, hang on. Oh no, yeah, no, there are a couple that don't. Okay, that's interesting. interesting. Alright, what is this acetyl L carnitine thing? Because that is. sounds like a protein powder. Um, acetyl L carnitine is made from L carnitine in the body. L carnitine and acetyl L carnitine are helped. are used to help the body turn fat into energy. Okay. Uh, it's used by people with high blood sugar to help with cholesterol as well as nerve pain. L-carnitine is best known as a fat burner, but the overall research is mixed. It is unlikely to cause significant weight loss. However, studies support its use for health, brain function, and disease prevention. Supplements may also benefit those with lower levels, such as older adults, vegans, and vegetarians. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. I trust the Mayo Clinic. Um, <laughs> when you're scrolling through health things on the web, you come across a couple ones that you don't really trust and then some you do. Um, okay, so it is an amino acid. Found in nearly all cells of the body, plays a critical role in the production of energy from long chain fatty acids. In addition, it increases the activity of certain nerve cells in the central nervous system. Um. Studies have inconclusive. Uh, studies have inconclusive results in relation to MS-related fatigue, but that's not. Um, Although acetyl L-carnitine has generally has few or mild side effects, it can interfere with blood thinning medications and other drugs. Therefore, have a discussion with your healthcare provider before taking acetyl L-carnitine or any di any other dietary supplement. So maybe be careful. Interesting. I 
I'm not going to trust a website called Bulletproof, considering they also tell you to put sticks of butter in your coffee. Um, <laughs> I, 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 if you like to drink your coffee with butter in it, then that's perfectly fine. But um, I'm not going to take health advice from that kind of like mm, take health advice from my doctor. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Sorry, I've div I've gone down a rabbit hole now because I'm I I'm, I'm interested as fuck in this shit. For realsies. Anyway. Um uh, green apple and peach iced tea ones. Ooh, watched the end of Wednesday's vod yesterday. It was really difficult not being able to type in chat because it was a recording. Yeah, I Yeah, I know the feels. I know the feels. Uh no power just is over. There aren't any little beads. I've seen that's good. That's cool. I'm just, I like, silica time. is an interesting ingredient. It's curious, Lone Detox was popular a decade ago. That was more like two decades ago. Um, I mean, although it's probably had some popularity here and there, but I very distinctly remember my mum being on that when I was in, like, very early high school, and that was, like, two, de two decades ago. Um, and I kept telling her it was bad for her, and she didn't believe me until I was like, here you go, studies that say it's bad for your liver, and then she stopped. Because it's fucking terrible for you. So fucking terrible for you. <laughs> uh, hello Dory, welcome back. Dietary sources of bioavailable silicon include whole grains, cereals, beer, and some vegetables such as green beans. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It sounds revolting, what the fuck? Yep, yeah, it was- it- they tasted like any other meal replacement shake, except that they had this kind of very, very slightly sort of not quite dissolved texture. Like it had that grittiness as though the powder hadn't quite dissolved. And then yeah, the powder would swell up. I went to grab it and drink it at one point and I tipped it up and it stayed in the bottom. And I was like, what the fuck? And I like bashed on it and it sort of, yeah. Think, think like those, those orbs that you soak in water to like feed your plants and stuff that shrink over time as they release the water and dry out, except teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Yeah, really weird. Really weird. This do not go together. So it's taking health advice from Dr. Nick Rivera. Look. Look. Coffee with butter just sounds like a boomer trying to make an energy drink. No, there's a whole thing about, like, the fat content and all this kind of... Like, I... Sure. You do you. I'm not going to judge people for their, for their choices around that kind of stuff. Absolutely. But, like... Telling me you have abs because you put a stick of butter in your coffee is not something I'm going to believe. <laughs> like, no. No. Um, uh, does not sound like food. Don't miss the giveaway, hello. Uh, damn school, that's okay. Oh, work, okay, fair enough. Uh, butter in coffee is banting trick to still have coffee. Huh? It's some, it's some thing about, like, they call, don't they call it a bulletproof coffee? I could have sworn that's the thing that, I mean, I don't drink coffee anyway, like, at all, but it just, that sounds nasty. Banting is a keto-like diet. Ah, oh, okay. I'm like, I've never heard of that before. I know of keto. Um, keto was originally designed to help kids with seizures and it was very successful in doing so. Is this bugged? What is, okay, no, it's fine. I think. There we go. There we go. Skin chest! Yay! First round too. Congratulations to Channel, Oli, Koala, Chaos, and Dupe on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Who got skins? Tell me. Who got skins? The giveaway has also closed. Yes, I will draw that in just a moment. I cannot place a berserker, but I can place an archer. There we go. Hop back to here and we'll do this one. Pick a winner. Kimberwolf27. Congratulations. Can I have a number from you, please? Between 1 and 100. So I can send you a prayers. Number two. Amazing choice. Wait a second. I have no idea what it is. Let me. It's fine. It's fine. I do have talents on this one, don't I? Nope. Good. Uh, 
Uh, two, one, one, three, one, two. Oh, I'm in combat. Right. One, two. There we go. These and these. Get just off the ground so that respawns can't kill me. Two. Song of Horror Complete Edition. That sounds like you're gonna have an absolute blast of a time. Congratulations. There you go. And we will do another giveaway at the start of Sunday's stream. I hope you will join me. Oh, sounds interesting. It does. It sounds like something that I definitely do not want to ever play. But then again, I'm really, 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 really bad with horror, so, you know. Hey, X, how you going? Welcome back. She yell. Are you winning? Always. I've already gained a new level. I was 46, now I'm 47. I'm wondering how many new 50s we'll get tonight. I'm really tempted to jump on some of the 49s and just tip them over, but that, I feel like that's cheating. Congratulations! 10 level 60s. You got more than I do. Well done. I'll get there one day. 50 50s first, and then we'll then we'll go. We'll deal with the rest of them later. Talk to me. I'm so looking forward to spending 300k on upgrading all of my heirlooms. So I'm going to press another tune to get to 60 as I'm running out of rest and the ones to 50. Oh no. Oh no. Is that two non-threads of fate? I'm guessing, yeah. The one that, work that you're working on to get to 60. Warrior Monk and Paladin to get to 60 to reach my goal. Oh, nice. Do you already have a double up, Koala? Do you have a double up at 60? Because I'm figuring you're wanting to get one of everything to your, to 60 as your goal. But there's only 12, uh, 12 classes. So if you've got 10 already and then plus those three, you've got Horde and Alliance Hunters. Ah, nice. Awesome. Are they, are all the ones you're doing at the moment the same faction, or are you, like, splitting them between the two? <clears throat> Forgettably, yes, Cinnamon is on top. Oh, no. So you haven't enjoyed it. That's really interesting. I guess it's a really specific playstyle if you want to do Threads of Fate, and it's not for everyone. Because, like, I've been tempted to maybe send a couple through Threads, but... I'm a, I'm a quester. I'm a quester, and I don't really like doing dungeons to level, and so, you know, I, I feel like I'll regret it if I do. Mine's currently except for one horde hunter. Ah, there you go. Nice, nice. Also trying to get one of each class to 60. Nice, Chaos. How many have you got? How many have you done so far? And what's your progress like on the others? Initially, I didn't like it because the bonus objective takes so fucking long. They've increased it, so a bonus doesn't take me nearly as long to do now. Ah, okay. Interesting. Come. Speak with me. Curious. I still think I just prefer just doing the, the storyline, but... Oh, excuse me. Threads is very doable without you dungeons now. Are my vanguard. Hmm. This forest is ours. Does it rely on, um, what's it, 
Torghast and stuff instead. What news from the front? This is our moment. I feel like I'll just enjoy myself so much more, just like turning on Zygor and forgetting about it and just breezing through the quests. Um, like all the all the side objectives and uh, side quests and stuff too. Done threads on everything after my initial 60s, just a mix of questing and lore quests. Mm, okay. Fair enough. Six out of twelve. Currently leveling my hunter. Oh, my warrior, who's 49 at the moment. Nice! Awesome, Chaos. Well, good luck. Best of luck. <clears throat> I may or may not have a hidden tab in my 50-50 spreadsheet. Look, it's gonna be a time. It's gonna be a time. Side quest will finish your four quests and bonus objectives nearby. Okay. Cool. Alright. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Just because I don't do dungeons, well, four new tunes building their rested now, and we'll create another one soon to get back to that 3550's original goal. Yes! Do you think you'll have time? Not like, not, not like to um, doubt or to stick my nose up or any of that kind of bullshit. More just like, what do you think? Do you think that you'll have time to do it? Or are you feeling confident? Because I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, I'm up to date, uh, like my leveling, I'm up to date with yesterday. Although I just dinged, didn't I? 9348. Oh, I'm up to date with today. There you go. Bam. Get to 9366 for the next one. And all of mine are rested through 50 now. Like, there's no. <laughs> I'm, mm -mm. <laughs> there's no chopping and changing now. It's, I'm done. I'm finished. I am wondering if I do end up going for 50-60s if I burn through their rested and then go to the lowest level one or if I just focus on a handful and rotate through them and they're rested um, to try to get as many 60s as quickly as possible and I feel like that might be the better option personally because having more 60s sooner would mean um, more gold and would mean more ability to farm the later the later raids in dungeons for transmog and stuff had a week in front oh wow yuri well done well done i did a 63 threads of fate ah oh, yeah how did you enjoy it chaos how'd it go for you leveling. <laughs> Too bad. Do some dungeons, but not many. Just did world quests and bonus objectives. Okay, cool. Awesome. Quite enjoyed it. Nice. I really do like that they give people the option. Even if I feel that one of the options probably isn't for me, it's really good that there are, that there is that option, you know. Always a good thing. <laughs> Strongly recommend doing a single tour guest at 5051. Don't they? Isn't there like the quest chain? Or do you have to wait until 60 to do those? I forget. 93.6 at the moment. Mission I'm on at the moment is my lowest at 40. You got a 40, 42, 244, 46. Don't think it'll be a problem. 
New chance to 30. In time for Lunar Festival. While it might not reach 50, they'll be close. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Go 40 Renown at 50. Yeah, only if you take Threads of Fate, though, channel. Daily now for Threads of Fate. Yeah, but I'm talking about not doing Threads of Fate for my tunes because I don't want to. That's why I kept saying one of the options isn't for me. <laughs> Yeah, I can't just jump into Torghast, jump into Threads, and then do a Torghast for the Renown, and then jump back into Storyline and keep going, because it's not how it works, obviously. Um, that would, yeah, really suck. But yeah, I um, much prefer the... Uh, like, story quests and stuff like that. I just hate it. Oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm quite enjoying Bastion. I mean, I've only done it four times, so... Hi, the sun went... Ah, Metafont! Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. 36 months, three full years. Holy cow. That's amazing. With threads, do you bring subjectives in all dungeon key spans? Heal tank, your quest. Let's keep less dungeon key. Our oh, side quest is dungeon queues wait for DPS. Okay. Interesting. Leveling has definitely always been a solo play, like a single player game for me. Um, and that's the way I like it. Uh, especially with how many I've got, I just... Mm -mm. Just all it takes is one bad experience with another person. And it just throws the whole thing off. Much prefer just being able to plug in and go... There is a time for prayer and a Where time we for... But we all play the game differently, how and that's totally fine. You? Nothing wrong with that at all. Are we halfway through 47? Ah, oh, getting there. Getting there. So any bets on whether we think I'm going to get a... I'm definitely going to get at least one level 50 tonight. Unless I get broken somehow, then that's, you know, like... It's going to take a hell of a lot to distract me. But... Do we think I'll get a second 50 tonight? I hope I do. Because I kind of need one. No, I don't, I don't need one. I'm like, I'm up to date. But I would like to get ahead. <laughs> I would like to not have to worry and get it done on the last fucking day, you know? It would be very nice. But, um, I would very much like to get a second pack today. If at all possible. Do we think that that is possible? Love Bastion. Go Threads. Do you bring... Oh, I read that already. Uh, I think it's totally feasible to do three if you have that many around 47. Interesting. Okay. First time on that little tracker sheet I made. Oh, Jack. Hey, how's your um, Covenant gold making guide thing going? Or do, is that kind of just a eh, CBF? So, seems like torture. Well, see, I mean, 
This one's now 47. But I'm like an hour in and I'm only halfway through 47. And I was pretty close to 47 when we started. I was maybe 75% of the way through 46. So I've only really gotten like 75% of it. I haven't even really gotten a full level yet. And we're already an hour in, so we'll see. We'll see. That's messed up. What's messed up? Master Dubuaki's going too. Must be getting there. What is this place? I had a bunch of easy turning across my log earlier. I managed to get. Just put it in like 30 minutes. Just being chaotic, yeah. I'd say you probably had a bunch in your in your logs, yeah. I'm gonna go back and guide this. Go night, Faye, do runes. Runes, pet charms, gold wrap until 19. After raid dies down, do pet charms, gold wrap. Okay. Alright. Do you actually farm anima on your tunes, or do you just like pick up anima quests in your up from the adventure guide, uh, adventure table, whenever you see them? Yeah, look, I could probably do a posture check. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, check out his own to do five north friend zones, and I'm done. Ah, oh, well done. Look at you go. That's awesome. Please help. <laughs> Would you one call here around for boss kills when a tune is low? 16 to be once every two weeks. Okay, that's cool. That's fair. Uh, I've only got fear in Porthia. None of my other 60s are actually there, so I might have to do something about that. But even the world boss every week might be. Oh. Something liberal with anima? Yeah. I'm still having to take so many, like, um, uh, what's it? Uh, like, I'm taking XP missions because I'm trying to level the fucking things up. Because there are so many, uh, so many adventures that they just, the, uh, fucking, what's it called? The add-on just keeps saying, Another can't, can't be, can't, no victory, no victory, no victory. And I'm like, ugh, so I'm trying to level them up so that I don't get that goddamn message anymore. Um, but it's costing me a pretty penny in terms of anima. A pretty anima doesn't sound, doesn't flow as nicely. When is the leveling stream? Literally right now, Dory, that's what you're watching. <laughs> I am, this is me leveling. Uh, I bought a couple of the Night Fae anima mounts today. Ah, oh, nice, Yuri, congratulations. Uh, I remember what it was, the Whispers of Frightened World quest. I did all the quick chromie quests before leading to the point. Actually, had to try to save Chromie, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the anyway? Leveling and I fail five first, yeah. Come. Faith Speak is with my me. mirror. But How can I help? Fire away! Oh, I think once I start getting them to 60, I'm gonna need um some kind of checklist for all the different companions. Because I know that a lot of them are only in certain wings and stuff like that, so like just keeping an eye out for when the right wings are up so that I can go get just that one fucking companion and then GTFO. Not compa uh, companion? Yeah, you know, the ones. Mm. 
Do my warrior! Yay! Chaos! Congratulations! I won't work. Wanted to level my monk? You can level it whenever you like. You don't- I don't have to be leveling for you to level something. You can level it during any stream that I do. I believe in you. All that fair except for a single Kyrian that I never play. Well, I've got four tunes at 60. I've got one of each. One in each, um, covenant. Because that's what I wanted. Uh, I have a spreadsheet. In fact, it's in the 50-50 spreadsheet of which tunes I want to put in which covenant so that I have one of each armor type in each covenant. Um, for, like, collection purposes and stuff. But then beyond that, if Night Fae is the way to go for cash, then I'll just go Night Fae for the rest of them. I was going to try to figure out how to do it evenly and all that kind of stuff, but if I don't need to, then why bother? Um, the only other reason would be to try to get the, um, all the different rewards that are, like, Covenant-specific. But even then, if you can get it from the Ember Court, you can probably get it from the Conservatory, you know? Um, I don't think there are any that are exclusive to, to like, faction, uh, to Covenants like that. I feel you don't really, really don't need to get the followers. Okay, all right. Hey, Avi, how you doing? Hey, Fia, when you get a chance, can you please post the January schedule? Ah, oh, no, mods don't have the image because I make that myself. Is it still not up? I thought I did that. I ticked it off my list. Grumble, I'm an idiot. Give me a minute. Now I'm hopped in. That's good. Do you really want to min max mana? Yeah. Look, I don't I don't think so. Um but yeah. Saturday yesterday. Ah, oh, fantastic! That's awesome. Afternoon, Chad. Something about yesterday's game so good. It was, wasn't it? It was really, really good. I just, yeah, if you're using this new submission table, don't do any more than one per armor type of the other covenants. Yeah. That phase is just by far the easiest to level without doing tour gas because their troops are so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Where do we stand? But yeah, definitely want to do, definitely want to like cover the, the field in terms of armor types and stuff, but the still has only 16. And four of them will be Night Fae. So that's 12 tunes out of 50 that will be not Night Fae. <laughs> so I reckon 38 might be enough. What do you think? <laughs> like, <laughs> could be, could be okay. Could be okay. Uh, but we'll see. I've still got to get them to fucking 60 first. Um, and that's going to take a while. And of course, I'll be focusing on the 16 for the armor types first. Just to get them going. Pure gold is like, hmm. That would be nice. Fifteen hundred a week, I think. That's not bad. It's not bad. I uh, I did crafting yesterday. Um, all the bags and the cards and stuff. Um. Spent some time doing some flipping today and yesterday. So much fucking gold, holy shit. Mmm. 
Oh, excuse me. Very rude. Material is not including rep runes or pet stuff, so yeah. Yeah, of course. So where was your little mini guide that you did? I'm gonna copy that. And stick it in it. There we go. Because I will forget. Very good at forgetting. As you all know. <clears throat> I feel like you can make 1.5 in a single day. Oh yeah, it just it frustrates the absolute shit out of me where I've got like some of my characters have like 700 plus anima and I'm getting all these anima like and anima quests on them. And then on the tune on my Night Fae tune where I have no fucking anima left and I'm having to like scrimp and try to, you know, do as much as I possibly can. I'm getting no anima quests. I'm like, fuck and why? It just the RNG is killing me. Absolutely killing me. So looking into a side, I might be able to use it at work. How well does it do multiplayer stuff for tasks? I have no idea. I haven't used it like that. Um, I believe it works pretty well. Um, my manager at work uses it for all of her stuff. And um, she has, like, occasionally, she used to send me tasks every so often that were in her list that she knew that I could do. The problem is that I don't have access to a lot of her logins and stuff like that. Um, so I have very limited access to stuff, especially working from home, so I can't really help her with stuff like that. Um, there are other things I can do, and I do those, but she doesn't send them to me through Asana. So I'm not 100% sure how it works multiplayer-wise, uh, but it's designed for teams in a workplace. It's not designed for how I use it as a personal to-do list. Um, <laughs> it is designed to be used for teams in a workplace. Um, but in their help section and stuff, they have a shitload of, like, case studies and things like that. So, I don't know, have a look through there, I guess. Just do some research. Oh, uh, but you can send anima now. True. True. I kind of want to dive in and actually farm some anima on some of my 60s and like get the on the other covenants and get them up and like invest into their in, and grow their covenant halls and, and do the the covenant specific you know the, the conservatory and the abomination table like i want to do all the fun cute stuff um and get some of those achievements and stuff but i just any spare time that i have it's been i'm using it to level at the moment and i don't i mean i don't have much spare time but when i do i'm leveling so it's, um, yeah, but hey, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there, and it looks like I'm going to hit my goal ahead of, ahead of schedule, which is fantastic, which means I might actually end up with some spare time to do shit like that. have to make myself a wish list of things I'd like to achieve in WoW, and then and then get some stuff done. Uh, I saw a video comparing with Trillo in the streets ahead of Trillo. Oh, that's good. Fantastic. Two thousand one hundred and three gold per week per tune from the raw gold missions for me so far. That's not bad. It's really not bad. It's also not bad because it like the big thing is it's passive. Um, you could make a shitload more than that if you did the callings every day. I think I must have hit forty eight because fucking Mograin's talking to me again. Like, you can get a shitload of gold and stuff from the callings and stuff, like, so much gold from the callings, but it just takes so much work, so much effort. It takes time that I, that a lot of us simply don't have. But then doing covenant stuff, it takes you only a couple of minutes to set them up, and then if you just check them once a day, make it part of your morning ritual, then you're done, you know? That's that's the favorite part about it for me is that there's like little to no actual effort involved. Battle, indeed, indeed, and I'm 48 on this turn. 93.60% complete. 
Uh, if they don't change colour, it's going to be really quick gold on certain weeks. Yeah. Yep. They're going to nerf the shit out of them as soon as, like, the pre-patch for the next expansion hits. They have to. Like, they're going to have to. More hydrates! Hmm. A stretch! Uh, this time's when two dungeon callings line up, and if that stays, that value for the next X pack is going to be quick to knock out two in one. Oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, channel Chaos, View, Miantos, Neke, Alex, Zan, Ollie, and Koala. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Yeah, I love when stuff lines up like that. I'm pretty sure there was a day a while, like months and months and months ago, where all three of them were in the same zone. And it was like, what? It was great. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> okay, I still can't place a Berserker, but I can place an Archer, which finishes off that quest for me. And then I can I can place my last Berserker next battle. Finish off the other one. This will be number 29, won't it? When I when I finish this one, I'm pretty sure it'll be. Yeah, this will be 29. Sweet. When you are ready, we will follow you into Shatra. Am I even gonna get to Spires on this tune? I don't think I'm going to. <clears throat> Have you seen my wrench anywhere? <laughs> Week's done! Yay, Yuri! Well done! Well done. Ooh, I have a question for you guys. I have to go and get something to show you first, though. Ooh, that's Jazz. Wait just a minute. When I, when I land, I'm going to be back in a second. I'm going to play an ad now so it delays the ad later. The RB. Gifted nugs. Sorry? You need another band aid. <laughs> I think we need a new box of band aids. Yeah, we're running a bit low. Don't die. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna try not to die. No dying, Theo. There we go. I didn't no die. die. Well, technically, it's Vela at the moment. No dying, Vela. No <laughs> die. <laughs> Thank you so much for the nugs. Actually, I will take one nug. Okay. Delivery Do you want some dip? Do you want some dip? No. Ow. Do you need to maybe put the band-aids on before you stick your finger into salty stuff? Nah. Oh, for God's sake, can you please wash your hand before you put the band-aid on? 
a lot of sirens. Holy shit. Mm. That's just what truck. we saw. Yeah, two very large fire trucks going by the end of the street. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I'm, there probably were a few that went by before we peeked out the window. Someone burnt the toast. Yuggies. Right, so I had a question for you lot. Huh? No is not a valid answer. There is much we can My computer says, fuck yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I've programmed it well. I right, so, to the you guys know what I'm talking about making well, cross-stitch banners with names of subs and stuff like that. Well, the shape of the banner compared with the shape of the fabric that I have would mean that I have stuff left over. And I have Steal these things from a while ago. If you've been here for, I'm talking many years, um, you may remember that I have a thing with like little badges. They're made basically buttons. Um, do uh, Mrs. Helix has these? I'm pretty sure, or something very, very similar. Anyway, um, so you get a little metal dome thing like this, and you get a little flat plate that clicks into the back of it using a tool, and then you put like a little pin Keep your on the back up. so that you can use them as a badge. And these ones that I have are 38 millimeter. Um, and I was putting, I put, um, uh, Pokeballs on them. Like, I cross-stitched, not the full size of it, but, like, with a bit of a border around them, I cross-stitched Pokeballs onto these. And I made a bunch of different ones, like there was a Great Ball and a Master Ball and a reg regular Great Ball, that kind of stuff. Much um, and I'm wondering, because I'm gonna have a ton of fabric left we over, like, cross-stitch fabric specifically, but it'll be too small to do anything with in terms of, like, a proper frame, but... They'll fit quite well for, for this kind of deal. The question is, what? The question is, what? It is finished. I must rest a moment. So I'm looking for ideas on what I can little tiny baby cross stitches that I can then put on badges. Potentially either give away or sell or so depending on what's on it because obviously if there are things that are like ip copyrighted bullshit and stuff that i can't sell it um and that's okay but <laughs> or if people had special requests there's a potential that i could do a commission and just charge for like the cost of the materials kind of thing I rather than you know what i mean that kind of thing so many innocent people innocent but yeah knowledge is, is power i'm curious yes. your logo oh you that's a cute idea you traitor the armor flame bird i wonder if i could squish it down to that size it'd lose a lot of detail that's the only issue um, I do have some fabric that's much higher count, so if it's like 25 count, you fit 25 stitches into an inch, so I could get a little more detail into those, but the ones that are like 14 count, where I can get 14 stitches in an inch, you just lose so much detail. Um, so that's far better suited to, um, uh, much simpler designs, but I could definitely see what I could figure out. Stitch badge of the sub's name. Bird plus name slash initials. Don't let this nuisance that could the, the bird plus the initials. I don't think it'd work because it'd be too much, not not enough space. Um, but sub names could work. Ending. Uh, I was thinking I could potentially do eight bit Pokemon sprites, like from the original games, but colorized. Um, because the some of the smaller Pokemon, if you talk about actual pixels, I think Bulbasaur's 8-bit one is 19 by 20. So if I was doing that on 20 count fabric, he'd be an inch, um, which is um, smaller than that, I'm pretty sure. 
How many centimeters are in a millimeters? It's inches. Yeah, 25 millimeters. So it'd definitely fit on there. And then if I if I had ones like if I had bigger ones, more detailed ones, for example, like a Moltres, uh, where the eight bit the eight bit sprite is quite a bit bigger, I could use a higher count fabric to try to get it to fit. Or just stick to baby Pokemans. That also works. Ah, uh, I can use Tumblr for your mercy store, huh? Merch store. Ah, uh, I yeah, I'm, I don't think I need a Tumblr. I don't think that Tumblr's any good at selling products. Um, it's okay. A Gengar. Ooh, I don't know how big Gengar's eight bit is. I have to check. Um, there's a website I can get I get my sprites from, and then um, open them up in GIMP and just check how big they are, basically, in terms of pixels. It works really easily. Uh, evening all. Hello, Seeker. Rusted Protege. No. Do you want me to tell you? It's a, it has already been guessed. Uh, it has already been guessed. Yes. It's already been guessed, so I can just tell you, or I can let you play round two and, like, just being aware that the, that the prize has already been claimed. Up to you, Seeker. Let me know, please. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um. your help with black hat i can get you shadows there. always look Speak excellent when you're ready Aww. thank you multi-tone shadows it's funny because okay, there are no multi-tone shadows effect. i'm just i've kind of there's black and there's red and there's like gold shimmer so like i must have i must have layered them in a way that makes Neither them look really well. thank you for the compliment i have been look for the last few weeks i've been playing around with a couple of different techniques and i've been really loving the result as well personally so i think I've figured out what works well. Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like I've figured out what works well with my with my eyes and with my skill level and stuff, which of course, you know, doing my makeup all the time means that my skill level is always improving, which is great. So I'm really happy with that. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, this is gonna eat away at my brain unless I figure it out. Um, Do you have a macro for every tune with their moves? Yes. Yes. This one. I do, yeah. So the add-on is called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. Like gnome is in the class, or the class, the race. Like mechanome, gnome, yep. Um, and then the website is called Wow Lazy Macros. And they have a bunch of different ones written by a bunch of different people for different circumstances and shit like that. Light, help us. So, if one doesn't fit quite right for your playstyle, um, then you can find a different one and stuff like that. It's really good. <clears throat> it's really good. Oh, Gengar is a huge one. Um, okay. Hang on. <clears throat> mm, 
I'm going to go to my gnome trainer and boom undead gnome class. Look. Look. I'm not sure that anyone would complain about that. In fact, I'm sure that in the 17 years of WoW, there has been at least one fucking uh, April Fool's patch notes that have called the gnomes a, uh, a class. Surely. Need this in my life? It is pretty useful. Some people use it to actually like learn what the class is meant to do. Um, I use it because I'm bad at um, at concentrating on like everything at once. <clears throat> right. So Gengar is thirty-two by thirty-five. Um. So he's 35 tall, which, and considering that this is circular, means he'd need to fit in that hole. In there. And I don't know if this hole is actually 38 millimeters or not. Look. Oh, it is. Okay. So, in that case. What size? That's 25 per inch, which means that these would have to be a millimeter. So 35 would definitely fit on it. Yeah, I could do Gengar on like this fabric. I've got a bunch, but that's 18 count. He wouldn't fit there. That's 14. He definitely wouldn't fit on that. That's 22 count. Oh, I don't think he'd fit on there. 20 count, he wouldn't fit on there. And then that's 25. So he might be close to fitting on the 22. Maybe. Um, 22. Alright, 25 millimeters divided by 22 stitches times 35 stitches. No, he wouldn't fit on the 22. He'd, it'd have to be on the 25. Um, but it could feasibly work. Ugh. Right, what am I doing? Killing stuff. Good! Um, so maybe a little bit possible. Are yeah. You listening? The strongest spirit yeah. Always maybe a little bit possible. That would not be the fabric I'd be using for one of my banners, though. Uh, I think the banners would be on... I ended up saying 20 count. <laughs> No, I'm doing the banners on 18 count. <clears throat> but I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean I wouldn't have stuff left over from other projects. I just have to have other projects first. This is shit. This is shit. <clears throat> Uh, my durability is trash. We can repair. Step closer and don't mumble. Come back with some so, better stories. What am I missing? Why is that not? I 
have some kind of um bloodthirst right <clears throat> So it has all that in it. I'm just maybe not using my cooldowns Let effectively. We will persevere. And that's understandable. Because I don't really pay attention to cooldowns when I'm using these macros. <clears throat> or heals. Right. Void mend. Noted. It's fine. It's fine, I'm alive. What are you talking about? Um, how goes the percentage for 50-50s? 93.60. 93.60. I'm doing pretty damn well. So I finally caved and got Zygor and LVY. LVY freaked me out by disappearing the rest of my action bars, but I'll figure it out eventually. As for Zygor, it's working well. Can't figure out how to reset dungeon guides when I'm rerunning for transmog. It just tells me I've already finished. Um, you should be able to control click to go back to the start. It will flick through the quests already, but the actual go here, go here, go here, go here should be fine. Um, And LVY, if you, I think it's like there are there are settings in the action bars to turn on like more of them. I can't remember exactly where it is, but there are you you can turn on more of them. Um, yes, you just have to find them. Maybe under extra buttons or something. No, those are different buttons. But yeah, they're they're in there because I have them, as you can fucking see with all of my fucking buttons. Ha. Um. Uh, I always find you add on those things you're a bit weird for me after a while. I can't live without- oh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Is that a single target GSE? Good question. No idea. Main sequence of the macro should be utilizing recklessness not pull, and then on cooldown, rampage, bloodthirst, and raging blow on cooldown. Uh, it will also add an execute for procs and victory rush when pulling mobs to maximize DPS. Bladestorm has been replaced with dragon roll for this macro. It doesn't say anything about, um, like... Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. But it's from BAM on the, on those, on the forums. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, hopefully you get in a group with it soon, maybe. Yes! Holy fuck, do I dislike the new league launch? It went from being really nice with stuff in locations that made sense to a series of why the fuck is that there? Oh no! Give them feedback! Feedback, feedback, feedback. Such a long time. Hey, Mikey, how you doing? Player bars. There you go, it's under player bars. I need to take a nap. Control click, you go. Brilliant. Just seems to be casting a lot of whirlwinds for single target. Ah, okay. Interesting. You bring news? Mano ta, my friend. Do you have a heal that I need to interrupt? He was no issue. Cool. I actually have been reading this expansion. Nice little priest was loving the end of your face. She's now my main. Fantastic news. I hope you're enjoying it. Good fortune. 
Onward. I just wait till the first look to transmog. Don't encourage others to do the same picking me. Because if the transmog, I mean, like, obviously it worked for you. Why would it not work for others? Nah, look, hey, people people choose their mains for ridiculous reasons. And I think that's just as valid as any. right absolutely as as a reason to choose a character for sure Let's why not do this. Married, how you doing? Probably right, walking and elves all spin. So do some undead, so do blood elves. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, okay, shush, meow. Like death. That makes sense. That makes sense. You are you're not fighting off anything small. Um, the dogs are just hot. <laughs> but they also spin jump. You cannot discount the spin jump. Only Chromog remains now. Sideways is a bit weird. Nah, they're fine. Just means they're like extra coordinated to be able to do that like mid run. Lots of gentle pet snuggles. That was a great increase transmog. Yeah, as I've discovered. Um, some monk spin. They do. They do. <clears throat> Not to move too much, yeah. Yup. Yeah. Good plan. This is my day long day of my body finding the shredded virus. Oh, if your eyes get heavy, let your body sleep. Just like water it, feed it, and let it sleep. Let it do what it's gotta do.
can fix your sleeping pattern once you're healthy again. Charge is great. Ranged are great because, like, ranged classes are great because you can, like, tab target through them all and just kill them one at a time. But being able to charge, oh, it's just so convenient. It's melee, but with the benefit of just, like, tab and push button. is just a lazy charge exactly it's a reverse charge it's i'm not coming to you but you're gonna come to me and like now <laughs> not in the time it takes you to run over here like now <clears throat> last nug Congratulations to Meaty, Neke, Loza, and Dunno on all your bonus shit. And it's boss fight time and it is loyalty super boss chest time also. Make sure you place those units if you'd like a chance at a ridiculous number of scrolls. And I can place my Berserker for my final quest. Well, it's not a final quest. I still have to level my stuff to 30 and stuff. But look, I'm getting there. I'm trying. Actually, while I'm here. And I'm dun dun. Might as well. Dun dun dun. Button. There we go. <clears throat> Make it look easy. Look, it's all thanks to you guys. All thanks to you guys. Quests. Turn in all the quests. No, 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 running up the stairs. Well, flying over the stairs, but anyway. Close enough. Let's go with that. You wish to see the power of the Empire first, and you want challenging me, so be it. I can use 
remember the song like that. Look, I make up my own songs all the time. It's great. Love it. through Talador I'll get before I hit. Dude. I wonder if I'll finish it. Talador did feel kind of short compared to like all Brondon shit. But it is just like a smaller zone as well, isn't it? Physically. Oh, and it's about the same size. Hmm, I wonder if I'll make it to Spires. I've had enough of your One way to find out. <clears throat> By the light, what a battle! Twenty nine fifties. Once this one hits, twenty nine. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's so exciting! I can't believe I'm actually like achieving a goal I set for myself. It's such a good feeling. I mean, it's not done yet, obviously, but I feel like Where I can. I feel like Where I'm gonna actually come? do it. I'm getting close. It feels so good. To you. So good. GG indeed. Well, we're da, 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 63% through level 48. Get in there. 35% of the way through the Talador guide. <clears throat> Ready to request text? No, I'm not. <laughs> because I have done it. Multitudes of times before. Did I mention this was going to be my 29th level 50 character? Yeah, no, I read this shit like the first time around. When I was leveling Fear. George, we Yay, Midi! Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome news. Not the posture check. I'm, am I that bad? I do have one foot like tucked up again underneath me, but like, ugh. <clears throat> I still don't get why they add so much quest text. I can't think of many who actually read it. Well, people you like people tend to read it the first time through, and you you'd be surprised. I'd say probably the majority of players, maybe not the uh, you know the speed levelers who are min maxing raiders, blah 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 blah. Um, maybe they don't read it at all, but the vast majority of the rest of the player base does. They just don't read it through every time they level a character, because you know what it says. You know what it says after the first round. But like when we leveled through Shadowlands, Jas and I, I read every single quest aloud on stream. Uh, and prior, like in prior expansions, I absolutely read every single quest that I was taking. I just don't do it on the 29th go around because <laughs> by that point I'm like yeah I, yeah I've heard this story before but even still even if I'm on fear and I find this random quest I've never completed before I'll absolutely read it and it, it all creates more for the, the world it, it fleshes out the story fleshes out the world that they live that all our characters live in without it something would be missing even though you don't read it now if you ever did, like, if if you ever went to read, it's like, why am why am I killing these? Like, what am what am I doing? Why am I doing this? It's in the quest text with a little bit of fluff added for funsies. You have shoulders quite a bit lower than the right. Fair enough. I must have been like slanted, but not really feeling it. Okay. Read it because I don't know how to read. Fair. If you didn't read every quest for your wrath, you couldn't play the game. Yep. Yep. Um. But yeah, they just they just color the story, color the world. It's like the flavor text on mounts and stuff. I I, I doubt that anyone actually, you know, how, how many people read this shit? Not many. 
but it's it's cool for the people who do read it. It's nice. I love the wild lore, so I always read it, but yeah, leveling it all, not so much. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. First time through, absolutely. But uh, beyond that, I just want to get done. Hey, Alox, how you doing? You do, Jackie? Nice. <clears throat> One more of these fucks. you had to read quests since there was no quest markers and such and no idea where you were going if you didn't read quests. Yup. That did also mean though that back then it was a lot more actual like information and guidance rather than just like fluffy story stuff. Nowadays it's a little more fluffy but it's still cool to read. Solar Spire Hot Flavor takes most, I think. Nice. Did you check it out? Oh dear. Okay. Where are we at now? 79 and a half percent. Arcanon Poros. Oh, we're getting there. I'm so excited. Yay! There was a battle axe that had great flavor text. Oh, there, there is so much amazing flavor text in this game. Seven, five, eight, four on my head. Um. <laughs> Battle Axe of the Sober Dwarf. Love it. That's awesome. And yes, I can see the flavor text. I just don't want to spoil it for other people who want to go look. That's awesome. Your text having flavor. Well, that's the whole thing. It's it's text that doesn't actually do anything. It just kind of adds a little something something to the world. It colors it. It gives it a bit of flavor. It makes it not so bland. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So if that item does it exist, go look it up on my head. Have a look at the uh, the flavor text. How many ults have you got done now? 28. This will be number 29. Oh, we get there. Almost there. Almost there. It's just 
streaking, fair enough. That's nice. Yeah, getting there. Getting there. 93.6% complete of my whole thing. Doing pretty freaking well. On target. On target. Up to date. Not behind, which is nice. I'm hoping I might actually be able to beat the, uh, beat my target, but, uh, beat my deadline, but we'll see how we go. I don't want to set my expectations too, too high. As long as I meet the deadline, I'll be happy. Twenty-two more to go, right? Yep. Each yep. Day is a blessing. You're going after it? Suit yourself. I'm getting out of the next here. race class combo to level. Uh look. Well, next one on, on my spreadsheet. So if you type exclamation 5050s, that's F I F T Y F -F five zero S. Um you get the spreadsheet that I'm working off, and I usually just go like whatever whatever's top on the spreadsheet. But the next one on the spreadsheet is another warrior. So, I mean, technically it'd be a Nightborn Warrior, straight after the Void Elf Warrior. Um, but look, I don't know. It's just because that's easiest. If I'm just going with whatever's top on the, the list, it's easier. <clears throat> oh, the Dwarven Fishing Bowl. Yeah. Thank you, Jack, for dropping the link. Much appreciated. But yeah, I've got a Void Elf Warrior, which is this one. Nightborn Warrior, Dwarf Death Knight, Dwarf Paladin, Dark Iron Dwarf Monk. Um, Zandalari Troll Paladin, Goblin Rogue, Nightborn Death Knight, Troll Mage, Wargon Druid, Lightforged Draenei Priest, Undead Monk, Undead Warlock, Mechanome Hunter, High Mountain Tauren Shaman, Magheart Orc Priest, Tauren Druid, Kultiran Druid, Gnome Mage, Blood Elf Demon Hunter, Night Elf Demon Hunter, and a Draenei Shaman. And that's it. That's the list. Sorry, what's this for? Uh, oh, those are the alts I have left to level up next. My now, almost 53, 43, nice. Awesome. Jeez, that's why I call it a 50-50 challenge. 50 level 50 tunes. I've got 28 at the moment. This will be number 29. Uh, so that list was 22 characters long. Yeah. Working on my knife on mage. Ah, uh, nice. How are you enjoying it, Shadow? Hope you're having fun. I need to get myself a glyph. I seriously hate the moon can form. Oh, Yori. See, this is why I just I just play as feral. Like make it easy. Super quick. Everything dies, like. So this is what they were ah, ever since i saw blue-eyed undead ranger general way. sylvanas i leveled my blood elf hunter through the time walking nice hope you're enjoying it mikey may the light embrace you that's quite enough of this illusion i think go oh we're super close to 49 96.96 destroy that wretched prism we cannot risk it falling into their hands <laughs> Now just relax. You and I you got anything are going to have a chance. I only started painting them today because I've been really behind on a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so at the moment they're not even like not even the base coat is right. It's still patchy. Forgive it still needs another deception. coat or two. I have um, to appeal but it's to like your sympathy a in order super pale to play blue. you against Kyrex. I have expected him to vaporize you, but you dispatched him quite handily. An impressive display. Though, it was your decision to enter the mine that truly piqued my interest. 
Your desire to reveal the truth behind the attack. Shadows the fear gather. Is here delving into the unknowable, seeking the answers dark. in the dark. I am mm. Iskar. I'm not leveling, I'm leveling my mic to 60, and I've been spamming mists for the flower crown. It won't drop. Check to see if it drops on normal, and it does. Anyways, I'm close to 50 attempts. I am molding. And I'm afraid I'll have to bring another ult. What is molding? Um, better at balance there? Yeah, fair. You gotta play with what you enjoy here. Wait a second, taste it. Yeah, 60 yesterday. Turn down to 40 on Alliance. I made an Arcane Mage pretty familiar on the rotation. Awesome! Good, that's awesome. That's really good. Uh, hey, Fairy. Uh, what's tonight's makeup? It was a Black Wolf. It was a Black Wolf. Or to the completed look? Yeah, it'll be. Hopefully, it'll look okay. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard that before. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to last until I finish these. I think killing these things for the powder might um, push me over to 49, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Making pretty good time on this tune. I seem to be. Hey, two hours in, and I've done approximately two and a quarter levels. It's well for getting a second 50 tonight, that's for sure. You <laughs> started at 46. Yeah, but I was about a, like 25% a off. I was about at 75% of 46. Go, 49. 49. Ninety-three, seventy-three. I'm ahead again. Which pack do you think is fastest for leveling? Wad. Krona Kai Kristor. Wad. There is there is no question. It's Warlords of Journal. By a couple of hours. Um, the next next uh, the next fastest one's Legion. Uh, and the slowest ones are BC and Wrath, which take approximately twice as long as Wads does. So, what is estimated at taking about 12 hours? I think it was. And then Legions are at like 14, and BC and Wrath are at 24 ish. Um, there was a, a thing on Wowhead a while back when they did the. when they implemented the Squish. Uh, and people were testing it all out and, and timing things and stuff like that. And yeah, that was what they came out with. They've got like a whole. Uh, like a ranking and an estimated time for each and stuff. Obviously, if you're going to min-max, or if you're a professional speed leveler and all that kind of stuff, then uh, those times are not going to apply to you. But as a general sort of guide, yeah, what will take you roughly 12 hours to go through from 10 to 50. Mm, I'm trying to grind out some mounts, crazy rate, and theater paint mounts. Ah, nice, Shadow. Awesome, awesome. Squish. Yes, Wrath is definitely the slowest girl. Well, tied with BC. Burning Crusade and Wrath were both um, both at 24 hours. <clears throat> but 
if you're doing it for things like Lawmaster, then there is a there's a purpose, you know. And then you never have to do it again. You can go through and just do the zones you need for Lawmaster, and then chuck on over to to what if you so desired. Leveling a horde druid once you run out of classic dungeons and quests. I'll head to ward, get a horde garrison. Yeah. Yep. Not a bad idea. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to make it to Spires on this tune. Which I'm totally fine with. I know the zone extremely well, yeah. Yeah, that definitely does help. And I always take slower. I, I always move slower than a lot of those guides and stuff will tell you. Uh, simply because I stop to check in on chat, and I stop to take quick breaks, and I stop to do all sorts of, you know, little bits and pieces that are associated with streaming. Streaming make things take longer. It's as simple as that. The light embrace you. Be well. Just as long as rares are easily movable too, right? Uh, possibly. I'm not too sure, but Mikey might be able to answer that. I'm assuming the question was directed at Mikey anyway, so. <laughs> <coughs> There you go. the other book.
Damn it. Oh well. Hey Samura. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks for asking. I hope you're doing well. Just doing some leveling. Making some progress on my 50-50s. Very excited. I'm getting so close. Here, leveling my shaman. Nice. I'm on a warrior at the moment, in case you weren't able to tell. Uh <laughs> Okay. I'm about halfway through 49 now. So there should be 50 shortly. And I'm hoping we can squeeze a second 50 in tonight. Get two more 50s. Push us to 30. Very exciting. But we'll see. We will see. Look, my power and internet could go splat. Who knows? 30. Yeah, this, this tune here that I'm leveling will be number 29. Um, so if I can get another one after this one done tonight, I'll be at 30. Which is pretty good. Uh, I could do a sneaky level 49, go back to 47. No, I feel like that's cheating, Yori. I, like, I want to. I want to knock over so many so bad, but, like, I feel like that's cheating. But won't it be amazing, like, you know, like, mid-January, going through and being like, 50, 50, 50, like, at the very end of it, and then being like, 50, 50s, and, you know, it'd be awesome. It'd be one whole fucking stream of goddamn motherfucking hype. It'd be great. It'd be worth it. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Ugh. Oh, one minute and three seconds left to place your units. Make sure you get them in, guys. Make sure you get them in. We must recover Cariboon at all costs. March we forward the moment you, you see a hole in their line. No demon will set foot in Akindun on We my must watch. preserve the sanctity of the Go. fallen. Speak with me. I hope you're right. The dead I am grower. listening. Fearful. <clears throat> Something truly dark is coming. Greetings. So just prepare for battle indeed. Indeed. I'll get a few I'll get through a few hydrates while the battle happens, I think. Perfect timing. Perfect. Alright, let's drop some haste on this party. Let's go. Where are those redemptions? Dunno, good evening. It's going alright. Ooh, free for all. It's going pretty well. I'm I'm quite close to getting my next 50 completed, which is nice. And then we'll jump onto a second tune, see if we get two 50s tonight. We'll see. We'll see. I have BTW quests. The quest lines in the previous zones. I'm a completionist, so I want to do everything I can. 
I don't know what BTW means. It's great. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon so. Here we go. Look at those big 30 scrolls. Musketeers, monks, and flying rogues. Congratulations to Spam, Meaty, Vue, Oaf, Loza, and Miantos on all of that bonus shit. Well done. On to the next one. Um, I reckon we might go to an add on. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I no idea. Um, alrighty. Leveling my archer. Jeez, indeed. <clears throat> Yeah, eventually I'll go through and clear out all the little individual random side quests and stuff that I missed many, many moons ago. Um, but it's just not that high on my priority list at the moment. I know they exist. I'll get to them. <laughs> I will get the... Should I have a little quest done in that zone? Oh, okay. I mean, just use Lawmaster. Like, <laughs> no biggie. Yeah, I just, I use all the things for all of my completion needs. Um, I don't see or feel the need to have additional add ons or anything like that. Um, but each their own. You gotta work, you gotta use what works for your playstyle, hey. That's all there is. So don't actually care about finishing all of them before I move on to the next because it's incredibly inefficient when I'm trying to level 50 characters at once. But again, it's just different playstyles. to another burning resonator. The most exciting moment is when you get like you're a level off your goal, like now, 49, and you see the experience in in log reaches to the end of the bar. Like that's the most it's like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm almost there. Feels so good. Who are those though? Is there a Go away can't abandon that particular quest. Bits like your turn summon. So close, you guys. So fucking close. Thanks to Torghast. Yes. Wait, why are you, why are you still uh, grinding Soul Ash? I'm guessing you're trying to get all of the legendaries or something. All made. Upgraded and shit. Next one. Let us speak. And the next one. The dead speak to those. Into the building we go. Let's request. Ah, brilliant. 
Best of luck. Hope you get good powers. There's a speedy run for you. We have to protect the wounded. Don't give up, Soulbinder. I lead the wounded to safety. Cover our escape. Torgas for a while, yeah, neither have I. Neither have I. Jas and I used to do all our runs together, and we just haven't had a reason to for a long while, so we don't. Or did you travel on? Still have the mount to get to. Ah. Tiger, destroy the intruder! These souls are nearly mine! <laughs> Seventy-nine point three five percent of the way through level forty-nine. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, this is so exciting. Twenty-nine out of fifty. Oh. Should level the next warrior next. It is next in the list, so you know. Hey, Loz, doing well. How are you going? Hey, Sticks, what is up? All right, there we go. Out we get. Fix my lumbar cushion. Because I am an old. Doing well, just a bit of classic TBC leveling. Wonderful. Are you doing hardcore? Or are you doing like sane person leveling? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I could ever do hardcore. God, I just. I, I lose concentration all the time. Or I'm paying attention to chat or something. God, no, I would be the worst at hardcore. The worst. You're leveling all classes evenly or sticking to tank healers for fast event queues. I don't do any I don't there are no event queues, there are no dungeon queues, nothing like that. Um it's uh like I'm not Oh, did you mean like with um for lovers in the air? No. No. Um it's even. It's four of everything. Uh five mages, five druids, but four of everything else. Um and when you said leveling evenly, I thought you meant like bringing them all up at the same time, like rather than like leveling one, then leveling the next one. But yeah, I was rotating through rested 
Um, I would go with whatever was lowest level in my spreadsheet, level it until it ran out of rested, and then resort by level, and then go with the lowest one again, the one at the top of the list. And then keep going like that. Um, but at the moment, all of them have enough rested to get them to 50, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm just kind of topping them all off now, which is nice. Good old regular normal, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds far less stressful. I hope you're having fun with it. But no, yeah, everything, all the classes I'm leveling are, are evenly split between the 12 that there are. Uh, but 12 by 4 is 48, so I've got two extras, one extra mage and one extra druid. And that's because things like transmog and stuff as well. Um, we'll farmer eating that later on. Because all that shit's important nowadays. Never used to care about transmog, now I have a fucking 12 classes spreadsheet. I don't know what happened to me. I, I broke. All the things broke me. But that's okay. We're fine with that. People seem to enjoy the transmog hunting on a, on a Sunday, so we'll just we'll keep going with that. Mana still sucks having fun as Shaman Enhancement. Yeah. Look, mana, mana always sucked in Classic. Like, always. 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 Khan just showed up. Yeah. Yeah. The sound effect you're looking for, Jass, is need mana. Collection was Battle Fantasy for Swimming to try for Ruben Death Death Charger. I may never forgive you. Mine took me 209 attempts. Sister. We must maintain Ochindu's defenses. Why does a DK need mana? Because he's. I would forfeit. Jazz. My legion will not stop here. They desire Ochindu. <laughs> that's much. that's why. Because he's Jazz. We must stop Terengor before this world falls, as so many others have. I can hear the souls of the dead. We are sworn to Akindu's protection. Here we go. There we go. Our quest experience overlaps the end of the experience bar. It is it. This is it. The end is near. The end is nigh. <clears throat> Oh, chair stream. Yeah, all right, I might take a break after I get this under 50 before we jump onto the next tune. That sounds like a good idea. Seven and a half K experience to go. There was ten percent of it.
for me he's gonna kick me out of here soon. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it out of the cave. Maybe. Maybe I might. Fucking stun at the same time of the Will of Blades just fucking annihilated me. That's okay. Let's give it another try. Spires, where the fuck am I? This way. Hey, Hidden, how you doing? Just finish work. Brilliant. Just that sometimes. Right. So the ads should be over roughly about now-ish. Um, they are triggered by me. Um, it is. I use Ads Manager, which is a background thing for Twitch. Um, having them run midstream retains more viewers than having pre-rolls. So if I run them midstream and I set them to automatically run 90 seconds worth of ads every half hour, it completely turns off pre-rolls, which means we retain more viewers. Uh, viewers are more likely, like, it was almost three times more likely to leave if they hit a pre-roll before even becoming invested in the stream, rather than getting in, not having any ads, watching for 10, 20 minutes, and then having an ad. They're more likely to just kind of take a break, go to the bathroom, grab a drink or whatever, and wait through the ad. Um, then they are, they're not, then less likely, much less likely to wait through an ad if it's a pre-roll. So that's why I run them. Of course, um, they do not run for subscribers, unless you're experiencing the current bug. Um, there are, there is a bug going around Twitch at the moment where sometimes if you are a subscriber on a channel where subs, ads are turned off, because that can be different. Um, there are channels out there where you, they do have it turned on, like ads like subs still get ads. Um, I've got that turned off personally, but um, if you are subbed and you are seeing ads, pre-rolls or otherwise, mid-roll, whatever, then please open a ticket, like send a bug report through to Twitch because it's not supposed to be happening. Um, and from what information I have, they don't know what's causing it and they're trying to figure that out. So the more reports that they get, the better they are. So if you ever, if you ever experience ads in a channel where you're subbed, Check with the streamer to see if they have ads turned on for subs, firstly, because they can have that turned on. Uh, and if they say, no, 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 ads shouldn't, uh, subs shouldn't be getting ads, then send a report to Twitch because it will genuinely help uh, everyone on the platform. Yeah. <clears throat> you can do that having the ads run when you want. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, I can trigger them manually and it'll add. There we go. Level 50. Level 50. 29 out of 50. 
fifties. Not hour. Out. Twenty-nine out of fifty fifties. Ta-da! I'm gonna wait for Chromie to kick me out and then my half back to the garrison and then we'll switch. But yeah, so um basically I set it up so that it plays 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes, and that completely deactivates pre-rolls. And then if I have a second where I'm like, actually, I need to go do something, or I need to step away for a minute, then I can trigger an ad manually. And if it's got, say, 10 minutes left till the next ad break, but I trigger it manually, once that ad break is finished, it'll be 40 minutes until the next ad break. Like, it adds it onto the timer, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, it's it, just to make sure that I keep those pre-rolls deactivated. So it's, it's really, really useful. Um, and I have, in fact, seen a, a growth in, in my numbers uh, since changing that. Not just for finances, not just for, like, revenue, but also in terms of, um, in terms of actual viewer growth and retention, which is really, really important for a streamer who's wanting and hoping to go full-time, maybe this year. <laughs> Look, last year, 2021 was huge. Um, I'm hoping that 2022 will be just as big. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make the transition to full-time this year, but I can definitely start laying the groundwork to be maybe transition to full-time in 2023. Um, but we'll see how we go. Well, you know, we'll see how we go. We'll just, we'll see. Um, but yeah. And those, having those better numbers in terms of viewers and stuff, 100% helps. More than you may know. 93.87% completed. Right, so Madredris, my Horde Warrior, is the next on the list. Grats, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Where did you hit 44 degrees today, Fia? I don't think so. It was raining here on an awful day. So I highly fucking doubt it. I live in Brisbane. I'm not sure where, where it hit 44, but I live in Brisbane. In the city. Um, One more down. One more down. Several more to go. 21 to go. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. It's 28 degrees today. Well, the humidity is horrible, though, so it feels like a yeah. Yeah. Pre-rolls regularly give up and do something else if it's an ad I don't like. Yeah, yeah. So there's, um, it, it's some ridiculous number, like 50% or 60% or something. I can't remember. It's a very high number of people. If they enter a brand new stream that they've never watched before and get a pre-roll, they just leave. They don't bother waiting through the pre-roll to see what the stream's about. They just leave. Whereas if they've already been watching the stream and they're invested and they've made a connection to the streamer and the community and they're getting involved, even if they're lurking, they're still engaging audibly um, with uh, with the streamer and stuff. If they then get an ad, they're more likely to stay through it. There's still There is still absolutely a group of people who once they get hit with a mid-roll, even if they're engaging, will still leave. But it's a much, much smaller number than people who will leave through a pre-roll. So, um, and I appreciate everyone who sticks through the ads. I really, truly do. Thank you so much to everyone who does that. Um, it, it means a lot. It means a lot. Not just, you know, not just your eyes on the ads or your ears on the ads or whatever, meaning that I get that ad revenue. But again, like you're not just numbers. That That is sitting there currently. Well, my screen says 80 viewers. Like that's 80 individual people sitting there watching. Uh, or listening or whatever and I appreciate every single one of you like I really truly do without you guys I wouldn't be where I am doing what I'm doing which is what I love so yeah I'm uh endlessly grateful endlessly grateful seeing you full-time would be great oh I have no words to describe what that will feel like no words one of the few who wait. Yes. Grads on their 50s. Thank you, Average. Thank you so much. On to the next one. Um, so my lowest level tunes are now 47. But there are fucking 10 of them. <laughs> so the next one on the list is Madredris, who is a Nightborn warrior. Um, but before I do that, I was granted a, a chair stream. So I'm going to go take that. I'm going to say I sub because of how incredibly interactive you are with chat. It's impressive. Oh, thank you, Fairy. Thank you. I try. I am... I'm a little afraid. I want to grow. I want to keep growing. 
we've been doing some amazing work in the past year or so, and I want to keep going. I want to keep growing and, and getting bigger and and bringing our brand of positivity. Because when we're, we're there's a little we're a little bit different. We're a little bit different here, and I, I'd like to. I mean, every fucking streamer under the sun says that, but still, I would like to bring our special brand of positivity to more people. Our our special brand of acceptance and love and kindness and. Um, aggressive positivity, you know, um, to, to as many people as possible. I am afraid that one day I'll tip, there'll, there'll be a tipping point where I can't figure out how to stay as interactive with chat. But I figure at that point I'll probably have someone who, um, like, I might be able to have someone, like, in a voice chat with me or something while I'm streaming so they can help me get through chat and, like, bring attention to things that need to be talked about and stuff and, and filter out. Because at the moment, like if I'm scrolling through a conversation and I've spent seven minutes talking about my particular viewpoint and I'm scrolling through... Uh, and I'm scrolling through, I won't respond to literally every message because sometimes I need to catch up, right? So, um... Sorry, I've just got a ping from Australia Post and I'm like, I don't know who this parcel is from. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so sometimes I'll skip through a few things and like if there's a very, if there's a particular some, something that someone has said that I want to highlight, I'll say it and be like, yes, and then keep going but I won't necessarily read everything aloud. So I think it'd be helpful to have someone be able to do that for me while I, do you know what I mean? Like maybe that'll help me keep in touch with chat while still not getting bogged down in like every single, all the minutiae, especially if we get larger numbers. Like what if one day we're sitting here with 800 viewers instead of 80? Like that's a big difference. That's a really big difference. And I, I want to still be able to have this kind of connection with you guys, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um Um Just came here from I assume you're saying the Battle.net launcher, but we have link protection here. So Battle.net gets turned into three little asterisks. Uh, your stream is advertised on there. I'm surprised you only have 80 viewers. Is that an insult? Are you trying to insult me? Because that happens a lot. Um, <laughs> like, literally, I'd say maybe every third person who comes in here. Like, you have two who go, oh my god, I saw you on the Battle.net launcher. Hey, this is where I've come from. Hey, I saw you on the Battle.net launcher. And then we have a third who goes, what, how are you on the Battle.net launcher and you only have 80 viewers? Like, what the fuck is going on? Are you that shit? I'm like, my mum thinks I'm cool. <laughs> Uh, maybe Switch Fit. Switch Fit. Oh, Ring Fit? No, they still haven't shipped that. They still haven't shipped that. I get an email when they ship stuff. Everything else has shipped. Everything else. Everything else that has been ordered for me has been shipped, except one that got refunded. Fun fact, Etsy won't let you gift digital items, so the, the Fall of Arthas stained glass cross-stitch pattern had to be refunded. Um, and then there's Ring Fit Adventure. It's still processing. It's the only thing on the list that hasn't shipped, which I'm absolutely not salty about. Absolutely not salty about, but that's all right. Um, I'm, once it hits a month, because it was ordered, it, it was um, purchased from the wishlist, purchased from the throne wishlist on the 17th of December. If it gets to the 17th of January and I've heard nothing about it, I'm gonna be emailing them and saying, hey, it's been a month. What the fuck? I know it's been Christmas, I know it's been New Year's, but it's been a fucking month. What the fuck is going on? Uh, and just kind of finding out. Discord and occasional sub game day is a great way to stay involved with the community when reading chat gets too much. Absolutely. Do I have time for that? Absolutely not. Maybe when I go full time though, if I have, if I have the opportunity to go full time, um, I get two days of my week back. Because at the moment I, I work my day job two days a week and then I stream four days a week. Uh, although um, my my stream hours, like on on stream and off stream doing back end work, um, is a full time job. It's it's 184 hours I did in December. Um, 184 hours and I was live 24 hours a week. Um, so 
having those two extra days might mean I'd be able to do something like that. But at the moment, it's just not feasible. But yeah, maybe maybe when it gets to that point, hopefully. Millions of people see the launcher, that's all I'm saying. It's not an insult. Yeah, they see the launcher, but they obviously, they, a lot of them just hit play, like straight off the bat. Um, and a lot of them don't actually use the launcher. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of players, if they don't play multiple Blizzard games, they don't use the launcher. They don't bother. Um, they just use the game installation file and they stick that as a shortcut somewhere and they, they click the EXE. The only reason I use the launcher is because there's multiple Blizzard games that I play <laughs> and it's easier to have them all managed there. Easier to update the, easier to manage the updates and stuff like that. But yeah, a lot of people, you'd be surprised. Do not indeed use the launcher. Um, but yeah, not only that, but even if they do use the launcher, people will use the launcher because they want to play the game. Not often because they're looking for new Twitch streamers to watch. Um, so a very, 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 very teeny tiny small percentage of people actually follow links from the launcher. Unless something is happening like they have a slow internet connection and their game is updating, maybe they'll browse through the scrolly thing and see if there's anything they're interested in. Uh, but it's not, it's not as common as you might think. <laughs> I know this because I have statistics. <laughs> Um, uh, viewers are subjective time today, what people have going on, that's not millions, not worldwide, no, and yeah, the, the launcher is not worldwide either, this is the ANZ launcher, um, I know sometimes I pop up on the UK launcher, like some, some areas of the EU, vast majority of the time it's just Australia and New Zealand. Ah, uh, I did the workout last two days, already feeling it, oh nice, see, that's awesome news, I can't wait, I really can't, like, if it wasn't already there, I'd kind of be like, you know what, let's just buy it, but I, like, the money is there, and it's sitting there, and it's been bought, I need to, like, it has to happen has to happen. Koalas think you're cool. Aww. Ah, uh, what's about that item is not shipped? Is it having supplier issues? If there's no tracking showing what sort of process, then Ospost Bob don't have it. Oh, no, no. So this is via Throne, Berlin. Um, so Throne is a wishlist uh, service that I use. Uh, they have my shipping details so that fans and viewers and all that kind of stuff can't get me. It's a safety thing. I don't get your details. You don't get my details. We all stay safe. No one gets doxxed. Uh, and then, so you can purchase things from my wish list specifically that I'm asking for, or if you have a suggestion of something you think I might like, you can submit a suggestion, and then I can either approve or deny it, approve or reject. And then if I if I approve it, it goes onto the wish list, and anyone can purchase it for me if they so desire. Um, so I've had a few things that have been bought for me through Throne, which I am eternally grateful for. Uh, and there's one particular thing, and it was Ring Fit Adventure. Um, originally, I had a JB Hi-Fi link, and then one day when I checked the link, it was gone the item was no longer there, so I changed the link out for an EB Games link. And then today, I checked, and fucking EB Games are out of stock, because Throne is sitting on their hands. Everything else that has been ordered between then, like that was one of the first things that was purchased via Throne for me, the first day I launched the wishlist. And I've had things bought as recently as like a couple of days ago. Uh, where's the details for this one? The 1st of January was the most recent purchase off my gift list and that one, off my wish list, and that one's been ordered. It's done. Um, so, yeah, it's, and that one was ordered back on the 17th of December and it still hasn't, it just still says processing. Um, and I, I've had to change the link three times, like, I've had to change the link twice. It's had three different links because they're sitting on their hands and stuff's getting out of stock. Um, so, yeah, I'm honestly a little bit pissed. I'm honestly a little bit pissed because that's someone's money. It was an, anon anon an anonymous purchase, um, but that's someone's money sitting there tied up. They could use that, like, if, if they can't buy it, then it should be refunded and that person should have their money back. Or if they can, it should be ordered. So, like, it's... Mm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm getting... I'm getting a little frustrated. Um, but, you know, that's, it is what it is. I just, I don't want to, like... I don't want to be an asshole about it, which is why I'm waiting for the 17th of January, because by the time that hits, it will have been a full month, and I think that that's a reasonable time for them to have figured it out. And if there is an issue in their system where when I change a link, it pushes me back to the end of the order queue, then that's a bug they need to fucking fix, because that's not okay. Um, I'm trying to help them, I'm trying to do the right thing and help them, and it's not working. Um, but anyway, Inquisitor, View, Koala, Jumpy, Neke, Mickfly, Jimmy, Seeker, and Fairy, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. 
Well done. All right. Um, yeah, let's go to this bottom one. No, that's a bronze chest. Let's go to the silver chest. They go in the same direction anyway. Um. Ba -da -ba. Na -na -na -na. Uh, it's also only Blizzard. Yeah, occasionally I'm on the European launches, like one or two of them. Um, but not often. Not often. Are you a Blizz partner or something? No. I've had a couple of, uh, a couple of, um, what you call, like, sponsored streams with Blizzard and stuff like that. Uh, but not for a while and not, like, regularly. No. I don't think they have partnered streamers. They just occasionally reach out to creators that they know work with their games and say, Hey, you wanna do something fun? And then we, you know, name our price and go from there. Hey, Ernest. Hope you're doing well. I found you from the launch originally. It's made you like seven dollars by now. Fantastic. Wonderful. Sorry, can't stay long story. You do not need to apologize. Um Beautiful red hair gamer girl. Okay, you're borderline creepy now. Like that's that's you know, back off the appearances thing, because it's it's not okay. Um like if you're looking for a compliment for someone, maybe start with something they actually made a choice about that day. Um, so things that we can't control kind of creepy um but you know saying something about maybe my personality would be nice but whatever um and i've been at 80 viewers for a while now i made partner with twitch uh back in june last year and i've been at roughly that same thing since so you obviously have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> ah bought ring fit the other day just been too sick to play i can imagine i can imagine ah i wonder if you only get bonus things your people live might only like one oh no no definitely not valine it's just that we've got quite a few people who are like lurking in chat and stuff who are all eligible for bonus shit and there's only like a handful of things that we can begin at and that, that can be given out um so yeah if you just stick with it and you're active in chat then eventually something will pop for you oh i am on the eu launch today oh thank you kaz thank you so much for letting me know much appreciated uh can confirm stream appeared on the eu i was about to say on russian launcher what but no eu awesome thank you for the confirmation Maybe it's because you call your viewers creepy for saying something nice. Oh, bitch, please. <laughs> you, no, no. I don't call my viewers creepy unless they say creepy shit, yeah? So we're gonna do uh, this one because I've had enough. Thanks, anyway. So this is something I've said uh, multitudes of times before, but in case you haven't heard it before, here's my spiel about complimenting people. This doesn't go just for, for people who present as female either. This is for literally anybody. Um, going with something that they cannot control is weird. Like, hi, I really like your eyes. That's not just something nice. That definitely has the potential to make people uncomfortable. And your goal when you're complimenting somebody should be to make someone feel good about themselves, not uncomfortable. And it doesn't matter what your fucking intention was. It doesn't. It doesn't. What matters is how it feels to the person receiving the compliment, right? So I literally do not give a flying motherfuck what you intended, whether you, oh, you can't even take a fucking compliment. Yeah, you know what? You want to know how many times I've heard that in my life? I'm about to turn 32. I've heard it a shitload and I'm fucking over it. Don't even try. Like, don't even try. Working on things that people can control, a choice that they made when they woke up that day. That is like, for example, when I approach people in the street to give them a compliment, literally approaching people on the street random strangers because from a couple of meters away I've noticed something about them that is fucking awesome and I want to let them know that I think it's really cool that they made that choice today oh my god I love your nail polish it's such a gorgeous color holy fuck uh, like I love your dress that is so awesome and nice and and all your shoes or something like that a choice that they actively made that day makes for a far better compliment than something they literally cannot control advice from fear if someone came up to me on the street and said, I, ha I just had to tell you, your eyes are beautiful. I love your skin. I love your hair. I love your ass. Literally, I've had that. No, fuck off. Stay the hell away from me. Do not touch me. Do not come anywhere near me. And most importantly, do not talk to me. Not interested. But if, someone, but if someone of any gender, I don't care whether it's a guy or a girl or someone who is non-binary or whatever, I don't care how they present, couldn't give a flying fuck. 
if someone came up to me and said, holy shit, I just need, I had to tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't not, I had to tell you, I fucking love that dress. Oh, that's so cool. I got it from such and such a place and it was on sale. I got it like 20% off. I got them love a sale, you know, and look, 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 it has pockets. You bet your ass I'm telling you about the pockets. To <laughs> just pockets. Yep. Like compliment people based on something that they actually can control, something that they made a decision about that day. An active choice is so much better than something they can't control. For example, their genetics. Yeah, it doesn't count because firstly, their pants designed for men. But it has pockets. It doesn't count. We're talking about like clothes designed for female people. They just don't have pockets. Those are pants designed for not female people. You could wear the pants. They would fall down. Belt. <laughs> you. <laughs> was a jazz lock. Oh, fuck. Anyway, this has been fun. This has been fun. Okay, Vulgen's Pride. Away! Why did I expect that response from him? Um, I'm gonna go with them, just because I don't know. Can't possibly know on the internet, uh, unless someone makes it very clear. But, um, <laughs> because duh. Because duh. Oh, Karen was always gonna come from that, yeah. This is not an airport, you do not need to announce your departure. <laughs> yeah! I love that, it's great. It's great. And honestly, I couldn't care less if people like that, oh, I'm not gonna watch you anymore because clearly you're a bitch. Good. Goodbye. I don't want you in my community. If you can't understand that that's not how a compliment is supposed to work, then go away. Why, why do you think I want you here? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks! Besides, I love my little 80 viewers. Because you guys are the awesome ones. It's funny, because if I let people like that stay, you'd think, oh, because, you know, you get more viewers because you let more people stay and it's fine and then you grow and then there's more people. If you keep banning people, how do you ever expect to grow? Because if I didn't ban one person who was like that, if I didn't ban one arsehat, then I would have a whole ton of people who were comfortable here before no longer be comfortable here and then they'd leave. So allowing one or two people to stay would likely lose me 30 or 40 viewers in the long run. And I'm not interested in that. Not interested in that at all. I want to keep the good 30 or 40 and get rid of the, the one or two. Aw, Ali! Thank you for the cheer! Much appreciated. Oh, that's so generous of you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, Fierce TED Talks are great. Look, I try. <laughs> They're not always that good, but I try. Um, I think I have talents to spend, don't I? Whoop. Oh, shit. Shit. Hey, Jas, I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'll come. I'll come. I was supposed to take a, I was supposed to take a chair stream anyway. Um, I'll be right back, you guys. I'm going to hop up onto a, a thing. And um, ads starting in a minute 20 anyway, so I'm going to go and like stretch my legs and stuff and have a chat to Jas about something that's just come up and I'm going to be right fucking back. There will be an ad, but it's so there aren't ads late. Yeah, it's fine.
Boogie Down. Okay, I'm back. I had plans tomorrow um, to meet up with someone I haven't seen for a very long time. And she's just emailed me. And she's positive. <laughs> so I'm not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> fuck. This fucking thing. Fucking fucking fuck. Right, okay. Um, four star run. Got 110 more selection. My previous one. Yay, Shadow, well done! There's a guy where I work who has these really nice, have these really beautiful light blue ice eyes. I've stopped myself mentioning it as it would seem awkward slash creepy. I hear you on this. Yeah, look, I, yeah, I feel it. Love the dress compliment. It's always got pockets. Fuck yeah, absolutely. I love your skin. I want to wear it. No. <laughs> pockets. Yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. Hey, Kay, how you going? Well, my new outfit to group therapy today got so many positive comments. Maybe feel good about my choices and seen as me. I'm so pleased for you, Meaty. I'm so happy for you. And it always, like, when you wear a brand new outfit for the first time and, like, all these people that you see, not super often, but, like, you know, like, the receptionist, for example, and then maybe a therapist and then, like, blah, 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 blah. Just all these people kind of saying, hey, like, you look really good today. Like, that's a really cute outfit. It just, it's so affirming. So affirming. Uh, this is we offering you use pants clothes so you can have pockets. I uh, hope you all are having a great day. I am, Kay. I hope you are too. They're very comfortable shorts, uh, shorts I love wearing. Only issue is they're very shallow pockets and shit falls out of them all the time. Makes me super annoyed. Welcome to our lives. The worst bit is pockets that are literally like you've got the seam for a pocket. But it's like they accidentally put when they were doing the seam on the edge of the pocket, they accidentally put the whole thing through, the whole pants or skirt or whatever it was, through the whole thing. And so it like, you go and put it in and you can literally get like a millimeter of your finger just against the edge of the seam. It's like, why? Why? It's so bad, it's so stupid. Love pockets, agreed. Yes, cheers for pockets. <laughs> Fishtail braid in my hair. Oh, that's amazing. Some random female said that they liked it, asked if I did it myself. I was unexpected, sure, but it made me feel good. That is so. I cannot tur, cannot braid. I can plait, I can do plaits, but like braids where you like scoop up stuff as you go, I cannot. Not even on other people. I cannot. And I am so sad because I feel like I would look awesome in braids. I feel like I would look awesome, especially like a fishtail. Fishtail braids are fucking hard, yo. I would love that. That would be amazing. And I am I'm so proud of you for being able to do a fucking fish tail. Like, that's incredible. What makes me sad is I've heard that particular fear Ted talk at least four times, if not more. Look, it's an easily repeatable one. <laughs> I fucking hate that you're a girl, you get more viewers easily attitude. Especially when it's literally provably exactly the opposite. Yep. 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 Uh, I saw a tweet the other day that was, you know, um, male presenting people with like single digit viewers complaining that females get all the views is it will literally not ever be funny it will, will not ever be not funny like it's just like maybe if your content was engaging like literally 
like network, make connections with other streamers, and by like by extension, then of course they're they're like I mean, how many? All right, show of fucking hands, how many of you have dropped into one of our regulars' channels because you've seen them here? And that is how you've known that they are a streamer, and so you've gone and decided to check them out from there. Networking fucking works. Become a part of other- not just for advertising purposes. Find other streams that you fucking vibe with, and- and connect with them, and connect with their audience, and people will fight- figure out, and then drop a raid and go, Oh my god! That's that person from the community who's raiding you! I didn't know they streamed! And then bam, they'll go and check you out. Like that is how it fucking works. <laughs> like it's honestly, doing the work is not that hard. Maintaining the viewers, like attracting them and then like holding on to them by being engaging and attaining, that's the hard part. Actually getting them to like find you these days is pretty easy. Don't rely on Twitch's exposure. Don't don't bitch about how Twitch makes it difficult for smaller streamers to get viewers and shit. Like they don't. There are there are there are algorithms there, and if you interact with enough, the biggest the biggest way to get into somebody's recommended is people who watch streams that you watch also watch these streams. So for example, if if you're watching, if if Shadow is here, Shadow Kitten is here watching the same channel that channel is watching which is hilarious because it's channel and channel 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 anyway um <laughs> shadow is going to start getting recommendations of the other channels that channel watches that is fucking how it works so the more the more streams that you jump into the more places where you network and make those connections and get those raids happening and shit like that, the, the more in-depth those connections you can fucking make, the more you will grow faster. That is, that is fucking how it works. And then once you get to that kind of level, the algorithm is going to start favoring you and that will start carrying on to other places. And then if your content is good, you can start connecting with developers and shit. But like, don't bitch, because it is 100% controllable. You just have to fucking work. Um, it's reductive as fuck. It is! Have tits, get views, is not how it fucking works. If, if that is how it worked, it would have taken me fewer than five and a half years to get partnered. <laughs> like, legitimately, but whatever. What do I know? I've only been doing this for six fucking years. Um. <laughs> uh, it has the potential to be responsible for groups of people coming and going constantly throughout a stream. Uh, if the community in the stream aren't worth sticking around for, it doesn't matter what the fuck you look like or what parts you have. Yep. Yep. There are absolutely some viewers out there who will only watch a female streamer. But... There are countless female streamers or female presenting streamers on this platform. And they've still got to have other, th like there's, there are still going to be other metrics by which they make their decision on who they're going to watch. Being female is not a win condition. Dear fucking Panini, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which sucks, but it's it's okay. I I totally understand, and I hope that she feels much 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 better soon. Um, I will I will shoot her an email after stream. But yeah, it's COVID ruins everything. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. And I know her; she would have done everything 100% correctly. It's it, it's virulent as fuck. Like this is this is yeah, <laughs> yeah. False pockets. Yep, I have so many clothes with false pockets and I want to like... Ugh. And then you have Bernadette Banner, who teaches you how to add pockets to clothing that doesn't have pockets and it's just like, QUEEN! Anyway, false pockets is an abomination. Agreed. Agreed. My one-year-old has bigger pockets in his track pants than I have in my jeans, as my phone fits in his trackies, but not my fully adult pants. What? The actual fuck? Does a one-year-old have to put in their pockets? Sorry to headphone viewers. I just, I just, I have, look. I'm sorry, but it was, it, 
I'm sorry. Good fortune. <laughs> Fucking one year old. Anyway, time to crawl into bed. Enjoy, enjoy, rest well. We'll see you next time. It's actually braiding with two strands of hair instead of three like a normal braid. But isn't that just, doesn't that end up just like a twist? This is my problem. I can't figure it out. Ah, me on everyone always. Networking works. Who would have guessed? I know. It's, yep. There's a reason people keep fucking doing it. It's because it works. They, you know, everyone always says it's, it's about, it's not about what you know, it's who you know, right? And they're right. They're absolutely right. And the thing is, if you don't, but the problem is in the real world, like with jobs and shit, if you don't know the right people, then you have no fucking chance of getting in anywhere, right? But on Twitch, you can make friends literally everywhere. Well, not even friends, but you can like insert yourself into communities. As long as you have the same vibe as the community, you will fit in and it will be fine. So if you don't know, you can get yourself to know. Like you can, you can step on in and you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Done that with streams all the time. Exactly. I assume going to bed. Rest well. Rest well. Can't wait to hear Manny Me 50s again. Look, after all that fucking chatting, prob's not another one, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think a lot of people don't realize how much effort it takes to build a community. Oh fucking oath, dude. Motherfucking oath. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Oh what, you just play video games and you get paid for it? Bitch, no. I downloaded an app just before December started. I just I downloaded an app at the start at the end of November. And I logged my hours that I worked on stream. I logged my hours. Because I was curious, how much do I actually spend? Like, how much time do I actually spend working on this stream? 184 hours in the month of December. If I had a full-time job that was 40 hours a week, I would have worked eight and a half hours of overtime in December. Let me say that again. If, if my stream, including all the offline shit, when I, when I say offline, I mean not live, not on camera. If all of that that I, like, if all of that time was a full-time job, a full-time 40 hour a week salaried job, I would have worked eight and a half hours above my mandated 40 hours a week. That's roughly two hours of overtime a week. I also unfortunately found out that if if it was a wage, like a, a, a wage job that I got paid for each of those hours, I would earned under minimum wage. Well, under minimum <laughs> minimum wage, um, which, you know, I expected. I 100% expected that. It just still is like, oh, okay. Um, although that being said, um, I won't really know that until the end of this month because a lot of my affiliate programs and stuff pay out differently uh, at different times and shit. Um, so once I have my payouts for this month and that sorted, then I'll probably know more accurately, but it'll still be well under minimum wage. It'll probably be similar. Oh, and I have a part-time job that pays the rent and bills and shit. So, um, we, we figured out that, um, so Jas commutes to his job. It's about 40 minutes one way. Um, because he works in person, because he can't, what he does, he can't do from home. Um, so he commutes about 40 hours to work. So if you put together my stream and my part-time two day a week job, which is 15.2 hours a week, um, I work about as much as Jas does with all of his overtime. Um, and that includes his actual job plus the commute to and from work. With, with both of my jobs put together. Um, so, yeah, it takes a fuck ton of work. A fuck ton. Uh, on topic of pockets, earlier in chat, I had some clothes, I heard some clothes actually have stitching purposely put in so as not to damage the pocket before you buy it, such as a nice coat. You are meant to cut break it, yes. But usually there are a couple of loose stitches. Same thing with, you know, if you've got like a skirt that has a split at the back, um, that's supposed to help you take full length strides. It'll have like a cross of thread 
holding like if you because you have the split and then the split will kind of overlap a little bit and there'll be a cross at the bottom same thing with that it's designed so it doesn't get damaged while people are trying it on and stuff and you're supposed to snip that but that's the thing it's usually big tacking stitches that are just like not not proper like d d d like little stitches um as in with a with a sewing machine um it's usually just kind of something that's kind of done big weaving kind of dealies just to hold it in place to make it easier to remove the stitching um so if your if your pockets are very well stitched down and you turn the clothing inside out and there's no pocket lining, don't go unstitching your pockets because your pants will fall apart. <laughs> don't don't do that. That's bad. But yeah, no, they absolutely do that, which is cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> channel, 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 channel. Uh, if have bobs there. get views is the way it works, there'd be more than five female streamers in the top one hundred. Say it again, bitch. Yep. 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 Light embrace. Uh, only thing my chest has got me is fed children and a backache. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but it's also really fucking hilarious, Sika. I'm so sorry for laughing. I hope I'm laughing with you and not at you. <laughs> but yeah. Yup. Unless it's Cisco. Well, look. Look. Being female presenting early increases your chance of getting creeps. I reckon so. I reckon so. Um, having conversations with male presenting streamers uh, and talking to them about some of the shit we go through. Um, they're like, what? I've never had any of that. I'm like, yeah. Want to know why? <laughs> what is the difference between you and me? Yeah, it's um, a lot of them genuinely, because they've never experienced it, they genuinely do not understand that it's a thing that happens. Not all of them. Uh, and of course, once they recognize it does happen, they're like, holy shit. Fuck me, I'm so sorry. That blows. I'm like, yes. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Thank you for recognizing that. Fearlessly delving into <laughs> Dirt the sand mostly. Yeah, nothing you want them putting the in those pockets, certainly. I yeah, look. <laughs> when I find comfy leggings with pockets, I buy like five pairs. <gasps> yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what I need? You know what's going on the wish list next, actually. Um, so I have one pair of leggings. That has like a side pocket and it's so weird because when you put your phone in it it slides all the way down to the pocket which is like down next to my knee so it's really it feels strange it's not in the way not in the way at all it's just really strange um but one pair of my leggings has pocket has a pocket and it's got like a little pocket in the waistband that's a teeny tiny little one that you designed to put your house key in yeah so that you can like go out and not have to carry a bag good i need more of those and the good question mark part is um i've noticed because i'm wearing leggings at the moment a lot of them the stitching's coming undone or i've got like this one has i wonder if i'll be able to get you to see this is okay i'm gonna get out of combat first because i'm gonna otherwise i'm gonna die you guys are gonna die laughing at this so just be prepared that this is gonna look ridiculous because i don't know how else to do this okay where's my camera i need to be able to see what i'm doing before I axe myself. So I have like, ugh, can you see? Do you see this? That is a hole. <laughs> Just middle of my thigh, it's a hole. Yep. So um, that's happening. Remember how I said all my clothes are full of holes? I forgot that also includes my workout gear. Um, yes, I have a, uh, I have a sports bra that is, um, like it's got like double fabric on it because it has some padding in it that helps kind of support a bit better. Like it helps strap you down a little tighter. Um, but one of the fabric, one of the layers of fabric has started coming unglued from the stitching at the top. So it's got like this, this, this thing of like raw edge of fabric. But then it's got fabric underneath this. It's the weirdest fucking look. Anyway, but yeah, so all my um, all my clothes have holes, including my workout gear. So I think I, I want to jump through Yes Style and see if I can find some some funky workout gear that has pockets and uh, and stick it on my wish list and or tell my mother about them because she's going to be like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm be like, fuck. But now I can be like, what do you want for your birthday? Wish list. Yeah. And then tell her to tell me so I can take it off there so we don't get like, anyway. I fucking love that wish list because it means that when my mum asks me what I want for events, I can send it to her as well. It's oh, it's so good. Oh, the list with multiple uses. Anyway, catching up on chat. I am 10 minutes behind. Good. 
Um, currency of the children's. Luckily, a lot of leggings do have pockets. These exactly, I've had these leggings since I was literally in fucking uni. And that's nearly... That's over 10 years. Shit. Fuck, I'm old. Yeah, I think I've had these leggings for about 10 years. And they're only, like, they're, they're just starting to get a little thin and get holes and stitchings coming out on and stuff. So that's pretty fucking good. Ten years? That's pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, so I think they're due for a replacement. Uh, walk pup. I can do that. Walk pup summon. Set favorite. Very favorite. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, tick! And I did the chest room as well. Um. Mayfield music company. Experience in trouble. Huh? Are uh, you factoring in the time you spend randomly engaging with the community via Discord? Yes and no. Yes and no. So, um, the, the individual, like, little moment here and there where I sporadically in interact with you guys in our Discord? No. When I'm posting my affiliate things, like in the affiliate specials channel, when I've gone through my emails and I've found all the special links and stuff, that stuff, I yes. Done well. Um, ah! Loza! Oh my god. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Hello! Um, time that I spend going through a couple of other discords that I'm part of that I can't really talk much about. Um, yes, I absolutely clock that. When I'm, when I, I've got a, a task that's called check socials, and that's when I go through and respond to all my Instagram comments, I go through and respond to tweets, I go through and respond to, to Facebook comments, um, uh, TikTok comment, like all that kind of shit, all that interactivity. Discord counts under that. But usually only the other Discords. Usually the, the Fiamily Discord, um, I check more often than that. And I don't tend to count because usually it's only like a couple minutes here and a couple minutes there. Um, but that probably you, you, that probably does add up. Um, but that's also a personal thing as well because that counts towards my own like personal social interaction quota for the day. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm one of those. Uh, Cade, Z, Valine, look, see, Valine, Sickness, Aurelia, McFly, Meaty, Bure, and Oaf. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. In we go. I remember hearing a podcaster I listened to talk about how he initially thought that being a content creator would be easy and he laughed about how wrong he was. People have to do it for the love of it, it seems. Oh yeah, absolutely. It can become profitable. 100%. It can become profitable. Um, but you have to, like, it definitely is far more worthwhile keep, like, holding on to some kind of at least a part-time job like I've got. Um, to, to make sure you can pay your fucking bills and so that you're not relying entirely on um, another person's income and stuff like that. Um, there are... Like, there are absolutely opportunities that can arise through different avenues and stuff like that, but it's still, yeah, it's, it is such hard work to get to the point where it is profitable. Um, and, yeah, you do, you absolutely need to maintain a different revenue source. For sure. I definitely love it with good, I'm glad. Yeah, I can only imagine how bad it is. I found out recently there's this person who's been harassing myself and friends has a Discord with over 60 others and uses to target and harass others in the WAC community. So there are probably others like it. Oh, there are absolutely others like it. And here's the thing, like, just for a second, imagine that you are a person who, for, like, your, your, your sense of fun, like, what, what do you do for fun? Maybe you play WoW, maybe you watch streams, maybe you do crafty things with your hands, maybe you play Hasslipper, um, maybe you play Final Fantasy, maybe you play Pokemon, all these different things that you do for fun. Now imagine that all the time that you spent doing those things that you consider to be fun, imagine spending all that time shitting on people on the internet instead. Like, Spending that time looking for a member of a community who plays a certain game, figuring out where their like what their social is and all this kind of stuff, and then watching their their posts for for a few days and stuff, and then going to a bunch of your friends in this Discord server that you've created and maintained, 
and invited people to and grown and saying, hey, 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 this person, this person, every time they tweet, make sure you make some comment about their weight. Every time. And then like setting up a, an, a, 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 like a, an alert for every, like turning on notifications. So every single time they tweet, your phone goes ping and you go, ah, yes, you're fat as fuck. Ha ha, yes. Okay, who's next? Like... <laughs> I, I, I've said this so many times, like, I don't understand mentally. Like, I do not understand how that is a thing. But at the same time, I'm glad I don't because it means I'm not like them. If I cannot think like them, it means I'm not like them. At least in that aspect, anyway. But I just, like... I... It sounds like such a miserable existence. Like such a miserable exi- I just... Fuck, you know? Ah, oh, anyway. Ah, uh, glance away for one second. Ah, oh, one of those things disturbs me and not surprising it is. Yeah, stabs me in the chest a little every time. You say you're old, but we- look. Look. Our bodies are old. And our minds. They are 12. Um. <laughs> And yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Look, my, my body is like 80 something. I, like, I literally have fucking arthritis, um, autoimmune condition, like I, all this shit. I, my body is old as fuck. My body is old as fuck. Um, I, I try to make up for it with my youthful vigor. And often it doesn't work because I'm just so fucking tired all the time. <laughs> ah, we reached over that one year mark, yes! Oh, I'm so excited. Yay, amazing. Thank you so much, Lizza, for all of your love and support. Honestly, you're just such a sweetheart. Thank you. My conversation made me glad I now buy dress in mass clothing, pockets, button-ups, v-neck, skate shoes, etc. All about the comfort and utility. Yes. Yes. Don't get me wrong, though, right? I, I absolutely bitch about females clo female clothing. There, there, are, there is so much wrong with it. There really is. But at the same time, it's cute as fuck. <laughs> so like and I still choose to buy like I mean I, I absolutely vote with my money like if I want to buy a dress and I'm specifically looking for a dress that has pockets I will look for one and I will vote with my money I will purchase the dress that has pockets even if it is a little more expensive but still in my budget obviously budget concerns are a thing but um like yeah that's that's 100% a thing Seek the path of but um mind. it's ah oh, oops but um I do still fucking love a lot of the the feminine designed clothing just because it's really cute and I like it a lot. I like the way it makes my body look. I like the way that it fits me. I like the way that it swishes when I twist my hips. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, if, if I'm looking for something a bit like the leggings, I probably will never buy another pair of leggings that doesn't have a pocket in it. Just because I've now tried a one that does have a pocket and I don't want to go back. So I'm not going to. So I'm not going to buy shit that doesn't have a pocket. I swear behind Discord time thing makes sense to me. I really only ask because it obviously falls within the networking portion of things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't, I'm a member of so many Discords and I don't spend a whole lot of time in Discords that aren't mine, but that are based around another creator, if that makes sense. And I, I feel really bad for doing that because I know that there are a bunch of creators who spend a lot of time in my Discord. Um, and that's great and I love that and, and all of that, I just, I find it really difficult to keep track of what the fuck's going on in mine, let alone what's going on in other people's as well. Um, it actually does, I, I, I struggle. Um, I struggle. So, I thought I already had, oh, that's, oh, I already had a different one that had a tailoring. Okay. Because I've opened, I've opened up my garrison tracking spreadsheet for, because I just got a tailoring, um, uh, follower. But it turns out I already had a different tra tailoring follower, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, so it's, um, yeah, spending time in my own Discord is a little bit, like, it's definitely a, um, uh, like, and if I was going into update things, like, when I updated my operating hours and, and shit like that in, in the Discord, that was absolutely part of the business, the admin side of things. But if I'm jumping in to react to a meme, um, I don't tend to add that as work hours. 
But it also takes approximately seven seconds, so um, it doesn't bother me too much to not do that. Bonus, yay! Are you in track for your 50-50s? I am! I am, Loz. I'm, so, I'm getting there. Um, what are we on now? We're at 93.87%, which puts us one day ahead currently. Um, and we've got a 50. I got a 50 tonight, so I'm at 29 out of 50-50s, which is, like, super cool. Um, it's pretty tame, you have no idea of the degeneracy I've seen in discords. Yeah. Um, and the unfortunate part is you actually have to see the discord to be able to report them to discord to get them banned. But you can absolutely report a discord. <clears throat> You can absolutely report a Discord for um, being uh, untoward and, and all that kind of shit. Um, so if you happen to find yourself in one where that kind of stuff happens, or you have a link to it, like a join link, I think you should be able to report it from there. Um, can we do a green mustache? Unfortunately, we cannot because I'm wearing the wrong headset again. Um, actually. Maybe. Let's see if I can do this without fucking everything up. That should have kicked the... Yep, cool. That killed the audio in here. No, 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 no. And then... Probably help if I turned the fucking headset on, wouldn't it? Hey, there we go. Yes, we can. <laughs> awesome. Done. Ah, uh, they're doxing pushing people to pretty dark places to the point someone needs to press charges. I don't know how, don't know everyone who's being targeted, but yeah, they're definitely drenched individuals to dedicate their life to bring others down. Yeah, so they can absolutely be reported. Um, uh, if it's all, I'm not sure how it works elsewhere, but if it's happening in Australia, you can submit reports via ACORN. Uh, and if you have information on the Discord, like if you, especially if you have a join link, although I know that they can just deactivate that, um, but obviously reporting them to Discord and stuff like that will help too. Uh, but yeah, 100%. So everything, sometimes I get sad about how bland men's fashion is and then think about how cheap my clothes are and I'm okay with it. Yeah. And you can also customize and it doesn't take much to learn how to customize either. Mm. There are only so many hours in the day and we spend like a third of them sleeping. Like why? I hate that. I hate that. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just waiting because there's an ad playing and Kaz has asked a question, but Kaz also doesn't have a sub badge, so I'm just going to wait until that's over and then verify that Kaz can hear me. Okay, so it says the ad is over. Um, can uh, Are you out of the ad, Kaz? If, if, if they aren't, then they're not going to respond, obviously. Um... <laughs> I think his sleep is glorious. Yeah, especially since there are limitations to reporting things on Discord. Yeah, I mean, it. yeah, it's definitely frustrating, but there are ways to do it. There are ways to do it. And if you have, if you have this knowledge that someone is doing something using a Discord, I would absolutely reach out to them, either via Twitter or via email or something, even sending them a fucking Discord DM, like on their own goddamn platform, just to say, hey, this, I know that this is happening. How, what do I do? How do I help you take down the shit cunts? Like, and I don't, you know, I don't use that word, but that's like how, because that's what they are. How do I do this? Like, what do you need from me to be able to take them out? Um, because like, you know, th this is the information I have. Is this enough? What else do I need to do? What do I need to have? How do I report this to you in a way that's going to help you do your jobs and help you enforce your terms of service? Um, 
You're here, fantastic. Okay, are you doing tailoring garrisons on all your army for hex weave bags? Yes. Um, I have a group of seven tunes that across them or have, across those seven, have all of the professions. One of them is a tailor, the rest of them are not. Everything else, so all the other 43 tunes, are all tailor inscriptionists, tailor scribes. However, however, um, I don't do wolves anymore because wolves are not worth my time. Um, the amount of gold you get from the bags, the fact that the bags don't drop one to one anymore, and then the fact that they reduce them from 50 gold down to three silver, it's not worth my time. Um, occasionally, if Sumptuous Fur is on the auction house as like a really cheap deal, then I'll go for it and I'll, I'll buy up a bunch. Um, like, but it, it doesn't happen super often anymore. So I kind of just let it go. The, um, what I do do though is the cards. May the light embrace you. I 100% do the cards because I can get them for free. I can get them as 100% pure profit uh, if I do the herb garden, which I don't very often at all because <laughs> I'm busy. But if if I did that for a week or two across all the characters, that would that would set me up for a long time <laughs> in terms of uh, milling for the pigment. But yeah, um, so I do have them all set up for tailoring. Whether or not they actually have the fur to do that is another question. <clears throat> Cards as in inspiration as per... Uh, inscription? I'm wondering, that was probably an autocorrect. Um, but yeah, it's it's the inscription cards, card of omens. And then you flip them and then you vend them. Yeah. But yeah, um, all you need for them is light parchment, which is purchased from a vendor, and then the herbs ground down into pigment uh, and then made into war paints, which um, you can buy them from the auction house, but you can also just get them from your herb gardens. If you have the time, then you can go through and, and do that and get them for free. Otherwise, you can buy them from the auction house. It just depends on um, if you have the the time or the gold. Time or money! Did that be a fair? So I got half a Bruno. Yeah, that's um that's what I did as well. That's how I got my Brutosaur. Um, I was doing raw gold farms as well. Um, and I had like a a calculation thing where you know if I if I do this every week, I need X amount of gold each week from my my farms from my raw gold farms. I was doing like HFC and a bit of Siege of Orgrimmar and stuff like that. Um, and if I got, I said to myself, if I get this much gold per week, then I can buy it on time. Um, and then, and I was doing that and it was a hell of a grind. I was taking hours every week to get through and do this on, on a bunch of different tunes. And then, um, and then I started doing the garrison stuff and, um, the num the amount of gold I needed per week just dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped until I'm like, fuck this. I'm not doing the raw gold farms anymore. I don't need to. There's no point. Um, so I didn't. That was a really good feeling. But yeah, so I got my Brudo too. You, you guys, are, I'm sure you guys have been getting like spam texts like your package has not been delivered Blah blah, your package needs delivery and but all that kind of shit. Yeah I must have got to 48. Fuck off Mograine. Um, I just got a new one that I've never gotten before and I think it's really funny So I'm gonna share it with you Who posted our video and why? And then a link I'm guessing that they're trying to make me feel like I filmed something untoward with someone and it's been posted on the internet and yeah. Never been much of a gold farm, aren't you still love running? Oh, raids for vendor loot, sad they nerfed it, yeah. Yeah, the, the raw gold farms definitely got um, got super nerfed. Um, I run them for transmog now, ha! <laughs> but that's fine, we'll get there. Oh, I got one yesterday that says, we're sorry for damaging your package. Oof, rough. Oh, I've been getting those, yep. It's a new one, right? It's a new one! I got a why is your sister in this video. Ooh, so clearly the the fact that we're all we're all we know that stuff is not screenshotted and texted to her with the lols! <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, I it makes me so sad. 
that there are people out there who don't have enough net experience, like internet experience or, or like common sense that they click this shit. Because clearly, like, they wouldn't still, they wouldn't be still paying to send these goddamn messages if they weren't making a profit, if they weren't getting people to click, you know? And just, it makes me so sad and so angry. People are like, uneducated in this particular arena enough to fall for this shit. Uh, TBC, no, no. This is, um, this is Warlords of Draenor that I'm leveling in. This is retail. I don't play classic. I hope you're having a wonderful day, though. That costs next to nothing. I only really need, like, one person to fall for it. Yeah. It just... I mean, it doesn't cost next to nothing. Um... Like, I've, I've worked for companies who use text message systems to send out, like, rosters and stuff like that, like mass texts, um, and it, it doesn't, it's, it's a little more expensive than you'd think, um, especially considering how many they're sending out. Um, like, it was, it was reasonably well priced um, for us to send out, I think we had like 50, 60 employees or something that we were sending stuff out to. Um, but to send it out to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of recipients, it it actually does add up, like, and, and quite quickly. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit shitty. Especially the whole spoofing Australian numbers and stuff. I can't imagine that that's, um... Something that they're doing... Uh, like they're not purchasing a number, you know. Nothing stupid farmed. The piggyback of other systems. Uh, Australia sold them the numbers. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, what? Are, who? Like, of course. But they could, you know, like, if they've applied to purchase a bunch of numbers, and the the stuff that they put, even if the stuff they put on the forms is a fucking lie. Like, how do you say no to a legitimate company offering to give you money for phone? Do you know what I mean? Like, you, it's not... It's not as easy as just like, oh, you must be a spammer, you know? Oh, I wouldn't assume a scammer's using legitimate SMS systems instead of using open relays, FOC. All right, fair enough. But yeah, still, it still sucks. Like, my original point still stands. It fucking sucks that there is at least one person out there who is uneducated in this area enough to, to click those links. Regardless of the how and why, but, uh... <laughs> who posted our video? Bold of you to assume I have videos I wouldn't want posted. Actually. That being said, the number of times that I have outtakes from the old YouTube videos that I used to do, like, in, uh, like end of 2020, posting shit on YouTube. Good lord, the number of flubs that I made, like, speaking wrong and all that kind of shit. That would be very embarrassing. But that's not an hour video. That's a my video, so I still think they're wrong. Hey, Adaz. Hope you're doing well. No, I don't main point, though. Of course, yeah, education is key, and I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. It's just, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit shit. Draw back the veil. And often people don't learn until they make a big mistake and learn and like lose a shitload of money. And there's no way to get it back. There's no way to get it back. It's not like insurance covers your bank account, you know? But yeah. It's, uh, it's rough. Hmm. Oh, I'm only up to here. Okay. I'm at 48, right? Yeah, 48. Forty-eight and thirty-three percent, roughly. 
But 93.99 puts me at um, another day ahead, I think. Yeah, I'm up to date for the 9th. Woo! Means I can jump into Asana and tick off my weekly goal. Oh, hit tick off for Sunday. Amazing! Yes. So good. Well, the fact that I'm not going out for lunch tomorrow is very sad. I was really looking forward to, to tasty foods. But it also means I can get all of my chores done and not, like, hopefully not run out of time to do so. Maybe it means I might actually have some... I mean, going out for lunch with a friend is free time. That's like the definition of free time. But like, I might have some free time to what? sit on my ass and do nothing. Let's <laughs> Doubtful, but possible. I spent a fucking catching up on other shit. As always. Finish flipping my cards, maybe. I've done all my alliance cards at least. I just need to do the horde ones, but there are more horde ones. <laughs> More sleeps. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I, had a, I had real trouble getting out of bed this morning. You know how I had that like that whole week where I was like, yeah, I got all this shit done. I was so productive and blah, 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 blah. That was very obviously a high. And I am no doubt in the middle of a low right now. And it sucks. I don't like it. I want to get rid of them. I also learned fun facts with fear. Okay, so. So. Um, sushi. I had a sushi craving yesterday. It was the worst sushi craving I've had in a long, like I crave sushi regularly, but this was like a really bad one. I ended up folding. I went I went and got sushi from Woolies, which is, it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, and, and fulfilled the craving. Um, and, but I was searching and I'm like, okay, cause you know, you know, like when you're craving chips or you're craving chocolate or whatever, often it's because there's a nutrient in what you're craving that your body needs. Like if you're craving bananas, I quite often crave banana, well, used to quite often crave banana. It turns out it was because I was low in potassium. Um, so I'm like, what the fuck has sushi got in it that I'm low in? Like what, what has sushi got in it that I'm low in? Um, of course, uh, fish. You think about fish, uh, most people, when they talk about nutrients in fish, they think of omega-3s. Um, there are two big types. Hey, Murray, how are you going? Welcome back. Um, there are there are two big types of um, of omega threes. Um, one of them is I think it's like DHT, no DHP, some DH something I think. The other one is EPA, something something eco something acid. Um, and EPA is found more in the um, the like cold water fish, um, cold water fatty fish like salmon and tuna and mackerel and sardines and things like that, right? Um, and when you cook fish, like when you sear it, pan sear it, it destroys uh, 70, it was like 70 to 85% of the EPA omega-3 in the fish when you cook it. And if you can it, if you get like canned salmon, it destroys virtually all of it. There's like virtually none left in can in canned salmon or canned tuna or whatever, right? Cool. So that is that's maybe that's why my body is specifically craving sushi because it'd be raw salmon rather than cooked salmon or, or like whatever, right? Um, and then doing some more research, and it turns out. People who are suffering from depression have lower levels of EPA in their blood than people who are not. So I do some I do some thinking and do some do some uh, some figuring out, and it turns out, um, like I I'm a, a huge comfort food person, huge 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 comfort food person. So when I'm in a low. I always have cravings for my, my very specific comfort food, my, my favorite comfort food, and usually that's fucking sushi. And there may be a chance that I'm craving the sushi because of a specific type of omega-3 that's only found in raw fish 
And that's why I'm craving sushi, because I'm low in that when I'm depressed, when I'm in a low. <laughs> can I, can we just take a moment to recognize that as fucked and as stupid as our bodies are sometimes, they are also hella fucking cool. Hella fucking cool. Doing good, how was your day? My day was okay. My day was okay. I, I got some stuff done despite not getting out of bed for like three and a half hours after I was supposed to, which is good. Like I, I had a lot of trouble getting out of bed today. It's one of the big things that happens with my low periods is that I just, I struggle getting out of bed. Like, you know, depression, it's a thing. Um, but I got out of bed and I managed to get stuff done. I also went for a walk. I went, I pushed him, I did my exercise. And while I was walking, um, it started raining and I did not have an umbrella, so I got all wet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was still okay. After all that, it was still okay. So yeah, I'm I'm doing I'm doing pretty well. I reckon. Doing pretty well considering. I'm glad that you're doing good. That's that's really wonderful to hear. But there, there, there you go. So, so I had sushi and I did some research and I found an omega three supplement that contains specifically contains the EPA not just the, the other one um and I and it's a gigantic fucking horse pill of a thing um but I I got that to see if that can help me cull the sushi cravings if I can have like one of them a day see if it gets rid of the sushi cravings um but we'll see I've only had one of them so far and I'm still craving sushi so we'll see <laughs> Just thought that was really funny. Our bodies are so cool. So cool. How many are at 50 now then? 29! 29 out of 50. How good is that? How good is that? Uh, please tell me if the supplements work because I hate raw fish almost as much as I hate depression. Look, there are, uh, like, there are other sources. Like, you can still have cooked fish and stuff like that. But yeah, omega-3 is, is, a, is a big one. Um, what is it? there's a lot of stuff that helps, but this, this particular study was really super interesting. Um, but of course, as always, talk to your doctor, talk to your doctor. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if the, if the fish oil capsules, um, help cull the sushi cravings. Um, we're doing, no, that's the one I'm already on. Where are we going? I reckon people are probably more clustered over here. So let's do that. Let's go. Live somewhere where there aren't a lot of options for sushi after having lived down the street from my boyfriend's family sushi place and I miss it a lot. Oh, yeah, no, I've got a couple of really good options near me. Um, there's like Woolworths has, like the newer Woolworths seem to have like a, a sushi spot um, where you can grab. And it's not bad. Like it's not super incredible, amazing, fresh and awesome. Um, but it's also not the worst I've ever had. It's actually far from the worst I've ever had. Um, so if you do have a Woolies near you that has a sushi thing, I would absolutely, like, give it a try. If you're, if you're a little concerned and maybe a little untrustworthy, totally get it. Try starting with, like, a chicken one, uh, or a cooked one, and then see how you go with that. And if it, if it tastes pretty damn good, and if this, the rice is still kind of sticky and not dried around the edges and stuff. Like, I don't, I, I've had, you know, you get, like, supermarket sushi, and it's, like, dry and crunchy around the edges because the rice is dried out. I've had that from actual sushi places, like, buying a hand roll and it's crunchy around the edges kind of thing. It's, and you're just like, mm, I don't feel okay about this. Um, I've never had that from Woolies, which is a really good, like, but maybe, you know, give it a go with a cooked thing just to, just to test it out first. Um, I've also got a, down near the Woolies, there is a sushi train. Um, but it's expensive. It's like five fifty a plate or something stupid. Like it's really expensive for what they're offering. Um, and like all the oh, no wait, hang on, no, that's the one where the plates are all different prices. Like the different colors correspond to. I much prefer sushi places where all the plates are the same, same price, exact same price across the board. It's just that sashimi you get a lot less, and veggie sushi you get more. And then they kind of like you know they're like how much is 
$4.50 of this type of sushi. It's this many pieces. And then, do you know what I mean? I much prefer that because it's a lot easier for me to figure out rather than being like, okay, so I have cheap ones and I have expensive ones and I have like, fuck that shit. Um, but that place I think has different prices per plate color. But there's also, you might've seen on Twitter, um, congratulations, Draco, uh, Aurelia, Vu, Z, Meaty, Dick, Heiko, Crafty, and Loza on all your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, you might have seen on Twitter a little while ago, Jas and I went to a new sushi place that I didn't know existed, but I saw it and I'm like, hum. Uh, we went there and it was fucking incredible. Like really well-priced, huge portions and just so fucking fresh. Holy cow, it was so good. But it was still, it was, it was well-priced, but it was, it's still sushi. <laughs> sushi is still expensive. Um, so that was a, that was a time. But yeah, no, it was, uh, it was lovely. It was really lovely. So I've got quite a few really good options around me, but I also live hella fucking close to the city. So that's, you know, it is what it is. Nice, getting there. I know, and everything, like my lowest tunes are 47. So I'm so close, so, so close. Their sushi here is from a fancy grocery store, but all their rolls have avocado in them, and I found out recently avocado doesn't agree with me. Oh no, Jude! Can you get them to maybe make something fresh um, without the avocado? I know that, um, particularly at the Woolies, when they say, oh, you don't see your favourite? Ask us and we'll make it for you. Um, they might actually be able to make something for you without avo in it. Um, unless it's all prepackaged sitting there and it's not like right next to a, a maker plate, do you know what I mean? Um, it might be worse. I mean, the worst they can do is say no and laugh at you, right? Well, this one is pretty reasonable, right? It's not bad. I mean, I'm guessing it's going to differ, like, woolies to woolies, obviously. Like, not every place is going to be as amazing as the next. It's going to depend on the employees and all that kind of shit as well. But, like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Can't do sushi. Fish is not my favorite. Um, what about chicken and stuff? Obviously, if the answer's no, the answer's no. But, like, um, because sushi's not just fish. Teriyaki chicken was what I pretty much like. If I had if I had sushi as a youngin, it was always teriyaki chicken, 100% of the time. This is so tasty and it's kind of sweet because of the sauce and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I'm busy. I might be able to. Just hoping at least one of the options didn't have avo. Yeah. And look, hey, maybe asking about it. Maybe the reason they all have avo is because that's what sells the best for them. But if you say, you know, oh, I can't have avocado, is there something you could make that doesn't have avocado in it? Maybe that'll kind of prompt them to realize, oh shit, everything we make has avo in it. <laughs> I'm a chicken sushi person, I don't do seafood. Totally fair. Totally fair. I heard there was an Australian who got excited over food was on. Yeah, look, I do that I do that frequently. I love food. I love food. It's so good. It's so good. What a thunder, what a battle. Speak. Uh, it's also California. Everyone loves to shove avocado in things here. Fair. Fair. Oh dear. A hey, question. Do you call it a California roll in California? Hmm. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the California roll, but, like, that's what we call it here, so I'm wondering if you... The yes? Okay, cool. Guides us. Interesting. You know the joke about Brazil nuts and how in Brazil they're just called nuts. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh... <laughs> I was curious. That's cool. Ah, uh, indeed it is. I just went for a much needed nap. How are things here? And what's a California roll? Oh, hasn't it got like crab stick or something in it? Give me a second. California roll. California roll, or California maki, is a maki sushi sushi roll that is usually rolled inside out, contains cucumber, crab, or imitation crab, and avocado. But yeah, so it's um it's inside out sushi, so the rice is on the outside, and then there's the seaweed, and then the middle bit, and yeah, it's imitation crab, cucumber, and um, uh, avo. And then usually it's rolled in, like, little baby row, or whatever. Um... I mean, that's how we usually do it here, but not always. Sometimes it is an icky on the outside. Oh. Uh, isn't it any roll that's us inside out? No, the um, salmon avocado rolls that I have are uh, usually inside out. Um, you can do a lot of... Maybe I should make... No. 
I would spend so much money fucking trying to find goddamn um um sashimi salmon. Come. This is the problem. Like, usually making stuff from home is cheaper. Like, making it at home is cheaper than, like, ordering in or whatever. But sushi, it's so much fun to make, firstly. I love making sushi. It's great fun. But, um, like, getting sashimi-grade salmon, it's fucking impossible. And if you can find it, it's heckin' expensive. <sighs> great, then. Yeah, the, like, it's really interesting because most of the sushi that I eat nowadays comes inside out. Like, most of it. The only stuff that I, I've had that is the right way around with the with the sea seaweed on the outside has been, like, the little baby ones, the hosomaki, um, or, uh, like, hand rolls that you, like, take bites out of and eat like a fucking burrito. Like... <laughs> Everything else I get usually comes inside out, not by choice, it's just that's how they make it. I wonder why. I wonder why. Maybe it looks bigger if you make it, like, with the light stuff on the outside, rather than packing it all in in the middle or something. And so people think it's better value, or... I'm sure there's some fucked up psychological thing to it. There always is. Humans are stupid. The spicy tuna hand rolls are so good. One of the best hand rolls I've ever had, honestly. Uh, is tempura veggie. It'll have like a piece of tempura broccolini and a piece of tempura pumpkin and a piece of tempura sweet potato and then like all, just a couple of different sticks of veggies that have been tempered and then stuffed in a fucking hand roll. And they're so good with some uh, kewpie through it, obviously. Because kewpie is life, kewpie is love. Um, <laughs> and they're just so good. So, so good. Ah, uh, and a bit of, a little drizzle of teriyaki sauce through the middle as well. It really it goes a long way. Just ate a chicken katsu roll my mum dropped off at the squids today. Wait, hang on. So your mum dropped it off at the squids and you decided, yep, that's mum's. Which I love, by the way. Yes, props to you. I would totally do that. Sushi? What sushi? I'm saving them from food poisoning. Exactly, exactly. Because they can't eat it. If they don't eat it right now, they're going to die. So it's fine. 100%. I love that. Just to be clear, from the start, I was for this. <laughs> Zero judgment from me. Zero. 100%. I did good. I'm so pleased. Go, go you. Mum deserved that. You, like, you as mum deserved the sushi. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Ah, oh, love sushi. I wish it wasn't so fucking expensive. Orc? All right. Once I'm not dead, we'll we'll do that. If I alt tab now, I will absolutely die. I can press that and then keep going, and then when it pops up, fix it up. Oh fuck off! Popped up in the middle of my screen. Of course it did. Ooh, I smell something cooking. I think it's pork. Star curry for meals last week. It was so good. I forgot how tasty it was. Ah, oh, golden curry is the best. It's just so good. You can put literally anything in and it just tastes amazing. There's orc. There is orc. It's not that timer, shall we? Is this what you wanted, Murray? Is this what you were after? Oh, dearie me. 
Are we? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I love Golden Hurry. And you can just, like, one box makes such a big batch as well. You can put literally anything in it. Damn. <laughs> Let's talk about food is making me want to curry right now. It's only 10, 15 a.m. I mean, curry for breakfast is absolutely a thing. But it's also called close enough to lunch that you could probably call it brunch and be fine. I mean, I'm not going to judge you what you have for breakfast. It might be slightly problematic in getting the food, unless you have something in the house you can make. But, yeah, no judgment here. Sexy husky orc voice. <laughs> Arthur's is still best voice mod, I reckon. There are so many of them, hey, like, holy cow. So many of them. It was half price to buy an Amazon vs. store in here, so we stocked up. I love that. Bulk buying for the win. For the win. Light's blessing to you. <laughs> My husband is watching TV. A character just gave a fuck off look right as you said, oh fuck off. He's losing it right now, simple things. That's beautiful. The, like, timing. It's just, and you know what, matey? You know what? I, I would have said it several seconds before it actually happened on TV, and then, but your individual lag, like, your particular latency made it perfect, you know? Like, just everything in the universe lined up at that particular moment to give you all just, just a, a brief glimpse of joy, and I love that for you. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to, I'm so happy to have contributed <laughs> to, to the, to the hilarity. That's beautiful. Oh dear. We're done. We have to protect the wounded. There we go. Lindsay finally made something fun, yeah? <laughs> oh dear. Deary me. We're really close to 49, just by the way. Concentrate, sisters. I lead the wounded to safety. Cover our escape. Mm. I'm feeling really good about the progress today. Like this is feeling this is feeling good. I'm still gonna have to do some kind of leveling off stream this week anyway, because I'm not gonna get like a week ahead, but that's okay. Maybe I might now that my lunch tomorrow has been cancelled, maybe I'll be able to get some done tomorrow. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm not gonna level. I'm not gonna ding fifty on anything off stream though. Um, I've been. I have been leveling off stream, and I'm getting them to forty nine, and then I'm logging off. <laughs> Which is why I now have uh, six at forty nine. Because I want the excitement to happen on stream. But that does, however, mean that that last stream of leveling is going to be like 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. It's going to be so good. So good. And that's our, our marathon stream. is coming up on the 22nd of January. I wonder if we'll actually be able to finish it off during those 12 hours. Like, finish it. How fucking batshit would that be? Is this character a human? I've been trying to figure out, uh, but I don't play humans much. It's not a human. Would you like me to tell you what race she is, or would you like to continue guessing? Up to you. I don't mind either way. Always takes so long to die. <laughs> I thought this was an elf of some sort, especially based on the swimming. Fair. I don't mind if you tell us, so I'm used to using Z Pearl with his character portraits. I can just see your add ons are different. They are. So I'm actually on Horde. Uh, this, this character is Horde. Uh, and she is a Nightborn. She is a Nightborn. I was wrong. I was so wrong. That's okay. That's okay. I wouldn't know unless I had it in my spreadsheet. 
<laughs> like... I love her little ear tips. They're so cute. Okay. Ninety-seven percent through forty-eight. Any excites? I have many friends and I don't like it. This is gonna... Yeah, I'm dead. That's right. Alrighty. Back we go. <laughs> Um, oh, I meant to, I meant to talk to you guys. I don't know who made the suggestion. Z, plural. Um, because there was no note to, so when, when anyone makes a suggestion for a gift through Throne, I can't see who made the suggestion, um, unless you pop it in the notes. Um, so I'm not sure who made the suggestions, uh, but I wanted to address, because I've rejected a couple over the last couple of days, and I wanted to let you know why, basically. Not because you have shit taste. Um, like, it's it's obvious that, you know, usually for very specific reasons. So, um, I had a couple of suggestions for handbags. Um, I use a backpack handbag. It's like, think like an adult backpack. It's uh, actually, I can just fucking show you, because it's right goddamn here, and I'm going to die again. So that's fine. Why am I dying so much? Like, what's... What are they doing? I know the disarm hurts, but... I shouldn't be, like... And I'm getting out of the fire pretty quickly. At least I thought I was. This is very odd. So, I have my backpack and it's like fancy adult I'm pretty sure I can't remember if it's actual leather or like vegan leather or like fake it's not it's not like fake 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 shit because it doesn't you know how fake leather like the plastic shit starts peeling off and stuff and I've had this for years now and it's actually really really awesome um but I have adult backpack with two straps so it doesn't hurt one shoulder or the other um, so that's why I've said no to handbags, because I have one that's probably going to last me 10 fucking years, and it's the only one I use. <laughs> um, uh, and the other one was a picnic basket, which I was like, oh my god, that's adorable. Like, it was like a cooler thing with, like, picnic-y shit and all that kind of stuff, but it was so expensive. Um, it was shipping from a, um, like, it was through Amazon AU, but it was, like... 60 something dollars and then it was like 30 something on top of that shipping and with thrown if the shipping is over ten dollars you need to include it in the purchase price like if shipping and taxes and stuff like that so it would have ended up being like a 100 something dollar fucking picnic basket um so that's why i said no to that one um 
And I think, I think that might have been it. I don't think there was another one. Um, no, because the handbag looks really nice. It is really nice. It, it is, it is really nice. I'm pretty sure it cost me something like a hundred bucks. But when you consider how much you use something like a handbag, if you are a handbag user, you will know yourself how much you use it. And not having to chop and change every, like getting a new one every few months because it's like fallen apart because it was a cheapy or whatever. Like I wanted to invest in something really good quality. And that pocket on the front, this this pocket on the front here, um, I'm gonna move those out the way. Um, fits my wallet perfectly. <laughs> like it is a literal perfect fit. Um, so it's just, and I have. A bubble tea um yep I have matching earrings they're adorable but yeah so it's uh they were sent to me actually to my PO box by a viewer which I was so like just oh my god I squealed when I opened that package I actually squealed um but yeah so that's why and I think I've got one sitting there at the moment for a neon sign that says Fiala um, which I'm really tempted to approve. The issue, I think, was the price. Um, let me check. Where's my suggested gifts? Yeah, custom LED neon sign in appropriate red Fiamma. It was 195. Um... I think that's why I'm kind of it's sitting there because I'm like unsure. Concentrate, sisters. But like, excuse me, it is super cute. will not falter. We are Okindun's protectors. And there's like different fonts and shit. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna have to actually go through this. Um. Although, um, now that I'm actually plugging in this information, that price is a hell of a lot more than 195. Um, yeah, that's. It's like 400 and 300 and something. Look. Um, that's cool. I have to have a play with that when I'm offline, I think. But, um. I am the blade of the Legion won't give up. Definitely. I'm there for shit. Are you on track, by the way? They're 50 50s. I am! Excellent. I am, actually. Um, where's my how far behind this fear, actually? I'm two levels. Two days. So, no, I'm three days ahead now. Shit, I just realized that that ding put me through to 94.12. So, I'm three days ahead. Three days ahead. Which is really good. That's kind of where I want to be, um, like a day or two ahead. So that if something happens, let's say I catch fucking COVID. And I'm bedridden for however many days that I, I'll still be okay. You know what I mean? It won't put me completely fucked. Maladash, Malanore. But we'll see how we go. We'll see. Uh, at this point, wouldn't it be hard to return something like that? Uh, return something like what? Sorry, Thor. A neon sign would be fire. What color does it go? Um, it goes pork. It goes pork. Um, the the suggested color in the gift suggestion was red. Um, there's a whole bunch of different colors that they can do though. Thank you. But I don't think it's a color changing thing like the nano leaves. Baby to da 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 da. Baby Jess. Stop Jess killing the pains. Huh? Stop killing the pains. Stop killing the pain. Oh, okay. Why? I want the. Because it's painful to the pain. Baby to da 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 da. Baby to na 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 na. What? What were you gonna. What were you pointing at? 
Um, okay, bye. Bye! Okay, there's no stream anymore. My left stream is only really used in just visits. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. I understand. Actually, the neon sign up was already. No, no, it's not. So, um, Thor, what we're what I'm talking about is um, there's a there's a website called Throne, which is a wish list site that I use. Um, and not only can like I've got stuff on my wish list, and if you were that way inclined, you could purchase something from my wish list and have it shipped to me via Throne. And they do all that without like I don't get any of your personal information, you don't get mine, or like no one gets doxxed, all that kind of stuff, which is really good, right? But there's also a section, like, if if there's something that you think I could use or that I will want or something like that, you can suggest it as a gift and then I can approve or reject. And if I approve it, it goes onto the wish list and the person who suggested it gets an email to say, hey, your gift suggestion has been approved so they can potentially go and jump on and actually buy the thing they were intending that they were suggesting to me. So this is a suggestion for a neon sign that that is red and says Fiyama. Um that I could put on the wall. So the idea is that I would then potentially approve that with a bunch of, and then putting a bunch of specific settings and say how much it's going to cost. And then someone could buy that off the wish list for me if they wanted to. It has not been bought. It has not been customized. Nothing has been done. It's just a suggestion at this point. Yeah. It's cool. Hey, funky sort of website. Um, the jazz finger. How is it? Ah, he seems to be going okay. Um, one of the one of the edges of it popped up the other day. Like it was kind of sort of stuck down and then it's lifted, like so the edge of the skin has lifted. But I think that skin's probably mostly dead anyway, and there's like a scab underneath it. Um, so he's probably gonna end up losing that skin eventually anyway, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, if you get COVID, I hope you don't. I hope you're well enough to play lots of WoW and get well ahead. Look, me too. I hope I don't too. Um because uh, who the fuck knows how it will respond to- I mean, I know people are saying that Omicron is less deadly than, like, you as an individual, if you catch it, have a smaller chance of death, uh, or extreme symptoms, especially if you're vaccinated, which I am, um, but I have an autoimmune condition. So, I- I don't- I don't know how that will- Affect my shit, you know. So, who the who the fuck knows? But we'll see. You know, all I can do is do the best I can to protect myself. Uh, and if I do everything right and everything they tell me and do all the stuff, and I still get it, at least I did everything correctly. You know, at least I did everything I can. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a really funky concept, and I, I like it a lot. It's it's a safety first wishlist system for creators, which I love, because, you know, being doxxed is a serious fucking concern. Um, but yeah, I also love that you can suggest stuff, because it gives me ideas for shit I may never have thought of. Um, as it has been described to me by those with COVID, unfortunately, I think a lot of people can barely sit upright, stay awake, just extra level exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I do know people who have set up WoW to be played with a controller. <laughs> Especially like if I've got a, a one button macro, it might even be better. Like the moving around and stuff might be a bit tricky, but we'll look. Hopefully I won't need to look into it. We'll avenge you. Noted. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's hilarious. Oh, fuck's sake. Mine flew. I could barely crawl to the toilet even years later. I remember exactly how I felt. I thought I was gonna literally die. I'm so sorry you went through that, Seeker. That really fucking blows. I hope you never experience anything like that ever again. Thank you. I had swine flu. First introduction to the joys of nasal swabs. 
Ew, the fucking brain tickle. The unknown is why everyone feels so scared too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I've, um... <clears throat> so, cousin and partner have now tested negative. Um, stepbrother, stepsister, two step cousins, um, two very close family friends, colleague, one of my one of my workmates who hasn't actually been into the office yet. She's a brand new hire, um, and she was supposed to come in on a certain day to do like handover, and she couldn't because she got a positive test. Um, and now my 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 old friend who I haven't seen in a long time. Um, it's just it's more and more and more people. Every day there's there's new people who I know who have caught it or whatever it's just and of course of course jared from married with pets um and probably yori as well but not 100 percent. so i don't think i don't think she's got a positive test but like at this point <laughs> at this point i would be assuming that she has it like you know what i mean given that you know she's sharing a home and a bed and all that kind of stuff with someone who has it like yes you've probably got it but um <laughs> Hmm. Not that there was, <clears throat> not that there was any blame in that sentence. Like, of course, you know, you want to take care of your loved one, for sure. But yeah, it's a thing. God damn it! What'd you do? Dropped a potato. Why? Oh god, there's barbecue sauce everywhere. Do you want me to go grab the paper towel or something? Oh, there's tissues. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it looks really bad because it's on a light grey singlet. I did bring bubble tea. Though. Yay! Thank you. It's all right. I wasn't planning on wearing this again tomorrow, so we're fine. <laughs> oh, I, I picked up and ate the potato. It's fine. Didn't go on the floor. The poor potato. You. you killed it and ate it. Well, I killed it. You yeah, ate it. Yeah, correct. <laughs> oh shit! I think I'm in combat. I absolutely am. Fuck. The big demon man again. Um. Thank you for the bubble tea! Um, it's fine for the new swap was way worse than the COVID ones. Oh no. Awesome, so hope they both recover well soon. Yeah, absolutely. Rip potato, Jassy distributes. Good thing you're not wearing anything light colored. That's fine. I don't care. No biggie. Pour sauce all over it, only way to save it now. Barbecue sauce art singlet. Look, I mean, we're, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. There's, it's an artistic splash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Let me just not die and then I'll jump over and we'll do the stuff for the battle. Mm. Delicious. Okay. Congratulations, you spam, cray, dick, mick, whiskey, oaf, and dupe on all your bonus shit. What flavour of noms pork? Uh, pork. And veg. Pork. And, and, and like steamed veg, like frozen veg packet kind of stuff. This frozen veg takes a hell of a lot longer to expire than regular veg. Mmm. Get some pork on your fork, unless you can't afford it, in which case, do what you need to do. Imagine small chunkies. Ah, yeah, no. Nah. With some sort of sauce. Mm, sometimes. But nah, today is just a little pork steak. <clears throat> Level 49! I reckon, guys, we might actually get a second 50 tonight. Wish I had a stealth on this warrior. <laughs> I just want to get out. Uh, Woolies does do like a pork belly bites thing in like a chashu sauce that is goddamn delicious. Like you stick it in the oven and then when you take it out, it's all like sticky and dry and then you douse it with a second pack of sauce kind of thing. It's so fucking good. It's really expensive per kilo, but like fuck man, it's tasty. Had that? Oh, it's so good. 
It's so good. Just hit Shadow Meldra almost a night elf after all, right? I don't have... Do I actually have, like, a Shadow Meldy type deal? Of Arcane Pulse, which slows things. Ah, cantrips. A conjure up an Eldritch Grimoire, allowing you male access for one and a half minutes. That's beautiful. That's so fucking good. Um, and then, yeah, no, everything else is passives. Damn. That sucks. Oh, well. <clears throat> Overcooked it, but it was good. It just caramelized. I love that they give you, like, a second, like, they're in a marinade and you cook that and then there's, like, a sauce that you put over them at the end so that even if you do overcook it and it dries out, it kind of, like, you can, it's, like, extra sauce. They know what's up. They know what's up. That's some weird mailbox thing. Yeah, the, the grimoire, which is cool. This is an ad. This song is a jam. I don't know. I don't get to see what ads you're seeing. Mostly because, like, you see different ads across different, um, uh... Countries and stuff as well. Remind me to ask Valine what the what the banger was. Mm. One for a laptop. Okay. Interesting. Do you guys get the whole thing where like the stream moves up over chat and then then you get the ad full screen kind of thing. Or does it play over the play over the player? And you don't get to see anything. Sometimes. Both. Me on a PC. Mm. Cause there have been talks about different kinds of ads that have been tested, but I have a feeling they're only for American. Like the, the, the trials are only for Americans, because I would presume that the different kinds of ads have different price tags attached for the advertisers. And because it's just a trial test that they're only doing it in America because it's easier. Uh, and I'd say that they're also probably only running on, well, they're, they're mostly running on much bigger channels because then they've got a much bigger viewer base to test it on and see what happens. <clears throat> but I would really like that, especially, especially if the mini player that keeps going for the stream um, has the options like the closed captions still on it so that you can keep reading the captions while the ad's going on and so you don't actually miss it. Well... I know the, the captions aren't perfect, <laughs> I know, but like, you know, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, it used to play over for me, but recently in the last month it shrinks you to the side. Cool. Uh, the snowfall map is cute and all, but purpose stream readers is still up in front. Ah, whoops. Cool. Didn't know that. My bad. I did an oopsie. But yeah, I, I would really love if that became more of it. They're also testing out like lower third ads. Um, I've been told. So like a box that pops up on the, the bottom part of the of the actual stream. Um, and I'm not sure. Sometimes I think you have an option to close it out off or you can just kind of let it sit there and it times out eventually or something like that. Um, they were trialing that for a little while at least. I'm not sure if that's still happening. Um, but yeah, just less intrusive ads, you know? So that you can still kind of engage with the content. <clears throat> uh, the other day I hopped into a guy's stream from Stream Raiders and I told him he was so thankful and so supportive that I went in to visit him in chat. It is, it's really awesome. And especially getting that kind of feedback about where your viewers are coming from. Um, like, I know a couple of streamers, especially in the Stream Raiders Discord, have spoken about how they don't even know if it's working because, like, they get three three people placing units and they don't recognize any new names or anything like that. Like, it's, it's kind of, they don't know if they're actually getting new viewers because, like, through that avenue of discovery. Um, but, like, they do. It's just, it, 
obviously has to, you know, take time and having people know that they're there and finding them as a captain and favoriting them and all this kind of shit. Like, it takes time to kick in. But yeah, no, the number of people who have found us via Stream Raiders is amazing. Like, it's such a great avenue for discovery. For any kind of game as well. Because, I mean, I mean, the people who are going to find you through Stream Raiders, if you're not playing something that they like, like, if they're not a WoW gamer and they find us, they may not engage at the same level, but they're still here. They're still adding to, like, adding to that viewer number and all that kind of stuff, which is just, yeah, it, it's super fucking helpful. Mm, here's the top of add new captain thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Yes, I'm a mod in her channel now. It's funny how stream raiders are oh, awesome. There you go. There you go. PvP. Exclamation FFA if you'd like to join the in chat PvP battle. Just for shits and giggles. <clears throat> um I don't always follow them this game is pretty cool. So I just want to know how my troops go. Of course, yeah, absolutely. Doing a witch, uh I'm not doing a new stream raiders fight, it's not letting me place troops. Oh, uh, maybe that's why I still had it up. God, I'm a numpty. All right. Give us a second. Yep, I clearly fucked up. That was why I still had the map up, because I hadn't started a new battle. Good lord. Food has just- and dropping potato on myself has clearly distracted me. I'm so sorry, guys. I am a noob. And I hath fuckered up. There we go. Um, now you should be able to. My apologies. Good lord. What's going on? <clears throat> um It's me, I'm here for streamers and Joe Famous Energy, not a WAF and that's and that's totally fine, little. Totally fine. As long as I'm keeping you entertained, that's what matters. Let's say how I thought it was odd duck because I like wow, I like small medium sized streamers. I like to watch it ridiculously late US times. This is how I found you. And I love all of those things, though. I'm happy for all of those things. I, our community is so goddamn diverse. Like, so diverse. It's not all WoW players, despite the fact that I am a majority WoW streamer. It's, it's not all Aussies, despite the fact that the time that I stream is trash for other countries. <laughs> like, legitimately. Um, I've often been told that if I transition to, like, midday stream times, that I would capture so much of, like, a US and EU audience. I'm like, yeah, but then all my regulars would just, they couldn't watch me. Like, that sucks, you know? Um, so it, it's just, like, all the... It, Our enemies will I'm so happy with what we've built. Don't and we have such a diverse community, you given, you like, when I stream. It's, it's amazing. I love it. There. I love it. Right away. Are these great funny people you learn to adore taking a chance like that? Absolutely. Uh, barbecue sauce effect. Correct! It is well known. I, I'd like to think so. I think I got bonus shit. Maybe. Potentially. Ah, uh, I love the time you stream. Perfect for my mornings. Wonderful shopper and welcome on in to chat. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Only 4.46 central time where I'm at. Oh Jesus. Absolutely responsible for my terrible sleep schedule here is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want anyone to be unhealthy because of me. Like, that that sucks. Don't do that. If you stream early, you get the US, but mostly you lose Europe. Um, there's, there is a, there is a perfect little window where you capture, like, late night US. Or no, it's like late night Europe and, like, right after work or after school US kind of thing. Um, the, and it, it is, it's a small window, but it's a couple of hours and it's there and it does exist. But I don't want to. I don't want to. Streaming at night like this, having stream end my day, having like some time to do stuff and then a stream and then time to do stuff, it just, you feel like you get nothing done because that whole big block of get shit done time is split up. And so you end up feeling like you can't get anything done. It's why, one of the reasons why I pushed Sundays to the same time as my weekday streams. It just works better with my schedule. Being able to finish stream and wrap up my day and go to bed is just, it's a really nice thing to be able to do. 
Um, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but it is what it is. Um, I sleep dumb anyway. Ah, oh, it's okay. Look, it's, um... My sleeping pattern is not exactly great either. Having a wonderful day too. I'm also leveling alts! Yay, Shopper! What's, what are you leveling? What are you leveling and what level are you at? If you don't mind sharing, of course. You don't have to. Uh, right now the Europeans are in lunch, I believe, and US East Coast Americans would probably be waking up right now. Um, there's, depending on where in Europe you're looking, this is the thing, there's a fair few different time zones. Um, but it usually, like most of the Europeans that I've had in stream have kind of said that this is like breakfast, like they'll eat breakfast and watch fear kind of thing. Um, but I don't know, maybe they may, they might just be having like late breakfasts or something like that. Um, and then lunch start eight in the morning now, perfect for working from home. Weekend, ah, amazing. Amazing, that's so good to hear. UK here, 10.50 AM, there you go. Currently a hunter at level 19, got loads of characters to work on though, around 200, I believe 196 pieces. Jesus Christ, so you have obviously a couple of accounts, clearly. <laughs> like, clearly. At least four. It's almost 1 p.m. in East Europe, noon central. Oh, there you go, I mean the early bird ones, 5.48 a.m. is not my idea of a wake up time. Four accounts, noted, noted. Interesting, interesting. I've always kind of, mm, I don't know how I'd feel about having multiple accounts. It's taken me this long to get 50 tunes levels. How fucking long would it take me to get more, like, oh, good lord, I don't know. Mm, I'm not sure I have time for that. Mm. Maybe. If and when I'm able to go full-time streaming. Maybe if I had a, a day every single week dedicated to leveling. Kind of like I've been doing Friday leveling streams, right? But I've got a few interruptions this month. Um, if I was able to do a leveling stream once a week, maybe I could actually branch out and have multiple accounts but I'd feel like I feel like I need to have one account totally capped out before I start buying more accounts uh, and by buying I mean paying for it I mean buying like pre like ready accounts because that's against toss and I do not advocate breaking toss unless you want to lose your accounts um <laughs> don't do stupid things play stupid games win stupid prizes but um yeah because, I mean, this is 50-50s. I've still got to get them to 60. But maybe, hey, maybe one day when, when I'm a full-time streamer, I'll have the time to maintain more than one account. And that'll kind of be like a whole thing. Can you imagine having to kill Shah on 200 fucking accounts? Uh, 200 fucking tunes. <sighs> one account would take two streams. Four accounts would mean that I have to stream more. Ah, <laughs> uh, 6 a.m. is a good go to sleep time, not a good wake up time. Fair, fair. I have seven, only six for Shadowlands. Juggling multiple accounts is a pain in the ass. Also, nice if you need to drag someone along with you for bags, transmog, etc. Yeah, for sure. I want to say the only reason I have so many characters is because I feel I need to have one of each race class combination. That is a lot of fucking tunes. Yeah, holy shit. Well done, well done. There are a couple of, um, like, if I did get a second account, I think the first thing I'd make is a couple of paladins, because, um, Data Frazeroth still says I'm missing a few paladin mounts, like the specific charges and things, um, that the paladins get for their specific race class combo, the, the race paladin combo. Um, so I think I'd have to make those specific paladins first, just so I could get them crossed off the DFA list. Um, 204. Wow. Maladin, did it work? Did what work? Work. Prime thingy. Um, I'm not sure. You have a prime badge. And you have a sub badge. 
Um, but it usually doesn't let you, if you've, if you've changed to a prime sub, if that's what you're doing, it usually won't let you push the button for the alert until your pre prior sub has completely expired. Um, yeah, too many race class combos are in retail. Holy cow, that's amazing, Lissabu. 204. That's an interesting number, too. I get any response to the command. I just did that because I know how much fear likes paladins. <laughs> Look. Look. I do one fucking BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> 40 in classic. I mean, an hour to set up. I feel old. No, don't. Look, sometimes things are just tricky to set up. Sometimes things just do that. Fear is paladin confirmed. Fear loves pallies. Look you what. It's on cooldown. Have my own guild on lines and order. Nice. Mm. I've got the eighth tab on um, my horde one, but not on my alliance. That's okay. Um, I still have, I still have tabs that I can purchase on my alliance one if I really wanted to. Um, I just don't need the space just yet, so I'm fine. But when I do, well. You fucked me up, I was perfect. <laughs> See, okay, so it says the Shrouded Isle, right? But I'm pretty sure that um, he wasn't actually talking about his character in Shrouded Isle. I'm pretty sure he was talking about how he was an innocent child before he met me and that I fucked him up. Opened his eyes to the worldly things that exist. And I mean, I don't disagree with that. <laughs> Consecration is holy fire, fear likes fire, therefore fear likes paladin. Look. Oh, fuck. Mm. How's the 50 50s going? Well, I'm at 29 out of 50. 29 out of 50. And this character is currently 49 and she's at 65%. So we're gonna get a second 50 tonight. And like, we've already got one tonight, it was number 29 and this is gonna be number 30. So fucking close. So you guys want cross-stitched badges with the fear burb on them. Potentially Pokemon sprites, the smaller ones. The ones that are like under 35 pixels. Um, instead like 35 pixels width or height. Okay, I have some I have some patterns to fuck around with tomorrow, I think. <clears throat> I can agree with him being innocent before flatting with you. I think it was well and truly before he moved in. But it was probably my fault. I'm even close to get freaky about the content. I know. I know. The trick is not making money off it, Thor. The whole thing about copyright and stuff is when you when you make money off it. If you try to sell shit based on their IP, same with Disney. If you try to sell stuff based on their IP, um, then you're fucked because, and so you should be because it's like no, don't do that. Um, but if you're doing it for fun. Greetings. And shit like that, then yeah, there's there's zero issue. Fan art is fine. Selling fan art is not fine. Uh wait, do you do cross stitch? Yes. Yes, I do. Not too bad at it either. 
He was innocent when I met him, so somewhere between then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I broke him, and that's fine. I think he's okay with it. Leave the G invite, it went sideways. Yeah, I reckon. And his forces have I reckon. Not yet left Gulrock for their final march. No, it wasn't, it wasn't the G invite. Um, it was... We had, um, a, a small get-together, I think it was like four of us, um, went and had dinner in South Bank. Um, and met face to face for the first time after raiding for however long and um, I went to that and as did a couple other people and one of those other people was Jazz and I reckon that was when everything started going wrong <laughs> but that was also like seven years ago or something I can give you a date actually because we took a photo I still have it because it's adorable. They're my favorites. 30th of April, 2016. <clears throat> so yeah, it'd be six, sorry, six years at the end of April. Yeah. Research have bought quite a few and need to get back into it. Yeah, I um <laughs> I'm quite good at not buying patterns and stuff. Um I'm working on a hade at the moment. Um, which has taken me several years and I'm still only like eleven percent of the way through it because I keep putting it down and then not picking it up for months. Um because I have too many hobbies. I have entirely too many hobbies. Um but yeah, I'm working on a, a Hade. It's a poster-sized thing at 25 count. I think it's 25 count. Um, and it's 100 and something thousand stitches. Uh, so I'm, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> um, and I'm like refusing to allow myself to start anything else until that's kind of at least a decent percentage on. I, I, I said I was gonna do the cross stitch until I hit 10% and then I'd work on a few other things. And I did that, I hit 10%. I finished knitting a, a cardigan, um, and then I'm like, okay, back to the cross stitch, and I'm like, yeah, and then I keep putting it down because I've got like shit, like 50/50s to work on and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to. I reckon I want to get it to like 20% before I let myself start working on other shit. But then I've also said that what I would like to do um, this year is each month make a banner of my subs for the month to be like thank you and then to display that somewhere um so january 31st at the end of stream on january 31st i'm gonna grab a printout of all the usernames of the subs that i have and who gifted how many subs and all this kind of stuff uh and try to do up a pattern and a, and a stitch for that uh and i've got fabric for it um and i've also um <laughs> I've also purchased a mystery box of fabric um, for next month's banner um, because I thought that would be a fun way to do it, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how I go. Um... Deathwing Spine is doing my head in, I think it's time to get DBM! Deathwing Spine is really easy and you can do it with the standard stuff because it does alert you, it comes up and says Deathwing can feel. So if you kind of one, two, one, two, like over the middle line and then just kind of sit there for a second and then go to the next one, he'll never roll. You've just got to keep moving. Which is tricky on some classes because they're casters and stuff like that, but the mobs are low level enough that you should be able to one-shot most of them. Depending on your level, of course. Ah, uh, flew to Melbourne for a weekend of partying with the guild. Very good time. Was that by all? Yes, I know, right? Back before we were all terrified of like meeting people online and shit. Um, yes, panic with a K. I like to do many things. My big to be read book pile is also calling. Yeah. I, I so I knit, I crochet, I cross stitch. Uh, I got a coloring book for Christmas that I'm so happy about. Um, 
And yeah, I just like, I like doing things with my hands. I have a bunch of like, I've got a whole big ass thick book of, um, of paper, like paper for paper crafts. I have an enormous box of jewelry making supplies, just all of this stuff. And it's this it's getting a bit much. It's getting a bit much. I need to get rid of some stuff and bite the bullet and realize that I don't have time to craft all this shit and I need to find homes for it where people will actually use it. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. That idea would be cool. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Like have like, you know, January 2022 and then have like tier three sub names and then tier two and then tier one and gifts and then down the bottom like plus X gifted subs. And like little, you know, the gift box, like dupes badge, the dupes red badge there for, for gifting subs. Like one of those next to people's names if they'd gifted a bunch of subs and stuff. Like, I think that'd be really cool. But, um, I don't know. We'll just, we'll see. We'll see. I'm really excited about it and I want to do it. But, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll get around to it. But I'm going to do my best because I think it'd be a really beautiful idea. <clears throat> Ah, uh, pain in the ass to find balance getting stacks to blow off the plates without just destroying everything while running back and forth forever. Yeah. Thanks, Mine and Priest with the Nightmare. Oh, I can imagine. Recommend class for that fight. Uh, you can do it with anything. It's just a little bit tricksy. A bit tricksy. Debt, I uh, hello, Welsh Grandpa. Welcome to chat. My wife cross stitches. Oh, lovely. Lovely. When we go to Melbourne at one point being like, hey, I don't don't I have guildies down here? So six of us all had dinner together and the Melbournians had never met up. Aw, that's lovely. Uh, really, it's more about timing and being as mobile as possible. Yeah, for sure. And stuff dies really quickly. So even a white hit from like a mage will still like knock th some things on its ass, you know? Just have to be careful not to kill the big thing. So that it can soak up the puddles. So that it can blow the um the plate off and stuff. Greetings, Excuse me. Are you doing okay there, Bruto? Like what are you what are you doing? Alright, durability has stopped flashing at me. Onward. I wonder how much stuff I actually need from Dragon Soul. I feel like I've got a lot of it because I did so many fucking runs for the mount. I have a spreadsheet for that. One moment, please. Cataclysm. <clears throat> Dragon Soul. 67.88%. Across all 12 classes. It's not too bad. <laughs> Most of the raids are fairly decent just because I run them a lot. <laughs> Mm, might try again. The mount is my last dragon! <gasps> That's amazing, Lissidu. Well done. Does fear spreadsheet. Fuck knows she does. Fuck knows she does. Hmm. I spent a lot of time there trying to get the cloth set. Took so long as a couple pieces refused to drop. Yeah, so fear's got, um... Uh... Fuck, where'd it go? Uh, 82.64%, which still isn't too bad at all. Um, it's going to be a little while before she's my lowest on the list, I think. <clears throat> I'm just really sad that Pit of Sauron is my lowest and it hasn't dropped anything for like so many runs. But... I was also running through all three of those connected dungeons at once to try to make it flow a little better. If you're curious about the spreadsheet that I'm talking about right now, you can also type in exclamation AT dart. A-T-D-A-R-T stands for all the dungeon and raid things. 
Um, it's it's not like an extract from from all the things. It's literally I, I hand typed that in and uh, hard coded all of the percentages and stuff. And then Jack helped me with some pieces that pull out my lowest percentages from certain columns and stuff. Um, so I could know what to target to, to make the biggest impact on my percentage score. So yeah, if, if you're curious, it's one hell of a fucking spreadsheet. One hell of a spreadsheet. And if you like it, you can actually make a copy because it's a Google Sheet. So you can just make a copy, change out your names and put in your own data. Um, and it'll track it just the same for you. Which is amazing. I love that I can share that shit with you. Too powerful to attack head on. Restalan is most familiar with this area. Anaria I believe he has a plan. The dead speak to those who live. <clears throat> That's because spreadsheets. How epic was that TikTok? Yes! Amazing! So fucking good. So fucking good. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to like buy it off her to make small because again with the the badge things that i have i know that i know that she weaves but i can do the same thing with fucking cross stitching and i could cross stitch tartan and make buttons and that would be amazing and fun <laughs> that's just yeah she's she's amazing love that so good Give some more of the full boom stuff. I'll try to track it down, of course. You should stick it in the if if she's comfortable with you sharing publicly, feel free to stick it in the creative channel in Discord. Because I feel like more people than just me would really fucking love that shit. Honestly. sitting or lying on one of the looms. I've been putting them in there too. Aww. That's adorable. So many demons. So fucking close, look at this. 97 and a half percent. And we're in 49. This is level 49. We're gonna ding here. We're gonna ding here. It's just a matter of when. Which kill? <clears throat> In fact, if I can get this orb. Bam! Needs you to protect the hero. Level 50! of 50-50s. 30. Right. Holy fuck. 30. 30. 30. Ninety-four point two six percent completed. This one's a death knight. Out there. 30th 50, woo! 
So I started with 24 fifties and 26 baby tunes. And now I've hit 30 fifties, 20 to go. And the next one is my Alliance Dwarf Death Knight. I think this one is actually in Talon, uh, in, um, in Shadow Moon as well, because this is the one I was leveling through Legion. But I made the choice to switch because I need the garrison to get up and running sooner rather than later. Or would prefer. Hmm. You know my hydrate you just did? Nah, bubble tea doesn't count as hydration. I do have a stretch, so I'm gonna do that. Thank you, Welsh Grandpa. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> That's a water bottle empty. Fantastic. Uh, there we go. Is there a reason some people have their alt start the garrison? I thought most things there are transmogs and achieves now. Gold. Tasty, delicious gold. The garrison's still actually quite decent for, for gold making. It's like the more, especially the, like the more you have, because it's minimal input every day. Like you log in, you do a daily cooldown, you log off, that's it. Um, and then once a week do like a reset of all the buildings and stuff and you can make a decent amount of gold. But also, WAD is the fastest um, leveling expansion. I'm stream captain for facility. That a fun game. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll take it. So when you claim the cash is blowing the garrison, it also gives you money? No. Uh, also curious how replacing buildings give gold. Also, no, 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 you don't replace buildings. Um, so you have buildings that you feed resources into and they spit out other resources and then you use those resources to craft. The garrison cache does nothing for gold unless you're grabbing the, the garrison resources and then spending them at the trader at the trading post and then using those resources that you've purchased to then go and make other shit. Um, if you do exclamation garrisons, I think, um, either garrison or garrisons, I can never remember whether it's plural or singular, um, you'll get Drizzling Rose's Garrison Gold Making Guide. Okay. So, uh, let's try that again. <clears throat> Mm. Made after a thousand golden repairs, but no mount. Oh dear. Yeah, you do need to be 30 now to open up the herb garden. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I've only ever done it on maximum level tunes anyway. Um, but yeah, having you can still buy the herbs off the auction house. Uh, as long as you're spending, like, so 
one herb, once you go through the whole thing, one herb makes one card. Because of the amount of the amount of pigment that one like the amount of pigment you get from five herbs, the amount of war paints you get from that amount of pigment, the amount of cards you can make with that. Like if you follow the pathway through, on average, you're getting one card per one herb, right? So the cards flip for an average. I think it's four gold seventy-five silver. So if you're paying one gold per herb, you're making three gold seventy-five silver profit per herb. And then if you have to buy two gold per herb, then you're making two gold 75 silver profit on average, etc. So, so you can buy them if you want to. Uh, it'll just eat into profits a little bit. But it will also take you a fuckload less time. Because actually going through and herbing 50 fucking herb gardens every day it takes literally hours. It, like, it actually takes hours. Just, like, move, click, wait for Caspar. Move, click, wait for Caspar. Move, click, wait for Caspar. It takes time. So it's a decision on whether you want to spend the gold, the money, or spend the time. Um, but yeah, you can you can do either. Um, of course, that's going to depend on your server as well. Some servers don't have a lot of herbs for sale, and so you don't really have much of a fucking choice. Uh, but that's, um, it, yeah, you just have to check that on your server. In the spreadsheet, the first of the three is that you have second is total and third is percentage, right? Yes! I was, for a second there, I was like, what? Yes, <laughs> you you are correct. Um, so yeah, the in you've got the, the name up the top and then you've got, yeah, it's the first one isn't the amount I have out of, so it's like 15 out of 20 for a 75% completion. Yeah. You are welcome here. Sorry, it took my brain entirely too long to figure out what the fuck you were saying. <laughs> but I got there. I got there. <clears throat> uh, I just put some in my guild bank, then change it to short, just take the herbs out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I do up my stuff once a week. Every Wednesday, I do it's garrison reset day. Uh, and so I her I, I mill a shitload, like for example, on my um on Alliance side, because I have seven characters who are using their daily cooldowns and their um in their, their scribe hearts, 992 pigment for the week. And every single tune takes out 142 pigment. And that's 72 for their hut to max it out to, to fill it up, and 70 for the seven daily cooldowns because it's 10 per day that they use. So they take out 142, they stick it in their reagent bank so that every day I log in, do my daily cooldown, log out. Log in, cooldown, log out. Log in, cooldown, log out. Uh, and then on the Wednesday, I go and collect everything, grab my 142 pigment, and do it again. But yeah, so on one character, I go through and I mill everything and make sure I've got enough for everyone. And then all I do on my tunes on the Wednesday is go and pull out everything, drop everything in the guild bank and their personal reagent bank, grab out from the guild bank the stuff that they need for the whole damn week, and stick that in their reagent bank, and then move along. And then fill up their buildings and then log off. So yeah, Wednesday's a little bit longer. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, there's a typo in there as well, so it didn't help. Let's have herbalism description. No, they don't have herbalism. You don't need herbalism to herb your garden at the garrison. Um, here. That is Drizzling Rose's Miro board. That is her guide for garrison gold making. Um, you're going to get a hell of a lot more useful information by reading through that and like following the um, the, the flowchart than asking individual little pieces of, of information because um, the assumptions, I guarantee most of the assumptions will be wrong and it will have to go through correcting a whole bunch of information rather than you just getting all the correct information at once. It's a big thing, it's a big spreadsheet, but like follow the flowchart and you'll be just fine. Like it's it's a lot to read, but it's also like, it make, it's because Rose gives so much information. Um, like any question you could possibly have she has the answers in the spreadsheet rather than leaving you to assume anything or to figure anything out for yourself. It's all spoon fed, uh, which is really good. Yeah. Uh, check it out. No worries. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it's, um, that's how I got my Brutusaur. Um, back when, back before it was on the black market auction house, uh, bought it from the vendor for 5 million gold. 
Uh, and that was a... I did that on stream too, it was a fucking good feeling. I was sitting on like, four point something million. It, I was like super, I think I was like 4.95 million. And we were doing an archaeology stream because I was trying to get the archaeology mount. And we were sitting there and I'm like, huh, I've got mail. It's from the auction house. And they're like, oh my god, you're so close, you should check the mail. You're so close to 5 million, you need to check the mail. And I'm like, okay. So I, so someone came in and dropped a, uh, uh, um, engineering mailbox and I opened it up and someone had bought one of my BOE belts from HFC for 50k. And I'm like, oh look, I got a really big sale, that's awesome! And then it hit me. And I'm like, hang on, 50k? That means I'm over 5 mil. And so I looted the mail and I'm like, oh my god, my, my, it was said 5 million, 100, 5 million, 1,600 gold. And I was like, holy fucking Jesus. And so I went down and I fucking bought it on stream and everyone went batshit. And, um, and I'm like, oh, this hurts. I've only got a thousand gold now. <laughs> um, but fears back up to, um, uh, two point something. I think she's up to 2.3 million. I've been much more chill with it and I've been spending a lot more money. I have a lot more gold on shit off the auction house and stuff since I bought the, since I bought the Bruto. Cause I know I can make it back now. I used to be really goddamn tight with my, with my in-game gold. Not spend on anything unless I absolutely needed to. Um, but now that I realize I've earned 5 million fucking gold, I can do it again. Um, so I'm okay with spending it because I know I'll come, I'll, I can just make it back. So that's nice. <clears throat> Maybe I'll even buy those TCG mounts off the AH for fucking 10 million one day. <laughs> Might as well, right? Make it to 48. I'm at 62% of the way through 47. I might make it to 48 today. It's but we'll see. We'll see. 250s though. I'm so happy with that. Two tunes, two new tunes to 50. It's awesome work. That's so tasty. <clears throat> Bella I've already done half of Shadow Moon because I've done like um the unlocking the garrison and shit. Like I did the garrison leveling guide. <laughs> so I've done half of Shadow Moon already. Um, it just has to figure out what exactly I've done. But I do love that with Zygor, like, it has a guide in the most- with the most optimum route, but if you've already done bits and pieces for whatever reason, it can figure out, like, you know, it can just skip those steps and- and go to the next one.
who's excited for more transmog hunting? I am excited for more transmog hunting. I'm kind of tempted to go 12, 12 classes. But like... I feel like I should focus on my mage. I feel like I should get my mage done. Or at least really close to done before I move on. But at the same time, I'm like... There are... There are... There, there, there are fucking dungeons with less than 20% completion on there. Like, can you imagine how quickly that percentage would climb? If I... If I actually went across different classes? Like, oh, that'd be great. But, you know. Will I? Props not. Okay, next one. Uh oh. Welcome, welcome. Crixie, how are you going? Welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely day. It's waking up to some snow. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. <clears throat> Day off for the kids. Oh, amazing. I'm sure they're super happy. Super excited. So I go after watching you use it for a while and holy crack is so worth it. Oh good Ali, did you use my referral link? <laughs> I'm so glad you're enjoying it. That's wonderful news. Uh, Kay's just happy not to have school gave is like, oh yes, no day. Did get much, so it's mostly muddy wetness. Ah, oh, that's less fun. Oh well. Oh well. Hey, it's something. It's something. Okay, so those spores explode and suck. Okay, noted. Noted. You know, I, I fucking love Zygor. It's just so good. And I agree, it's absolutely worth it. For me personally, at least. I know, obviously, depending on what your budget looks like, it may or may not be worth it for you individually, but good lord, I use it so often that it absolutely is. It's just a thing. It absolutely is. Okay, let's try to not aggro that gigantic fucker again. Excuse me. Well, you had a link. Ah, yeah, exclamation Zygor. There's a referral link. I'm not sure if you can use it once you've already done the deed, but maybe, like, if it's within a certain amount of time, you can or something. I'm not sure. No, 
Sure, it's so good. Totally fine. I don't think you get anything for it. I think it just gets like if I have act like if every active user that I have using it, I get a dollar off my monthly sub. I think it is something like that. But I don't think that you get a discount or anything like that. Um, but we'll check. Have a look. Ah, uh, country's pretty big for the school system. And we got like one inch here. Other parts higher elevation, four or more. I see mostly. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. Oh, our county, right? Not country. Good. I can read. I promise. Um. <laughs> We don't really have counties in uh, in Australia, so that word always trips me out. Always, always. Um, we have like we have suburbs, but I think you guys have suburbs that are then organized into counties, which are then organized into states, which are then which is fucking bonkers, considering that you guys have fifty states in the same goddamn area that we have fucking seven. <laughs> like, it just it blows my mind. You guys are like micromanaged into like all these little individual pockets of people and stuff. It's amazing. Amazing. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that system or with our system or anything, it's just interesting as fuck. Oh, did you check your links page? Right, maybe I should stick it in there as well. Bugger. Yeah, maybe I should. Alright. I will try to remember that. Um so pretty much have counties, they're just not used anymore. We have, okay, so we have electorates, right? We have electorates, which makes, like, but we just don't use them. Except for when it's election day. <laughs> like, that's the only time we actually, it's like, fuck, which electorate am I actually in? And it says on the on the top of your ballot that it, it literally affects nothing. <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't affect nothing. It's like, you know, the suburbs in that electorate, that's how you get, like, a, an elected official for that electorate, which then blah, 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 but, like, yeah, it's, um, the only time anyone actually knows what electorate they're in is on fucking election day. <laughs> we had counties and parishes in Queensland. Jesus Christ. Interesting. We probably, yeah, we might still do, but we don't use them at all. It's so fascinating. It's crazy how different things are uh, for various countries. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Like... You know, we've all we've all arrived at some form of government, and some of them look very similar to each other. But like, fuck off, Mograine. Like, we've all ended up in the same kind of. Uh, I already have these. Well, the sale price is decent. We all ended up at some kind of thing, and some of them look very similar, but they were arrived at in completely different ways and all that kind of shit. Like, it's interesting. Interesting. Sadly, some countries' government is much more effective slash smarter than others in some ways, but every country still has its fuck-ups and its issues. Like, absolutely. But, uh, yeah. I'm not sure that, like, although definitely some systems of government are far more efficient than others. I don't think any of them are actually efficient. Just more efficient than others. <laughs> Although, you know, how do you how do you manage literally millions of people in an efficient manner? I certainly couldn't figure it out. Mm. I like the lights in the back. Thank you. They're amazing. Hey, they're nano leaf panels. They're so pretty. And they, they do things. Even people like follow or cheer or raid or sub or donate and stuff. Like all the fun things. They, they, they dance. They do things. It's great. Oh, right. 48. Um, 48. 94.38% completed, which means I'm now four days ahead 
on to my goal. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Um, and my hair is more ready, and yes, I re-dyed it a little while ago, not too long ago. I quit in the last few streams. Did you get the chance to see them? Of course. Um, the lights have been up for a few months now, quite a few months. Um, but the hair is recent, yeah. <laughs> um. So I'm kill the terms from the ground. I I'm in shit. What can I do for you? Um, I need to break my appearance, please. There we go. <clears throat> much for the cheer but yeah they go like the the different cheers they go the different colors so if it's like one bit they go gray and if it's a hundred they go purple and then there's the aqua and the red and all the cut like all the fun colors and stuff they're amazing okay how the 50s going i've got two new 50s v two of them we're up to 30 out of 50 and this baby's up to 48 i don't think i'm gonna get 50 on this tune today but like hey we've made progress I just checked, and yes, I was referred by Fiona Twitter. Oh, no way, Ellie! That is awesome! This is why I need Zygor, because I remember nothing. Also me. I, I resemble that remark. Uh, <laughs> I'm wait this morning. I usually have when I catch you. Of course. Of course, and that's totally fine. I hope you're having a great morning, being up and alert and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes being, like, awake-awake is just such a good feeling, you know? Ah, oh, dear. It reads appearing on every second ad. They really want us to choose them! Yeah, look. Oh dear. But yeah, how does the versus go on Stream Raiders? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, it's a lot faster. Um, like, it's like five minute placement times. Um, you've only got five minutes to place your units, and it can cap out at 100% really, really quickly. Um, so no one can place, and then you've got to wait for the other captain to be done. So it could take less than five minutes. Um, if if you've both got decent communities behind you and it hasn't scaled properly yet like it can go really quickly and then all of a sudden bam you have to you like you start the fight um which is why i don't tend to do verses very often because it has to be like a stream raiders focused stream when you do that um and i i like they don't give us a whole lot of notice um, usually by the time they announce when the versus battles, like when the versus dates are going to be, I've already done my st stream schedule for the month, so I don't tend to participate super duper often. But I have been playing around with the idea of maybe putting like stream readers here, um, or like smaller in the corner, so that even if we're doing five minute placement times, you can still, like, you can watch it, but I can still play WoW, well, and so I can still stream in the WoW category and stuff, um, but I'm, I have to have a play around with it still. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, versus is a lot of fun. Even when you're losing constantly, it's not that big a deal because all the stuff that you can get from versus, you can st you still get it even when you're losing. You get the tickets, the entries into the um, into the giveaways and all that kind of stuff, regardless of whether you win or lose. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, I think the biggest part of it is networking with other streamers as well, though. Like, you see a name pop up and people will go and check their stream out and say hi and, and wish them well and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you get a bit of crossover, a bit of, uh, a bit of that happening, but, yeah, it's interesting. I uh, saw so they're doing an event on Sunday. Ah, yes. We could probably jump in on that. <clears throat> if I can figure out how to set it up so that I can still do transmog farming while we're doing that, I can probably, um, set us up to, to join in versus if that's what people would like to see. Totally do that. I just want, like, one. There we go. I don't want to pull, like, seven goddamn things just for one goddamn robe. A bit of reason, because Lord never done versus, I'll probably lose. Yeah, of course. So it scales to your community size. There are definitely strategies that people use um, that I don't care. I'm just like, yeah, place whatever you want, wherever you want. Like, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, 
so yeah, and then so when you start, it'll put you up against other people who uh, it thinks you have similar community size to. Um, and the first few battles that you do, it will like only like five percent of your community will be able to place because it thinks you're teeny tiny. But then it'll go, oh, you filled up really quickly, so we're gonna we're gonna bump you up a class to larger streamers. And then when you fill up quickly again, they bump you up a, a level. Like it, it adjusts to your to your size and also like whether or not you're winning and losing and stuff like that. Um, it, it kind of there's brackets if that makes sense. So yeah, it it does. It's not entirely intelligent, but it does have a little bit of that going on. You should make hands of green just so I can try that out. Awesome. Sounds good. It doesn't take too long. It usually only takes a couple of hours for you to get the maximum number of tickets. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're wanting to do like a longer stream, um, you might need to queue. Like if you wanna if you wanna do a longer stream, you might have to keep going with verses after you've got the maximum number of tickets. Um, or ca have like a backup plan in your back pocket so that once you've got all your tickets, you can transition back to campaign missions like campaign battles and play something else uh that kind of stuff hey a boot how you going that's cool thanks for the info you're very welcome not a worry at all oh a stretch <clears throat> nope just streaming for the tickets and things Can I have idea how it goes of course absolutely well yeah then in that case bank for just a couple of hours it shouldn't take too, too long. Keeping in mind, so it's like a five minute placement period, plus there's a searching for a battle, plus there's the actual battle playing out. So it usually ends up being like seven to eight minutes per, um, per battle. And you get a couple tickets per battle. Um, so, yeah. Plus however many tickets it ends up being. I think it's usually it's like 50. You can earn a maximum of 50 tickets. And then, yeah, so it, it kind of, yeah. Sad looking for a soundbite command. So hard to choose. Oh, look, I, I am I'm infinitely quotable, aren't I, V? Infinitely quotable. So good luck with uh, with finding something. Mmm, <laughs> infinitely. Northeast. Carnivorous squirrels. Oh, it's an offhand. Fuck. I thought it might have been a um uh garrison resources thing. Oh whale. Because this is one of the tunes that this I've only got two characters, one horde, one alliance that don't have a level three garrison. And this is one of them. It's because they started leveling in Legion. So I was hoping to get a few extra resources so I could um, maybe finish off the, uh, what's it, early. But potentially note. I know I have the cage over there, but I'm waiting till it's full, because um, then I can grab all of them, like go through all my alts and collect them all at once. <clears throat> I uh, look, it's organized chaos. Just say the word, Commander. We'll get it done. Except building for provisions, my I can't. Are standing ready. That doesn't exist. Ah, uh, squirrels. Yep. Favorite look is already taken. Ah, uh, good night, Seeker. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It has been a pleasure. Okay. <clears throat> the 
Oh, fuck. He's Vindicator Maraud. There he is. Where do we stand? Oof. We are dropping quickly. I'm gonna ship my PC back. I'm pretty bummed on a faulty motherboard. Oh no! Wait. Why won't they just get you to ship the motherboard back? Um, holding onto your PC until you've got a functional new one that's all set up is definitely a good thing. Are the bad guys snowmen? Some of them, yeah. Some of them. Um, it is the snowfall event. That's um That's unfortunate. I can imagine you're not happy. At least it's failing before warranty is over. Yeah. Absolutely. But like you'd like to think that they'd test it before they shipped it out, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, um Artesian builds. They they do full on like they build it on stream, firstly, which is super cool. But then they uh they do they run tests on it. They run burn-in tests and stuff to to make sure <laughs> That everything's functioning before they ship it out, because it, you know, I imagine it costs them a hell of a lot less as well. I just that's really interesting. Hmm. I'm sorry, Crixie. That really sucks. Yeah. When when I upgrade this baby, um, uh, built with tested components, not tested once, fully built, stick on the back. I notice now. Yeah, that's. Come on now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how this shit works. You know that. Like, surely working in IT, they should know that just because they work individually doesn't mean they'll work together. That's a bit silly. Are you winning feet? Always, Barry, especially when you're around. How are you, lovely? How are you doing? But no, I've got, um, in World of Warcraft, obviously, um, two new level 50 tunes today. And this is the third one that I'm leveling, so it's very nice. Very nice. Alex for chat, indeed. My bad. Thanks. Cyberpower. Noted. Cyberpower. Understood. <laughs> uh, depending on the company, what it might be is that they'll be checking everything, have a nice moment at the company that supplied the PC. <laughs> GG, indeed. Smooth confirmed. <laughs> I'm having a I'm having a really good night tonight. It's just it's nice and chill and yeah, I'm I'm happy. Yep, shit customer service I see now too. Ugh, it's a big avoid for the future. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd be going and popping up some um some reviews and stuff. Because I guarantee people who they have who they don't get any negative feedback from, they'll send them an automated email asking for feedback. But because you've had to return yours, they're not gonna ask. Just farmers. We don't even have weapons. So yeah, I'd uh, I'd be posting some reviews in some places. But maybe wait until the whole thing is done with. Cause like you know, um, Obviously, this bit's been shit, but when you get it back to them, once it gets back to them, they might have like a super quick turnaround time and then have it back out to you and they cover shipping back and forth and all that kind of stuff. So those kind of things are positives. 
But also, it might take them four fucking months to figure out the shit, and they might demand, like, they might not cover your return shipping, and they might make you pay shipping again to send it back out, and all of that is really useful information to include in a review anyway. So wait until you're done and dusted with them, and then leave a comprehensive review everywhere. Positives and negatives, things you liked about dealing with them, things you didn't like. Here they come. Um, just to help other people make their decisions, hey? Because, like... That's the thing, isn't it? I'm watching Artesian builds on here, aren't they? Or, like, it's just so cool watching them put stuff together. Once I have the money together to, to actually upgrade my PC, I'm 100% going through them. I am also an affiliate, though, so, like, take that as you will. Um... This way. I remember but watch it, like, I, I've built all my PCs. Like, I'm, I'm used to building my own PC, so letting someone else build it feels weird. But... It'll also mean that they'll be able to give me a whole lot of advice on what to put in it, and they'll be able to do a beautiful case and all this, you know? So it's just... There are some, there are some definite benefits. There are some definite benefits. All I'm looking for is a little patch of green where the future never comes. Aww. Um, thanks for being live, recovering my booster vaccination, needs some distraction! Hope you're doing well, I am EXO, and thank- thank you so much for being here. I hope you're feeling better real soon. Thank you for getting your booster, and congratulations on your extra stack of COVID resist buff. We are I and all the other vulnerable population appreciate you greatly. Uh, so it'd be about three weeks, but if they can't recreate the issue, I got a pay shipping back, so big grey blob holding overhead on that, yeah. Look, I mean, if you've done, if, you, if you've kind of given them step by step, this is what I do and this is what happens, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to reproduce it. Especially, like, it's not like you're plugging any, I, I'm assuming you've gone through and unplugged everything and do, done, you know, all that, all that kind of troubleshoot testing that, that usually goes along with shit. Um, so you know it's not some external thing that's causing it, it's, it's the PC. Um, but yeah, like, I feel like the, um, the, if we can't recreate it kind of deal is just to kind of, you know, people who kind of stick things in and go, ah, it's not working. That'll kind of scare them off from, like, that'll make sure that, that it makes sure that they're not wasting their time with shit that's silly, like, you know, maybe try unplugging the peripherals sort of thing. Um, but I'm, I'm sure that you will have done as much testing as you can possibly do and it's just not working for you in which case they should be able to recreate it that kind of stuff is just there to yeah scare off the people who can't be fucked putting the effort in <clears throat> i think i might be going with this and that far from me but i didn't know if any issues contact them so i can have it driven up instead of posting if i have any issues oh nice yeah just double check they allow you to do that because a lot of places won't actually let you come in um for multiple reasons but that's really cool if they do allow you to do that. that's wonderful uh just made some mushroom risotto ah oh, yum boot that's deli i fucking love mushroom risotto it's probably one of my favorite types of risotto honestly just two very sore arms oh i can imagine i can imagine xo I'm gonna try and cure for boost next week at gp try your luck absolutely absolutely i am apparently eligible for mine like in just a couple weeks but I have to talk to my doctor because my my medical condition has changed since I like my my medical status has changed um, since I got my original vaccines. So I want to make sure that it's still safe for me to get a booster. Um, because you know, I mean, certainly can't get COVID if I'm dead. <laughs> like, I also don't want to add to the fucking statistics of vaccines causing issues, you know, especially if it's a known issue that could have been avoided. Like, that's just silly and it'll scare other people off a potentially perfectly safe for them vaccine. Uh, I missed it. Which place would you get your next PC from? I'm trying to play well. What stream monitor still still lots of old Of course. Um, if you scroll down on the channel, um, on the, on the Twitch page, there's a big red panel, um, that says $200 plus a bunch of other stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm an affiliate with a company called Artesian Builds, what is going on here? um, the entire and they do custom PC builds over in the US with beautiful cases and internal lighting and all that gorgeous shit, uh, all the stuff that doesn't do anything but looks really pretty, um, and if you use my affiliate link, 
slash code. Excuse me. Uh, you can get up to two hundred dollars off your, and it's all in US. So up to two hundred US dollars off your build. Um, and of course, I get a, a small percentage of commission as well, which is nice. Um, but yeah, that's who I will be using for my next build. Um, and if and when I get that done, that's not if. When I get that done, uh, I'll be keeping this PC. Not, not just until I'm sure that the Artesian build works properly, like I will be keeping it um, because it will allow me to have a My stream capable so lounge room computer, Good fortune. which opens up my options of what the fuck I would like to do with my stream. Which would be very cool, but we'll see. That's, it's still gonna be a while off because, you know, still need to fucking pay for my dentistry. <laughs> That's, you know, Gotta get that done first. Health comes before shiny new PC. Um, but yeah, it'll be artesian builds. Uh, sound card is built in. Tried four different sets of speakers. All of them are buzzing, clicking now. Was it originally an issue? Completely freezes up and be sold every day now. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that's not good at all. Uh, I've torn it down three times now. Moves graphics card to the other slot. That helped be sold for a bit. Move card back to the other slot. Be sold three times since yesterday. Yeah. Something is not quite right. Uh, medical status has changed. Yep. What did I miss? Oh no, I'm everything's fine. It's just that there are some changes in my stuff that is personal, that is not, um, yeah, that I'm not sure whether or not I'm okay to have the booster. Um, beyond that, I'm not comfortable talking about it. Thank you for respecting my wishes. But yeah, that's all. 200 nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Sweet, that's really cool. Agreed. Uh, do you touch your eyebrows much? I find I consciously touch my eyebrows a lot. All colouring goes so e sometimes. Um, I don't touch them unnecessarily, but my eyebrows do occasionally get itchy. Not because of the products I'm using. They get itchy on days when I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Um, they get they get itchy on days I'm not wearing any skincare at all or anything like that. So it's completely it's just it's just a random face itch. You know, you get phantom itches and stuff. Um, and when I do get that, I tend to scratch as though I were applying brow product, like very, very lightly and in the direction of my hairs, if that makes sense. <laughs> and I don't, it doesn't tend to rub the shit off that way. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But I also have pointers, like my nails are, are long and pointy. Um, so my, the pads of my, like my skin, the skin of my fingers does not touch my brows at all. It is just, and now that I've done it, they're itchy. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But, but shiny, I know, I want a shiny, but I can't afford to have a shiny just yet. But that's okay. Uff, what's on your mic? Oh, this? I'm like, can you see my microphone? It should be out of frame of the camera because I've got my, my boom. I moved my boom mic because it was over here, which meant that every time, so if I have it here, every time I leaned in, can you see, like the key light, it would create a shadow on my face because of the microphone in front of the key light. So I've moved it up above me now. Um, so I thought maybe you could see it on the cap, but I, then I realized you're talking about this. That is a mic cover. Um, Logitech sell mic covers. Um, and they're little foam things that go over the boom arm microphone for the headsets. They, I think it pretty much, I pretty much works it. Uh, let's try that again. I'm pretty sure it works. With, ah, compatible with 6 to 13 si millimeter size mics. Compatible with G233, G433, G533, G633S, G933S, G635, G733, which is what I've got here, G935, and Pro. So it's, it's uh, it, yeah, all of them. And they are Adora Bubble. Um, yeah, they're super cute. But yeah, they, they go over the top. Um, they're fun, firstly. But they also kind of act like a bit of a pop filter. Uh, which is nice. Which is nice. I also have a set that they sent me. I don't think that... I'm pretty sure they don't sell these. But I got these in July of last year. Because I'm an affiliate and stuff. And um, they were Christmas in July themed. And they were fucking adorable. So yeah, and I have a redemption that pops up. It, it's available once per stream, so that once you've redeemed it, no one can break it until next stream. 
Um, but yeah, there's a, a redemption for channel points um, and it's called, I think it's just called mic cover um, or micro, uh, Logitech G microphone cover, something like that. So, and you've got the options in there and you can pick one out of the 10 that I have uh, and I will stick it on the arm for the rest of stream. Yeah, it's super cute. It doesn't work with the, the new headset. The, um, the new headset doesn't work because it doesn't have a boom arm microphone. The microphone's embedded in the, in the cup. Um, so it doesn't work the same, but I, cause I started, uh, I started stream wearing this one, um, and, uh, it's a G435s. Uh, so I started with these and then I got the redemption. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. So I switched headsets so I could do the redemption. <laughs> um, I was just worried. No, of course. Just want to stand privacy. And that's why I said I appreciate it. Cause I knew you would. I knew you would. Got my PC from a website called Game PC Dutch one work flawlessly. Oh, awesome, Exo! That's wonderful news. Love that for you. Yes, it does. Don't get me started on dentists. All four of my wisdom teeth haven't come out properly slash at all. Have to go to the hospital or something. Haven't taken out when I started hurting. Don't want to, but I got it. Yeah, you do. You absolutely do because it just it destroys you. Like honestly, wisdom teeth can fuck all sorts of shit up. All sorts of shit. I don't have any wisdom teeth on the bottom. I do have them on the top, but one of them I had a root canal that needed removing, uh, that needed, that it was a root canal, but the roots were curved and they don't make curved drills for what I assume are obvious reasons. So, so I had to get it taken out. I had to get the tooth pulled. Uh, and then my wisdom tooth grew in to replace it. So I only have one that's left in, in, up in the thing. And I've had that many fucking x-rays and CT scans of my jaw lately that if it were, go if it were going to cause issues, if it was starting to cause issues, they would have goddamn seen it. So much. So I'm just really thankful. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, my dentistry stuff is entirely unrelated to, to wisdom teeth stuff. Um, it's 23,000 Australian dollars. Um, I've paid a chunk of that already um, because I've had a bunch of procedures already. Uh, but I have down the bottom, I had a tooth that had five or six or something, I can't remember exactly, a bunch of failed root canals um, because I got a root canal done, but I couldn't afford to get a crown put on it. And because of some genetic issues and then medication issues, working with those genetic issues oh, and a whole yeah. bunch of other stuff that all just worked together to create a perfect shitstorm, uh, it failed. And so I got it redone and then it failed again and I got it redone and it failed again and I got it redone. But the problem is every time you get a new filling put into the same tooth, they have to file away a bit of the tooth to prepare, like to prep the surface to adhere to the, like, so that the filling actually sticks, right? Um, so every time I had to get it redone, they took a bit more natural tooth away. And it got to the point where there was not enough natural tooth left for the filling to stick. So the tooth had to go. Uh, otherwise it was going to get infected. It was already slightly infected, but the infection would grow. And then there's a chance that it can get into the jawbone. There's a chance that it can get into your brain. There's a whole bunch of shit fucked up things that infected teeth can do. Um, so they pulled it. But because it was below the gum line, it was a complex extraction. So I had to get it done at hospital in, in surgery, like with a dental surgeon, not just a dentist, but an actual surgeon. So I had to pay the surgeon. I had to pay an anaesthetist to knock me out. I had to pay the hospital fees, um, you know, to actually use the, the, the fucking theater and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that was all very expensive, um, but it was also not just a tooth removal, but a bone graft. Um, so I've, I have a bone graft that's currently healing inside my jaw, growing and healing and sticking and, and hopefully attaching itself to my face. Um, so that was step one. I have a second surgery coming up. I don't know what date it is yet. I will let you know because it'll be a day off on my streaming schedule. <laughs> Several days off, in fact. I took two days off stream for the first surgery. Um, I will probably take another two days off for this one. Maybe three streams. Because even, like, my first stream back after the two streams off, I was pretty fucking rough. And it ended up being, I think, like a two or three hour stream. But I mean, hey, it was still, I st at least I still did something. I showed the fuck up, you know? Um... So the second surgery is for them. So I need to go back to my surgeon and they're going to do a bunch of CT scans and stuff and find out if the bone graft has healed enough to support an implant. And then the second surgery that they'll book in once they're happy is to put in the implant. Um, cut open my face again. 
drill a hole into the bone graft that they put in and uh, and stick in a hunk of pla uh, not platinum titanium stick in a hunk of titanium um, and then another four months to heal from that surgery um, and then they'll do what's called a talk test um, talk as in T O R Q U E not talk as in na 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 uh, <laughs> Uh, they so they do a talk test to make sure that the titanium has healed solidly in in my bone in my jaw, uh, and then once that once they've confirmed that they'll screw the implant they'll screw screw a post into the implant, and then I go back to my original my my dentist dentist, and they're gonna put a crown on that post, and that's one part of it, that's like half the twenty three k. The second bit um, is a tooth up the top. Which uh, was a failed root canal. Uh, I had only, I think I only got one root canal done to that one though, but it's failed, so they're redoing it. Um, so it's halfway done. They they took out the old stuff and they packed it full of like antibacterial because there was a tiny bit of what they thought might have been an infection, but they weren't sure. So just to be safe, they packed it and um, and so I've got a temporary filling in that tooth at the moment. Uh, and my next appointment with them is in March. Next appointment with the surgeons in February. Next appointment with the uh, endodontist is in March, uh, and they're going to take out the temporary filling, clean everything out, and redo the root canal and put permanent filling in. And then I go back to my regular dentist and get a crown put on it. Yep. <laughs> because like, fuck, I'm going through this shit again. However, however, when this root canal failed, a piece of tooth, a piece of natural tooth broke off the side of the tooth. When that happened, the tooth next to it, so you have like two teeth, and a bit broke off, and this tooth grew into the gap. So there's not enough space to put a fucking crown on it. They have to straighten up that tooth. How do you straighten teeth? I have to get Invisalign. You cannot do Invisalign for one tooth. Or four teeth. Or ten teeth. You have to get a full tray. And you cannot just get a full top tray. Because then it adjusts the teeth on the top row and they won't line up with the teeth on the bottom row. So you need a full two trays. That costs four fucking grand. <laughs> For one goddamn tooth! So I have to get Invisalign. Um, for a couple of months, they reckon. It, they said it shouldn't take any longer than three, but it'll probably be faster than that. Um, and so that's that's four grand. So yeah, two crowns, two rounds of surgery, an implant, bone graft, a root canal, and Invisalign. However, at the end of all of this shit, the thing is with the Invisalign, how I have to get two full trays, there are some exceptionally minor cosmetic issues with my teeth in terms of alignment. Most of my teeth, they're pretty fucking good. I've got pretty fucking straight teeth, which is why I've never had to have Invisalign or braces or anything like that. And I'm very great. My teeth are shit, but they're fucking straight. And that's, that. I'm pretty happy with that. However, there are a couple, just a couple of teeth where it's like, instead of perfectly straight like this, it's like this. Just little tiny little imperfections. But, if I have to get full trays of Invisalign anyway, I might as well fix up the tiny things, right? I'm paying for it, why the fuck not? It's not gonna affect the price if I try to put more corrections in there, as no matter how small. So, we're gonna get everything perfectly aligned. And, you can put whitening gel in Invisalign trays. So, after I drop this 23,000 smackaroos, I am going to have a perfect, gleamingly white, exceptionally aligned influencer smile, and I will not be scared to smile with my teeth. I will not be ashamed of, of smiling with my teeth because of how fucking yellow they are. So that is the silver lining to all of this crap, and that is what I am focusing on. <laughs> and I am so looking forward to having it done. 
Um, it will be finished somewhere, we're expecting, somewhere between August and October this year. Because we don't know exactly what rate my bones are going to heal at. Um, we don't know exactly how long it'll take the Invisalign to adjust my teeth. Like, we just don't know. It could be quick. It could be super fast. It could be not. So we're not totally sure on exactly when it'll be done done. Um, but it's, it's going to happen. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. So looking forward to it. Uh, anyway, need to break the scratching. My eyebrows have been getting a haircut next week. Going super short for the first time in two years. Ah, nervous but excited. I have a hairdresser appointment next week. Because of the world situation, it will be my first haircut in two years. <laughs> in two fucking years. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I hope it doesn't turn out shit. Ah, oh, I was sure the other day and I have it a while loving it. Yay! Amazing! Alright, I'm gonna have to catch up because I'm like 11 minutes behind on chat right now because of the rant. So I'm gonna do that. Do it. Do you think you like leading for so much worse than Phil or whatever your previous max pain level was? Yep, agreed. Ah, uh, makes me feel better. Good! I'm trying to think if it's shit. I can just grow it back! Exactly! Hair grows back. It's fine. It's fine. Too cool, take care of your teeth. Yes! Infections are no joke. Agreed. Most of tooth is 60% inside my jaw, so I have to go to an oral surgeon. Yeah. Yep. Uh, daughter only has top wisdom teeth currently as we're evolving. Some people are not getting any at all. Uh, not getting all or even any. Yeah, so my mum has all four. Had all four. My dad has zero. So, genetically speaking, I have two. <laughs> I love when shit actually lines up like that, hey. Uh, I leave them in now if they don't cause issues. Correct. Yep. As long as they don't cause issues, they just leave them where they are. Because why the fuck would you... Why, why would you have invasive surgery with all the risks associated with that if it's not causing any problems? 100%. I've had seven teeth out. Oh, I need pool work. But like you, I'm dealing with factors that make it hard to engage with. Yeah, um, I highly recommend... This is going to be fucking blunt, and I don't mean it to be insulting or offensive or anything like that, but I highly recommend getting the fuck over it. G seriously, like, do whatever you need to do to get over the issue, like, to figure out those issues and get through them, because holy fucking shit. Having that tooth taken out and having this one, like, redone, already I'm noticing a difference in my health. Already. And I it's not even fucking finished yet. I cannot imagine what it's going to be like when I have an actual functional smile. Like, holy fuck. It's going to be unbelievable. Do what you gotta do. Like, do what you gotta do. Uh, I think you must be sick of dentists after all this trouble with your teeth. Look, a little bit. A little bit, but my dentist is amazing. She's the first one I've actually felt comfortable with. Um, she gives me gas. It's nice. <laughs> uh, I didn't need a bone graft. Had a tooth that broke at the gum line after it was filled when it should have been pulled. No dentist would deal with it until I ended up with an abscess. Yeah, that's not, that's not cool. If they weren't willing to deal with it, they should have given you a referral to someone who was more like this. And this is like when I was talking about extraction down here, she very literally said, I am not experienced with these kinds of extractions, so I am going to refer you to an oral surgeon. I've sent many of my patients here and I've always had really good feedback, so that's what we're going to do. And she did. And it's been fantastic. He's been genuinely wonderful. Um, but yeah, they, they absolutely should have fucking referred you to someone who was willing to deal with it or had more experience with the fucked up shit, you know? I had all my upper teeth removed, had a prosthesis made, so I know all about dentists fun. Yes, bedtime for me. Enjoy, Ali. Rest well. Oh, and an ad. Yeah, that happens. Ah, uh, dentist stuff. Yeah, good night, everyone. No worries, Dory. Rest well. Rest well. Sounds like you need a money growing tree. Um, yeah. Yeah. Basically, I have a, I have a day job. I have a part-time day job, and that covers all of my bills, my rent, my necessities, meds, food, etc., etc. Uh, and Twitch was my fun money, my spending money. If I needed new clothes, Twitch. If I wanted a new game, Twitch. If I wanted to go home and visit my family, Twitch. If I wanted takeout, Twitch. Um, and so instead, all that money is going to my dentist fund. Everything I earn from Twitch, everything I earn from my affiliate program, so Artesian Builds, uh, Stream Raiders, uh, Bubble Tea Club, Yes Style, fucking Mellow Cosmetics is a new one, makeup company from Australia. Um, all of this shit, Humble Bundle, everything, all of that cash, all that affiliate money is going in my dental fund. There are occasional times where I'm like, I need to not cook today, and Jazz needs to not cook today, and so we go halvesies on some takeout, um, but it's not often. And uh, that's, yeah, so that's, um, that's what you, like, that's what your sub is paying for. 
your sub is paying for a, a grain of bone graft material, literally. <laughs> it's, that's that's how I'm that's how I'm running it because I have to. Um, I do have the option of getting uh, loans for parts of it. I do have options of like um, like I th I'm pretty sure they're interest free loans for like medical loans, but I would prefer not to. Obviously, I have to, if I have to, I have to, and I'll fucking take it. Um, but I'm doing my best to save up as much as I possibly can. The other benefit is that I'm able to pay for the procedures as they happen, and I can't have them all done at once. So I'm saving up and then paying out a little bit, and then saving up and then paying I'm out a little bit. And ah! Oh my god! Rat Pack, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Oh, it was V! V with a gifted sub! Shit. I really, like, it frustrates me how the thing jigs work. Thank you so much, V, for the gifted sub. Very generous of you. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, where are we? Hell yeah, go hard, get it done. Fuck yeah, 23k though. Yuck. Agreed! Agreed. 23k is a fuckload of money. I've never seen that much money, let alone had it. And I won't. <laughs> because I will. it will be spent as it, as, as it is earned. Uh, speaking of Invisalign... Ah, I've seen some streamers with some on stream. So have I. No idea on the actual relationship, but as you're always, uh, as you're going to be a genuine customer, you could always explore if they would affiliate or something with yourself. That is something that I've been curious about, honestly, um, because I, I too have seen a few people who are associated with them, uh, and I would like to know how to get in on that. Um, even if they only offer me like a five percent discount, that's still a fuckload of cash. Like that is so much money. Um, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure, the only problem is I'm not sure when I'm gonna have to do that stuff. Like, I'm not sure when that's gonna kick in. So I'm, um, yeah. I should probably reach out to them sooner rather than later though. Even if I don't have dates, like at least they know that it's happening and then I can be like, cool, so I have my date. This is when it's happening. What do I do? Uh, but yeah. Uh, I was thinking of fresh glasses this year, new frames, new me, fuck yes. Alenia's level 54, oh my God, that's awesome. Apathy, haircut buddies, fuck yeah. It's gonna feel great when it's done. I'm so looking forward to it. Get rid of like half the dead ends on my, on like I, I'm, not, it's not gonna get rid of everything that's dead because that would involve going like above the shoulder and I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. Uh, but it'll feel a whole lot better, yeah. A whole lot better, nice not to have. I've got my hair sky cut in a year before Christmas. So nice not to have a mop on my head. It was me in December, little two to three years since a haircut. I got a haircut in January of 2020, this is right before my 30th now. birthday. Um, and then after that we went into lockdown in March and I had an appointment but I cancelled it because I didn't feel comfortable leaving the house um, because autoimmune condition in a pandemic um, so I cancelled it, I postponed it at first and then I cancelled it because I just did, we didn't know how long it was going to last and I just haven't rebooked so I have now and it's next Wednesday and I'm very happy uh, I had all four, I had to get my aforementioned infected one removed it was not fun enduring the wait for any distraction I can imagine she gives me gas, it's nice, exactly like the happy gas, not the, not gas as in like, she makes me poot. Like, come on now. <laughs> Phrasing, right? Okay, let me, let's do this. We've got two pockets of people, I love this. Let's see how we go. Uh, I'm getting all mine out due to drug use. Also been waiting 17 months to get sinuses and right side of the nose reconstructed. I'll oh, clean seven years now. Well done, Fox. Well done. Congratulations. That's a huge deal. That is a huge deal. And I think, yeah, this is this is a great time for you to get them like reconstructed and fixed up and stuff. That's really awesome. Well done. Yay for you. Fun money, yes. Read that is, as ex equals our sub is paying for quality of life. I mean, your, your sub is literally paying for medical expenses. So, yeah. <laughs> ah, for the grain of bone. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I wish I knew how many grains they needed to use so I could actually figure out like the cost per grain. Because I know how much it cost me. I had like an itemized bill. Um, but I wish it told me like exactly how much per, like, you know what I mean? Because then I could literally be like, your sub has paid for 1.25 grains of bone. But I, I'm pretty sure it would probably be like 0.25 of a grain of bone. But that's fine. We're fine with that. As long as, as long as Fia can get the bone graft, we're good. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was years and woke up one morning with an abscess. Yeah, went to my dad's dentist and emergency patient, got antibiotics, referred to the hospital to get it removed. Two weeks later, another abscess was double the size of the last, but it didn't hurt. Got an appointment, they removed it then and there. Jesus. 
That's, yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks, Nutty. Let's see for me it's been worth it. Being able to smile normally and eat pain-free has been vital improvement for my health. Yes, isn't it incredible how, like, dental shit has such a massive impact on our health. Massive impact. And self-confidence, yes! No GG, yes. Ah. God, the whole thing. It's just... It's just... And I've, like... I have to say... Um, there was one point, I, I do not for the life of me remember who it was, because brain, stupid, colander, yeah. But there was one point where we were talking about this stuff, and then like the next stream, someone came in and said, Hey Fia, you were talking all about how much better life has been since you made that appointment, and how you kind of working through this thing with this massive bill and all this kind of stuff, and it pushed, it, it gave me the push I needed to go and book in an appointment. And that just honestly makes me want to cry, because <laughs> that, I mean... Influencer is one thing, but influencing that kind of decision for a person who may not have done it otherwise, and it's going to be an actual gen- I mean, influencing someone to buy shit, sure. Cool. That's- that's nice. Helps me pay my bills, that's wonderful. But influencing someone to actually go and get needed medical attention when they were putting it off or when they were afraid to do so or something like that is just- It makes all of the shit that I put up with with this kind of crap fucking worth it. It, it makes everything worth it. Uh, Whiskey, Valine, Puddle, Ali, Neke, Exo, and Spam! Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. We are not doing another battle because I've run over time on stream already. Um, but I want to go turn this in because um, I think I'm about to hit 49. 49! 49! Fuck yeah, 94.51% complete. Ah, fuck. I'm four days ahead. Nearly five days, but four days ahead. Dang! She is hate my smile, so it's time. I know the feeling. I, I know the feeling. Like, um, honestly, there are there are so many things that I I there are there are a lot of things I do like about my face. You know, um people have like select people have told me that I'm attractive and Although I usually don't see it, there are definitely some days that I look in the mirror and kind of go, Hey, you look good today. And then I smile and go, uh, fuck. <laughs> but then when I smile like this, I look like I'm not actually that happy. It, it almost kind of looks, you know those smiles where it's like, like it's a fake smile and you're trying to hold back the bitchiness. Yeah, I feel like all of the photos that I post on uh, on on Twitter, like my go live tweet when I'm showing like my eyeshadows so that you can figure out which mount it's inspired by and shit. Um, I always feel like I look so bored or passive or like I don't give ten flying fucks about what you think and and but not in a good way, you know. Like I just I don't like it. I don't like it. So that first photo that I post when I smile with a big fucking smile and I'm not ashamed of what my teeth look like is gonna and I know I know like I understand obviously um with drug use and stuff like that I know that uh the damage to your teeth is probably gonna be a fair bit more than than what I'm dealing with and stuff like that so I'm not at all trying to minimize or compare or anything like that being respectful as possible but I yeah I don't I don't like my smile <laughs> I re and I never have I never have I've always had yellow teeth ever since I was a kid um, no matter how well I kept up with my dental hygiene and all that kind of stuff, it just, it felt like there was nothing I could do. There was no point. Because no matter what I did, I had cavities. No matter what I did, I had fucked up teeth. No matter what I did, they were fucking yellow. Um, and as a result, it's one of the first things to drop when I get into a, a funk. Like if I'm in a low like I am now, or if I'm, I'm, you know, a depressive episode or whatever. I have cyclothymic disorder, which is like bipolar, but fast. So I have highs and I have lows. And in those lows, I have a bit of trouble taking care of myself sometimes. And one of the first things to go is um, it, like self-care in terms of hygiene. So dentistry, like brushing my teeth, taking showers, that kind of thing. Feeding myself. All of those are usually the first thing to go um, because they just require effort and, you know, Am I worth it? Maybe not. Uh, I am. I know I am. And so are you, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Uh, but it can be hard. And so my teeth have always been shit. Um, but firstly, spending 23 grand on them has made me kind of go, if I'm going to spend this money on them, I'm going to take fucking care of them because I don't want to do it again. Um, but I also hope that by the end of this whole journey that I'm going to be happy with 
smiling. I feel like it might enable me to book more sponsorships, more more posts on, you know, sponsored posts on Instagram and and shit like that. Maybe not Instagram yet because I'm still under a thousand uh, followers. But look, maybe by the time I hit September, October, um, I'll be uh, better off on Instagram and I'll be able to get some income from there as well. Who knows? Um, yeah, need to pay my bills, right? Uh, so yeah, it's... Like, I, I love the color of my hair. I love the way that my hair sits. I love my eyes. I love how much fun I get from putting, uh, like, eyeshadow and stuff on. And I, I like all of the, I hate my nose, but that's, that's, yeah, whatever. Uh, like, all of it, I'm, I'm really happy with my skin at the moment. I've got, like, no fucking blemishes for the first time in years. It's amazing. Um, and, and all, like, I love all this shit. And then I smile about it and I go, oh. And that sucks. So. I'm going to get it done. And I got you lot to thank for it. Seriously. Because it's, it's my income from online that is fucking paying for it. <laughs> and I never would have thought in a million years that I'd be able to earn enough from from this kind of sh uh, shit to, to be able to pay for something, like, necessarily. I mean, I did I did save up a chunk, a chunk of, <laughs> of coin um, before I got the bigger quote that blew everything out of the water. Um, originally the quote was like eight, nine K and then they're like, aha, well your teeth are fucked now. So 23 thanks. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a journey. Get there. Get there. <clears throat> um, I took some months back, help me get myself into the dentist. Three root canals needed. That sucks. I'm so sorry, Crixie. I'm so sorry, but I'm so glad that you got the, you, you were told and you got that information when it was three root canals rather than two pulled teeth and an abscess. You know what I mean? Like three root canals is a hell of a lot better than it could have been. And I'm, I'm really, really grateful that, um, that you got yourself in there. Like That's awesome. 49. Yes, I know it's bedtime. Fuck off. <laughs> I was so close. I was. Tight smile, catch one. Yeah, yep. You looked at Oh, thank you, V. Come on, you feel confident. And that's the thing. Confidence, like, maybe that's why I kind of just look like, mm hmm. Because I'm not confident. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, my eyes look all right, but the rest of my face is a bit shit. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Lovely face. Thank you, Lando. Uh, fucked up teeth as a kid, so no offense taken. We all have flaws we don't like. I appreciate that, Fox. I appreciate that. And well done again. Congratulations to you. And yes, you're gonna you're gonna smash this. It's gonna be awesome. True facts so I understand mental illness here too. Therapy helped me tremendously. Yeah, me too. Uh, therapy and meds have been just incredible. Skincare love. Hey, Buck. How you doing? This makes me feel good. Yay. Yay, I used to have really crowded teeth. My upper canines end up in my gums. After having braces as a teen, it definitely improves your mental health having work done on your teeth. Can't wait for you to experience that too. Anyone else having teeth work done? Yas. I had many pulled in the back. So looking at implants for those. Ah, cool. My dad had a tooth pulled. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's this one, that the one that I had pulled, he had the same one pulled, but it was decades ago. Uh, and what happens is if you don't have a tooth in the bone, the bone kind of wastes away because there's nothing for it to hold onto. So he can't get an implant anymore. Um, there's there's not enough there for him to get enough. Like there's not enough there to hold onto a bone graft so that he could get an implant or whatever. But he's just like, yeah, I just don't care anymore. Like he's over it. He's had it for literally decades. Um, but I have, I hope a shitload of life left to live and uh, it would help if I had a full set of teeth, I think, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I always was just like, it's just teeth. Don't need all of them. Now I hate my smile. Uh, so many of my teeth have shifted at the straight teeth. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But where a gap makes things shift. Yeah. It's, it's a huge thing. Oh, worry about mine. Luckily I've not lost much on the bone. Oh, good nutty. That's awesome news. That is awesome, awesome, awesome news. All right, I'm gonna fuck off, um, <laughs> but we're gonna raid first. I have stretches, four stretches to do, so I'm gonna do those. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna do a thing because oh, that's what we do. So I have two new level fifties, and I got a forty-seven to forty-nine. I am very happy with that. Oh shit. Um, fuck. Uh. This one, this one, this one.
Oh. There we go. Alrighty. Where are we going? Where are we going? Um. Yeah. No, my ad is not about to start. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna snooze that because I'm not gonna be here soon. I reckon. I reckon we're gonna go here. Because I love Len. Len is an absolute queen. Um. Thanks, Jimmy. You're so welcome, V. Thank you for being here. So great catching up a bit. Yes, absolutely, Crooks. I, I totally agree. Have a lovely rest of your day. I'm gonna sleep. It's 10.30 p.m. <laughs> but I hope you have a wonderful day. Nine-year-old started playing today. Ah, oh, yay, Fox! That's so good to hear. Take care for you too, Landa. You too. All right, so we're gonna pop in. Boop. And we're gonna also do this. Boop. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed, which is totally fine, or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, which is also totally fine, you can still copy and paste the entire message into Len's chat when we get there. This is Alenya. Uh, Len nickname. Yep, cool. Uh, you can paste the whole thing into her chat when we get there. Take out the Fiamma Hypes and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emotes. Um, uh, and yeah, and celebrate when we get there. Sunday, 9th of January, Transmog Hunt. Uh, 10th, of course, is Mount Farm Monday. On the 12th, we are playing... We should be playing Mario Party Superstars with Married with Pets. That's Yori, uh, Maddie, and Jared. But they've both... Uh, we're, we're assuming they've both got COVID at the moment. Jared definitely does. We're assuming Yori has too. Um, hopefully they'll feel better by then and we'll be able to do it, but we will we will see you regardless. And then back to more leveling next Friday. Uh, this is now in the Discord. If you want to refer to this at a later date, it's in the Discord. You can check. Um, yes, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you on Sunday. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.